That's <laughs> <laughs> not how this works. It might actually be a good idea to recap for Katsu, because he wasn't here for, like, most of the first session. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Okay. So you guys are going to uh, a town called Daggerford to go ahead and take up this bounty of 100 gold per head of whatever was hunting these farmers and hurting their livestock. On the way there, the caravan was attacked and a lot of weird stuff was happening. Geography was moving along. People were just straight up dying. Creatures were in the mist hunting and stalking you. You each were able to dispatch well, Two of you were able to dispatch uh, said creatures. One helped. The other uh, one was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your friends, the dwarves, uh, from what you could tell, met us at the elves that were in another part of the caravan ditched you guys. And the gnomes that were leading the caravan died and Garfunkel taken away deep into the mist. You guys got back into the wagon and flew away. Or I guess drove away. And you came upon these weird gates, uh, continuously uh, making marks that the geography of the location was different and something wasn't right. The area keep changing and this fog was almost like it was chasing you and leading you here. You eventually found a town where you went to the inn and immediately started hitting on the uh, barkeep. <laughs> <laughs> a knight went ahead and uh, passed and you continued to hit on the barkeep, I think, in the morning. <laughs> you met a person <laughs> that named... Uh, was it Ismark? Uh, Ismark. Yeah. Yeah, Ismark, the lesser, who basically like, yo, you guys are screwed. Get out of here or try to. Uh, don't trust anyone. I have to leave. The devil straw, etc., etc., for looming. Then these little kids came up to uh, Victor von Kraus. And they're like, sir, please help. There's a, uh, there's some ghouls. To which he looked up in the window and there was a ghoul. So now he gathered the forces to try and help uh, free these kids uh, home from these undead horrible monstrosities. You left them with a barkeep and you were just about to open the door to the murder house. Who is opening the door? Edric. What? Edric. I mean, yeah, fuck Edric. Edric. I'll open the door. <laughs> I'm prepared. Let the foolish human go in first. Oh, uh, yeah. Prepared to fucking die. He's the one with the shield. The <laughs> <laughs> shield. The shield. I'm scared. Unfortunately, the shield does not help against traps most of the time. <laughs> Just like put your shield over it. Facts. I don't know it works. Before the trap goes off, <laughs> you switch places with the shield, and then what? Run. So then what the game are you playing? And, and you don't get stuck. If we need, like, a marching order, I'll be behind Edric. Like in Naruto. So you go ahead and open the doors. Mm -hmm. And you come into, like, a foyer. Mm-hmm. There are a bunch of little, uh, like, shields and coat of arms everywhere on the south wall. All Fancy. stylized in a very nice gold. How big is this house, by the way? Uh, um... It's not, like, mansion big. But it's like medium house size, I would say. Three stories okay. at least. Okay. Four? Yeah. No, four including the attic. Okay, so tall. Yeah, it's a tall house. Which okay. side was the door on? Was it like west or north? Uh, you guys are coming in from the south, so the door in front of you would have been north. Okay. Hmm. That's a house. I will go into the house. Seems totally safe to me. There is another set of doors in front of you. Mm hmm. Uh, that seem to lead into the like the main room. Mm hmm. That's the only doors around? Yeah, that's the only ones that you can see. There, like I said, there's the whole decorations on the side. This seems to be like the greeting room. Mm hmm. Like where you would hang up your coats and everything before you dust off your boots okay. before you dragged anything. Yeah. Mm. Um, do we hear anything? It's eerily quiet. 
just the sound of creaking wood. I gotta grab something. Somebody else take the helm. <laughs> um, do we smell anything? Cooked food. Shit, I forgot I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, before we go anywhere, um, uh, I'll take a minute to inspect the south wall with all the shields and stuff. Uh, do I notice anything strange? Give me a investigation check. Okay. Uh, seven. They are very well kept. Okay. Uh, you notice that they all have the same symbol, though. It Let's... is a golden windmill on a red field. Okay. Uh, I head back to the party, just telling them like everything here looks very well maintained. Have to do something. Okay, I'm back. Am I dead yet? No, we haven't left okay. the, uh, the area yet. I see. <laughs> the whole area. Everyone's mm -hmm. figuring out who wants to open the door first. <laughs> I mean, I'll open this door too. <laughs> Thank you. Dang. You'd think that the barbarian would open the door. That's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> You have a shield! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good old shield. This is about like a, uh, a 5 by 3 uh, with each square being like 5 feet room. So 15 to, by 30? Yeah. Uh, to your left, you see a fireplace with a long sword on top of it. And in the fireplace, it's kind of gold, and there's, like, vines decorated into it. And there's, like, nymphs and satyrs. Wow. In front of you is another door. It's, like, right, right across the hallway. Mm -hmm. That goes into some other room that you don't know. Next to it uh, is also another door. Not, not like, side by side, but just a little bit off, uh, about ten feet away. And then to the right of that is another door. And then to the right of that is another door. But that one's going in a different direction, not heading north. It's a lot of doors. Yeah, to the east, there is a staircase that goes up. And then to the south, right next to you, is another door that looks like it goes down. Well, the, uh, the kids told us that the ghouls were in the attic. So we should probably head up. Should we split up to make sure there's nothing down? No. Well, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I love that idea. Personally. No. There could be something down. I think we should do a full sweep of the house. I mean, whether they were in the attic or not, that doesn't mean they're still there. I don't really want to get attacked by something from behind. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we should start down and then go up? I don't think the ghouls are going anywhere if they're above us anyway. Can't oh. hurt. We'll run into them eventually. That's what I mean, yeah. Uh, well, which way... Where were the stairs? They were on the east side, right? Yes. Okay, well, Victor... So there are how? Victor Sorry. will say, well, if you want to start down, I can set up a trap of sorts in case the ghouls try to approach us from behind. Works for me. That's yeah. what you want to do? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, he'll take out a length of rope from his backpack and start sort of creating like a little uh, a circle rope trap on the floor. Blade. So there oh. are how many doors here in the staircase up? Four? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. In gameplay Including terms. Including the one we came through. That's uh, yes. one of no. my... It's one of my spells, no? by the way. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You, you create the check. Cool, mm -hmm. down it is. You have spells down it. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, including the 
six and three. Okay. And one of those is on the you said on the south wall. Yeah, next to the one that you just came from. Okay. I'll go that way first. If you two or three want to head north. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hold on, I was trying to. I'm more dictating here. Uh, <laughs> if you guys want to check the ones up there. Can I take Constantine with me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you guys can all go in whatever group you want. I'm going to go that way. Alright, I'll let you go off on your own then. Cassia, who are you going with? Oh, the healer's <laughs> gonna go off on his own. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with you, Jake. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna make my shirt glow, just for safety. <laughs> oh. Yes! Well, surely that you paint that you. giant bullseye on you. <laughs> if it gets dark, I'm trying to make sure that Victor can see. So you're and welcome. I can't oh, see. wait, wait. Before we split up, I'll reach into my pack and I'll hand a flask of holy water to Edric. After uh, seeing those fancy bonfires that you were able to do before. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I'll take that. Guess we have two now. Worst case scenario, I can chuck it at something. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> It's like a 2d6 like, uh, splash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That works. Alright, who do who wants to go to their rooms first? Yeah, I mean, I'm heading to the south room. So we'll do Ced... Er, I won't keep wanting to call you Cedric. Edric. <laughs> Cedric. <laughs> and Castia first, then. Alright, then. You open the doors. You come into a, uh kind of well furnished room uh, with a bunch of like animal trophies everywhere there's a stag head and there's some uh, like taxidermied wolves uh oh and they're all kind of uh, set up in like different corners the uh there are two wolves to the north wall one to the south wall there is like a poker table almost uh, on the uh, southwest corner there are two cabinets, one on the north wall, one on the west wall. Uh, and then there's like a little fireplace on the uh, east wall. It has two little comfy couches and they each have a uh, glass of wine. Next one. On a little table. What's on the north and south wall again? The north wall has two ta like taxidermied wolves and there's like a cabinet. cabinet. Then on the south wall, it's another taxidermy. Ah, okay. So this is like a... Like hunting trophy. Hunter, room. yeah. Yeah. Whatever, like a sitting room with a bunch of, like, trophies, yeah. It's a nice little, like, candelabra room. There in the center. What a waste. Okay. You s in the furniture, there was a fireplace, you said. Um, how big about is this room? Like, does it stretch to, like, it the corner be... of the house? Are there windows? It's like a 20 by 20. Okay. Uh, foot space. It, yeah, this room definitely goes all the way to, the, like, mm -hmm. the right of the house. And then it stops just before it hits the foyer. That's what it wants. Do not like wolves. Um, I'm gonna check out one of the taxidermy wolves because I know enough not to trust taxidermy <laughs> as a DM. You go up to the wolves. Mm -hmm. Give me an investigation check. Here we go. That's not fantastic. Uh, investigation plus four. Uh, twelve. It's a taxidermied wolf. Nope. Uh, ten, sorry. <laughs> it's a even more taxidermied wolf. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. didn't bite my hand off, so I'll take that. <clears throat> Castia, wanna look at anything? Nope, just amusing myself with did, Edrix. Action. Did you say there were furniture? Yes, there's, there's furniture and cabinets. Ah, okay. 
I'll hit one of those cabinets. It is locked. Shit. Uh... Casta, you... good at locks? By any means? Mm. No lock picking? <laughs> Unless I can beat it with my crowbar, no. I mean... That's lock picking Probably shouldn't me. break the house. <laughs> Don't think they would take too kindly to that one. Uh, is, uh, We're being paid for a job. We can do what we mostly want. I don't think we're being paid for this. We're being paid for. Because <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. you get paid no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I mean... Can I check out the fireplace? Just see if there's anything... Any... <laughs> Hidden switches or trapdoors or anything like that. You go to set fireplace. Give me an investigation check. Oh Jesus Christ! Six. Uh, do you notice it has the same decoration as the other one? It has satyrs and nymphs mm. and vines. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate and vines. this iconography. Uh. Well, uh, unless you want to do something other than standing in the corner, I think I'm pretty much good for this room. Then let's move on. While that was happening, uh, Victor and Constantine, which, which door on the north side would you want to hit up? How many doors on the north side were there? Four of them. <laughs> like, in a row? Uh, kind of. Three of them are kind of in a row. One is, like, a little bit back behind it. And then there's one on, like, the east side. Uh, um, do you want to just take the first one to the left? Yeah, let's just take the, yeah, the first left. All right. one left. You guys, kick open that door. Oh. Kick it open? <laughs> uh, is Constantine in front? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay. <laughs> uh, you come into a, uh, a nice kind of dining room. Fixated with all these delicious looking food and different gourds that have different wines in them. There's cheese, breads, meats, what looks like to be uh, a pig that was starting to be cut into and then kind of something happened and they stopped cutting it. <laughs> Even some desserts like a chocolate cake. On the left side of the house is another fireplace. With the same said golden kind of uh, brewery on it. I want to take a look at that bread. <laughs> it is like... It is like encrusted with like herbs and stuff. Oh, I want to eat it! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Give me a constitution check. Oh golly, constitution. I have to do my bad. Constitution saving throw. Oh fuck! Okay. <laughs> what? That what should give you bonuses. Again? Uh, yeah. roll a d twenty and then where it says saving throws. Uh, you're proficient in that, I think. You should so roll a d twenty. Add your Constitution modifier and your proficiency bonus. Oh, cool. So, that's so plus five, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. Golly! Hey man, that's some good bread. <laughs> get that bread. Let's get that bread, boy. I can't think on an empty stomach. Yeah, you're just. It feels way more nutritious than our one. You're just like downing it. Fuck yeah. Is there anything else, like, present in the room other than the fireplace and the food on the table? There is a. A uh, kind of like in the wall. There's like engraved images. Okay. Victor of will... what looks like to be. I'll take a look at the images. It's like a de deer and in tree. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That is. 
20. While looking at the uh, wood like carving, you notice that <coughs> behind the trees, and like it's almost hidden, there are wolves stalking said deers. Okay. Hmm. On the east side, you can see another door, and it heads south, so you can assume this is one of the doors that you saw earlier. On the east side of the room that we're in now? Yes. Uh, <laughs> there's far too many doors, man! Should we go to that door? Um. So the only other door to this room is the one that we came through? Yes. Uh, yeah, okay, let's move to that door on the east. Woo! You guys open it up and you come back to the main hallway where you meet uh, Edric and Castia. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Find anything interesting? Uh, I it's. Got some food. <laughs> I'll tell him about the uh, the image that I saw with the wolves stalking the deer. On the fireplace? That's way better than fucking... It was on like a wood carved, like almost painting. Stuffed animals. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, we found like a hunter trophy room. The wolves are actually dead, so... Yeah, there's nothing in there. Locked Great cabinet. observation. <laughs> I mean, at least I looked. Jeez, the dead wolves are actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> so far, things staying dead haven't been exactly consistent. Okay, well, now where to? Is there two doors left on this floor? Yeah, there should be two doors left, right? Yes, there's one to the north, and one uh, not right by the staircase, but just a little bit before it. Hmm. North and east. I mean... And stay consistent. You guys could go north again, and we could go east. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I will head east. We will head north. The north room will go I first. suppose I'll shed east. <laughs> 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 Fuck, I guess. You open the door, and you see a bunch of fancy cloaks and hats. Uh, this found is a us? closet. Yes. <gasps> okay. Um, how fancy are we talking here? Like, how fancy? like really fancy. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, do I find living. anything lacy? Sure. I'm taking it. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Robbing these poor people's houses now. It's okay. Um. Wait, are we all four together now, or no? You guys are fuck all over. You there. guys open, <laughs> Casty and Edric open the door. Mm -hmm. You find what looks like to be a uh, a kitchen of shorts. Short, short, short. short. <laughs> <laughs> <Eat> my shorts. <laughs> this is the dining room. Yeah. There is a uh, there's like a little wash station. There's a pantry. There's like a table for cutting things. On the south wall, it looks like a little like metal door that slides open, and there's a little button next to it. Mm hmm. I will hit the button. <coughs> oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Uh huh. So we found a kitchen. Um. It looks like one person of medium size could fit into the little area. I'll turn to Castam. Any volunteers? Why the hell are you asking me? Because I'm not getting in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a yes. Um. Uh... Using my dark vision is well. Is it dark inside the uh, secret passage? It's yeah. What a, it's like a. It's like a dumb waiter. It's a dumb waiter. Yeah. You can see. So this probably goes up. Yes. Because it's a dumb waiter. <laughs> I 
actually, maybe let's not <laughs> break sequence here. Is anyone going into the dumbwaiter? Well, I'll call the other two. I'll go grab them and bring them into the, <laughs> the kitchen. The other two walk into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna subject myself into that. <laughs> Anybody feel like going for a ride, or should we just go up the stairs? <laughs> be a perfect plan. So you three take the stairs, I'll get in the uh -huh. dumbwaiter, you send me up, it'll ding, then it'll, they'll all look at me, you know, I'm the distraction, you come up the stairs and you whoop ass. <laughs> Sounds like a brilliant plan to me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Are you climbing into the dumbwaiter, Astrid? Hell yeah, I am! <laughs> <laughs> She's already inside, like, behind the gate. Does she still have a bread? I'm like explaining this as I'm yeah. going up. Like, all right, guys. <laughs> well, we have to send you up, don't we? Or do you? Press the fucking button. <laughs> and then <rest. laughs> Uh. I mean, if you want me to send you up, then I suppose. I want you to send me up, but you guys better be quick going up the stairs. I don't think we should rush surfing to the house. We don't even oh, know yeah, what floor this goes up to. We still needed to what check the basement, didn't we? To the third floor. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, after we kill whatever's in the house, I'm going on a ride in the dumbwaiter. <laughs> well, if we kill it at the top, you can take the dumbwaiter back down. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> we still need to check out downstairs. There's a downstairs? I thought this was the downstairs. No. The floor. I, I thought the, the stairs went up. No, the second stairs that go down. No, 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 the stairs go up. Oh, there was no yeah. basement. Yeah, there was no stairs to go. Okay. Oh, shit. Which way did we go? Up. It's the only direction we got left. We've been which through every up? door now, right? <laughs> what do you mean, yeah, which up? <laughs> oh, the dumb waiter. No, there's <laughs> one staircase. I'm so confused. Whatever, let's just fucking go. <laughs> right? I'm not crazy, right, Jake? There was only one no, staircase? No, there's only one staircase. Oh, okay. God, am I on crack? <laughs> Yeah, in the main room. So then, yeah, I suppose up to the second floor, right? Unless That's anybody's awesome. got any brilliant ideas for down here. Uh, I'll take a quick look around the kitchen before we leave. Is there anything like unusual or uh, anything magical that I notice? Uh, there's some cut onions. I take the I onions. The Actually, <laughs> how many onions are we talking here? We're talking about three. All right, I'll okay. take them and put them in my, one of my sacks. Actually, I might have an idea there. Uh, <laughs> do. You, hmm. I suppose we don't have eleven minutes to sit here, do we? <laughs> what? I mean, you think that we have eleven minutes? <laughs> never mind the fact that we know there are ghouls upstairs. <laughs> if you think we can there. be safe, I suppose we should deal with the ghouls first. What in eleven minutes again? Ah, uh, I can cast a spell, but it takes me a little bit of time to do it. We don't uh, have time. Mmm, that's fair, I suppose. If I had a smoking pipe, I'd say yes, but I don't. <laughs> okay, I'll pass on it. So up to the second floor then? Second okay. floor, second floor. Up we go. I, uh, <laughs> I make sure none of them step in my rope trap <laughs> on the way up. I, mean, I wanted to step awesome. in it. I was about yeah, what, to make it. <laughs> what specifically did you do in front of the... Where did you do it? In front of the stairs? In front of the door? At the base of the stairs. Ah, okay. And what did you do specifically? It's like a rope trap. It's like a circle of rope on the floor, and if you uh, if your foot goes into it, it will just like hoist you up. I also know that spell. Just not today. Uh... <laughs> You guys climb up the stairs, or walk up the stairs. 
go to the second mm-hmm. floor, and you are. It's like a uh, fifteen by twenty-five kind of area. Okay. There are old suits of armor, uh, both surrounding the uh, two doors in this area, one to the north, one to the south. So two pieces of armor uh, for each door. And mm-hmm. another fireplace, uh, right dab in the middle, with the same embroidery. What are the armor <clears throat> like? They are... Kind of like black iron, but the helmet is in the shape of a wolf's head. They have hmm. uh, spears, hmm. both of them are clutching. I'm sensing a theme. I think this guy's a weird fetish. It's like wolves and big creatures. The doors, also, the doors also have carved, like, children dancing into them. Okay. Mm. Maybe it's a oh. playroom of sorts. I think we should switch this time. I'll go north. Whoever can go south. Mm-hmm. Virginia. How many floors were there again? Is there still oh, one above us? Yes. Okay. You said four, stair- including the attic, so... Yeah, the staircase keeps going up. Okay. To the north, we go. Ah, I'm stuck with the pleasant tiefling again. Fun. <laughs> uh, then I will head to the north door. You head to the north door. <laughs> Red velvet drapes cover the windows. <clears throat> An exquisite mahogany desk and a matching high bar chair face the entrance and the fireplace above, which hangs a framed picture of a windmill perched atop a rocky. Situated in corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs, floor to ceiling shelves lined with small hall. Rolling wooden ladder allows one to more easily reach the highest. Okay, so there's what like sh- like shit ton of books in here, right? Yeah, a bunch of books. There's a ladder on the shelves. Okay, um, well, you might have something to do in this room. Uh, do you <laughs> want the desk or the shelves? Well, no, books are my thing. I think I'll go look at the shelves. You can take I'll the desk. Take the desk. All right, mm. Castia. You kind of go to the desk and look around. You see an oil lamp, a jar of ink, a quill pin, a tinder box, a letter kit containing a red wax candle, four blank sheets of parchment, and a wooden seal bearing uh, this kind of symbol. It's like a windmill with uh, a red field in the background. You said there was a tinderbox? Yes. This is all on top of the desk, by the way. Nothing. You haven't opened it. I'll just take this tinderbox here. Not that, though. Why? <clears throat> Why do you need a tinderbox? <laughs> None of your damn business. You. Okay. <laughs> Did you, is that all you wanted to look at? or? Uh, is there any, like, uh, drawers? There's yeah. Alright, I want to check those out. You open all the drawers and it's various pens and quills, and you find what looks like to be an iron key. I'll take the iron key. You take the iron key. Moxa, what are you doing? Uh, I'm checking out the bookshelves. Uh... Wait, what was also in the letter kit? Uh... A red wax candle, four blank sheets of parchment, and a wooden seal. I'll With take the wooden seal. Maybe I can make some money out of this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to kill some ghouls, not leave the damn duty. house. <laughs> At least leave the seal, they probably need that. Doubtful. It's a noble's house. 
Seals are important. No more small boy. Playing your nature, I suppose. Uh, and then I'll just kind of... Like... See if there's any interesting books that stand out to me, either of an Give arcane nature or... Give me a perception or... check. Okay. And then... Ooh, that's really good. Uh... 23. You notice a fake book inside one of the... Uh-huh! <laughs> Can I move it? I'll try to take it yes. off the shelf. Pull it down. A sliding door in the corner reveals a secret. Ding! Look at that. All those years in the library paid off. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the door I just opened. You go inside, and it's a, uh... It is a straight, like, ten feet kind of hallway. On the mm -hmm. left side, there's a bunch of... Uh, like uh, desk stuff and like books and they're all scattered and there's like kind of writing you don't understand <clears throat> just like a glance and mm -hmm. then on the very end of the hallway is a heavy wooden chest and it has like these strong iron feet the lid is like half closed and out of it you see a skeleton with leather armor kind of just seeping over the chest full on skeleton not like dead body like he's been there a while Yep. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Wonder how long this has been here. <clears throat> I'll go check out that chest and skeleton. You walk up and to hope to God it's not trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, can I attempt to translate the scribblings on the wall? Uh, you can. Give me an intelligence arcana check. Uh, what dice do I roll? A d20 and you add your arcana. Or if you don't have arcana, intelligence flat. Okay. Uh. And plus two. So it's, yeah, nine. You would need an hour to fully kind of translate everything. Oh, you have inspiration if you want to re-roll that. Uh, oh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. It's a, basically a free re-roll that you got from last session. And how many inspiration rolls did I get? One. Yeah, you have one. It is isn't that good. <laughs> oh, just once for like... It's, it's, it's rewarded as like... If I like the way you roleplay or if you do something I like... I give it to you, and it's essentially a free roll. Mm. I'll pass on it. I'll join with uh, Edric. You go to Edric. Yeah, I'm just. I want to take a look here. The, if, okay, it's a skeleton with his arm in the chest, right? But the chest yeah. is partially open. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a look at the skeleton first, and then go towards opening the chest. You look at the skeleton. And you kind of notice that in his leather armor, like, mm -hmm. embedded are three darts. Okay. I see! He found the trap for us! Very convenient. Uh, well, probably not trapped twice. And I'll go and open the chest and pray to Maybe God it's, it's not it's actually real. trapped twice. The skeleton falls back down and his, like, bony self scattered. You notice in his right hand is a piece of parchment. Mm hey. <clears throat> Not a fan of prying things out of dead people's hands, but it probably didn't belong to him anyway. Um I guess I'll grab that and then is there anything in the chest? Are you gonna look at it or are you gonna look at the chest first? Uh kinda more interested in what's in the chest. <laughs> chest hey, Kesta, you like picking things out of dead people's hands. <laughs> you try. You go for that. Yeah. The chest contains three yes. blank books with black leather covers. Uh, three scrolls that look like to have some sort of weird symbol on them. Scrolls, you say? Yes. There is a, uh, another kind of paper 
that looks like an official document of some sort. Another paper on top of that. And what looks like to be a long list of names that is signed by some name. Uh, the name is Durst. Durst family. Mm-hmm. It's probably their... Well, official documents if they're nobles. Uh, do those scrolls look them. fun? The symbols are what looks like to be somebody praying and touching the head of somebody else. Mm-hmm. A uh, skull, but it's crossed out. And a weapon that looks like it's uh, soaring. Do these look like spell scrolls? Do Give me an arcana check. <laughs> I'm not very good at arcana. I rolled the 16 though. Uh, arcana is up there. 20. You have a spell scroll of blood, protection from poison, and spirit. Oh God, where'd my weapon. paper go? <clears throat> Sick. So I know I talked all high and mighty about not stealing stuff, but I'm totally gonna take these. Um. <laughs> Typical human. <laughs> <laughs> you stole a seal. What are you gonna do with that? I have use for these. I know a person. Uh-huh, you know a person in Barovia. This place- Not in the, Barovia. In idiot. the middle of- Fuck all. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Uh, oh yeah, it was... I wanna read the- Wait, I have the parchment from the dead skeleton, right? Yeah, did you grab it? Yeah, I wanna take a look at it. Cool. This is for you. Spells. It was blast protection from poison, and what was the third one? Spiritual weapon. Mm, okay. Cool. Just stuffing like the scroll. <laughs> I like scrolls. <laughs> Ironic. Anything interesting on that one? Zero no a Strad von Zarovich. Victor mentioned a devil named Strad. Right? Yep. Why? What's it say about him? Apparently there might be some cultist-like activities here that try to summon him, but apparently he just came on his own. Mocking the humans. <laughs> okay. We're cultists in the house? No, nah, probably just secret stuff. Huh. I mean, with all the hidden passages, it's not surprising. They feel less bad about stealing their shit. <laughs> uh, oh, there you go. Look at that. Okay. Uh, fun. Cultists seem to fit the, uh, overall atmosphere that we have in this town. Uh, you said there were official documents underneath the scrolls? Yes, there are three of them. What do those look like? One is what looks like to be a deed to the house. Okay. The another one is a deed to a windmill. And the last one is a will. Mm hmm. The, they are all signed. <laughs> they are all signed by Gustav and Elizabeth Durst. And it seems that in the will, it bequeaths everything to Rosvalda and Thornbolt Durst <clears throat> in the event of the parent's death. Okay. Well, if they were cultists, then fuck them. I'm gonna take all of it. Books, will, uh, deeds, I'll just throw it all in the in my pack. Oh yeah, and I'll tell Castaya that I found 
the will to the house, the will to a windmill, which is on that fancy symbol you took, and, uh, and a deed, or a will, sorry. And what are you planning to do with them? Uh, good question. Might give them to the kids, since they're probably people on this, uh, will. <laughs> At least the deeds, the scrolls, stay with me, and I don't know what to do with the books. They're just kind of fancy blank books, but, you know. If you say so. Yeah. Well, that was happening. <laughs> oh, boy. Down to uh, the south area. <laughs> Who's going in first? Constantine, please? Constantine goes first. Pop. <laughs> 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 I blow up the door with one finger. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you okay, go into what looks like a kind of recital room. It is 20 by 30 in terms of like cubic space. There are chairs lined up against the wall. On the southwest corner is a piano, and on the northeast corner is a harp. On the east uh, wall, there is another fireplace with the same engravings. I want to inspect the piano. The give me in perception check. <laughs> How many of the, the black leather books did you say there were, sorry? Three. Okay. <laughs> it makes noise. Just when she approaches it. No, no, it's like she went up to it and like... Oh, okay. Yeah, like it, it's a piano. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Well, she's doing that, I'll be... Uh, inspecting the fireplace. Give me a procession check. Uh, um, twelve. Right on the money. You look at the fireplace, and you notice it's the same engravings of nymphs, fairies, and whatnot. But you also notice that there are actually vines that turn into snakes, and it's almost like they're hunting said fake creatures that are in grave. Okay. Hmm. I want to inspect the harp. <laughs> you look at the harp, and engraved on the harp are kind of like dancing, uh, well-dressed, like dancers, just engraved on it. Other than the harp, piano, and fireplace, is there anything else in the room? There's, like, chairs to sit and watch a performance, but other than that, fairly empty. Well, I look at Constantine and <laughs> sort of shrug, ask her if she wants to inspect anything else. Uh, nope. Alright, well, I'm satisfied that there's nothing occupying the room, so I head back out to the uh Agreed. you all meet back in the main area well do you guys find anything interesting because i sure did a piano a, p a piano why are you laughing just a piano yes okay <laughs> uh well we found a library with a fancy secret room uh oh. Yeah. Uh, curious, there was a, a skeleton, full on skeleton, been dead for a while. Uh, it was hanging. We found a chest in the secret room with a skeleton hanging out of the chest. Looked like he triggered a trap for me. Uh, <clears throat> probably been there a while, which is a bit curious. Uh,. I'm starting to think that the people who live in this house, maybe not such good people. Because uh, Daya mentioned some cultists trying to summon the devil that we heard about earlier. Uh, Strahd? 
Mm -hmm. I try to remember back to when the children (coughs) approached me and were telling me about the ghouls and how they the their parents or something were like trying to seal them away mm-hmm. they're trying to keep them at bay yeah and i'll just say that it's odd that we haven't encountered any people on like any of these floors yet mm-hmm. yeah. have we heard anything while we were in the house no thumping nope yeah uh bit strange the kids seem to be telling the truth they seem actually frightened and i didn't catch any misdirection from them but also we haven't heard a damn thing since we got in here and hearing about cultists and finding a oh. dead body in a closet oh that phone call you're right. okay mm-hmm. uh, yeah, i'm not a little uh, weird with the... it's a bit fishy Flirtatious barkeep, <laughs> creepy well, alleyway guy. She wasn't flirtatious with you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but. I hear yeah, they like that wine in Barovia. Everybody around here uh, is a little bit weird, don't you think? Yes. Their food's good. <laughs> Their clothing it was fantastic. I hand one uh, of the onions <laughs> to Constantine if she wants to try it. <laughs> Is Constantine somebody that would just like a raw bite just right into a raw onion? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's got I standards, think that was... unlike our Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Standard. Does he eat whole onions? Yeah, he took a bite into a raw onion. Oh, Oh. God. I knew a few guys like that in high school. (laughs) My brother knew a guy that, uh... class. I knew a guy that ate a whole orange without peeling it. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to eat citrus fruits. I do that. (laughs) The nutrients is in... It's all in the skin, uh, yeah. Yeah, on the skin. It doesn't taste good. So you just take a bite, Uh, and... The fruit uh, overpowers the taste of the rind. Uh, uh, it's, it's cool. Uh, uh, I've done uh, it with lemons try it. before. It's, yeah. it's harsh, but... It's hard, but it's worth it. Yeah. You take 3d6 psychic damage. I'm with Jack on this one. Yeah, the staircase goes up, and there's another door that's, uh, that's by the staircase that you didn't notice coming up. There's another staircase by the door. Wait. No, 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 no. There's a door? It's the same staircase. Like, it's a looping up, but there is a door next to the staircase. Oh, okay. Which you didn't notice originally coming up. Oh. We could all check out that door since it's the last one yeah, on this floor. Yeah, suspicious. Um, sure. I, you guys can take the charge on this one. I'm. Constantine. Or, goes I mean, first. I guess I can. If... Constantine, you open the door and you notice that it's like a. Like a little room for people to sleep in. There's like two beds at the kind the of bedroom. Yeah, but it's more like a servants' room, I would say. Oh. It's like little cases for them. There's a closet to your left, and on the right side looks like to be a uh, dumb waiter. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to check out that closet. You go to the closet. And you see, like, little dapper maid outfits and, uh, butler outfits. Guys, I have an idea. Idea. Look at his laugh. Yes. Put him on. <laughs> no. I'm comfortable in my armor, thanks. Can I roll intimidation on each? <laughs> <laughs> I don't easily allow rolls against other players. Cool, that's a uh, d20 and then... And I do this thing I don't know how to do. <clears throat> that's for you, Lots of- <laughs> 
19! 19! I don't know, Edric, are you intimidated? No. I am not <laughs> wearing clothes! What? <laughs> Can you Get put the movie your armor? <laughs> Give me the maid outfit. <laughs> this is the put on a maid outfit. Put my leather armor over it too. Okay. <laughs> it's like, the leather makes... <laughs> Works as like a pseudo corset, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so is Kazdea the only one wearing this? Or? I'll put on the made outfit. All right. <laughs> You're not wearing armor, at least. I don't need armor. It no, looks bitch. less uh, Can't kill ridiculous. Me. Victor, right. you care to join us? I will not put on the made outfit. <laughs> put him in the butler outfit. I will not I'm put on the butler upstairs. outfit. I'm going upstairs. Bet, let's go upstairs. Yeah, I, I just follow Edric upstairs, <laughs> shaking my head. You guys come up to a uh, another kind of 15 by 10 little space that goes a little bit up north into a little hallway and looks like a two big grand doors. Uh. There are a total of one, two, three, four doors. The grand doors being one of them. Another one that looks like it's right next to the grand doors, just right across from it. Uh, another one, not dead in front of you, but a little bit still. And another one right besides that on the south wall. So it'd be like a south wall, west wall, no north wall, west wall, kind of. That's a lot of doors. Uh... And right dab in the center is another suit of armor. Does this one look the same as the other ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. Since it's only the two of us up here at the moment, we shouldn't split up. Uh, oh, didn't the, I thought the maid girls came with you. Uh, yeah, I, thought, I thought that was still getting changed. No, we already changed. Okay. <laughs> In that case, this you is the wearing last... an over leather armor. Yeah. Like you said, in Katsu. Nakatsu's mm -hmm. putting wearing the armor over the dress. Oh, okay. Like a corset. That... Okay. Uh, this is also the last place the stairs go up to. Ah, yeah, third floor. So they're... I saw an attic from outside. Yes, he did. Still don't hear anything? No ghoul noises? Nope. Do we smell anything? It's very specific. <clears throat> no. Okay. Well, you want north or south or one of the west doors? I'd like to take a closer look at the suit of armor before we check out any of the doors. <clears throat> okay. Give me an investigation check. Go north. Uh, 19. <laughs> You notice that this thing is very well kept, and you kind of looks like it's staring at you, and then its arms raise right above its head and hit you over the head. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Hey, what? Uh, what's your AC? Sixteen. Yeah, that's what I would have said if I didn't roll like crap so the <laughs> arms go over you and you're able to like dodge nimbly out of the side this was with advantage by the way and he still rolled like <laughs> <laughs> yes. everyone roll for initiative <laughs> oh this is a thing not a trap <laughs> so just a d20 plus your dex five Ooh, that's good 20 i'm rolling great tonight damn oh man Oh, 19. Damn. Okay, so... It's... Moxa, Astri, Katsu, The Thing, and then Cat. <laughs> Wait. Me. Did... Constantine roll? Oh, uh, no, Constantine didn't roll. Constantine didn't roll! The, yeah, that was for the intimidation. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, I wish. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus your dang. Uh, 
four. <laughs> no. That's your turn order. Okay. <coughs> Question mark? <laughs> That's uh, concerning. Uh, Alright, Mark. Uh, you go first. Okay, I was not expecting combat. Um. Well, I'm. It's a suit of armor. Well, I guess we're yep. gonna see if it's flammable. I'm gonna cast Create Bonfire right underneath it. <laughs> this is uh... what I do. <laughs> so it uh, makes hit me the nine. <clears throat> that is a failure. So it takes one D8 fire damage. Where's my D8? Oh, I can use my metal one for this. That's four points of fire damage. Ow. And I am gonna back the fuck up back to, like, the top of the stairs. <clears throat> and just be as far away as I assume I can realistically right. be. Coward. <laughs> I am a backline healer, motherfucker! <laughs> I am not near this thing! Alright, that's here Constantine's job. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, Katsu's turn. Uh, Cast that. So I'll start with armor, sh uh, casting mage armor on myself without cost, right? Yeah, but I believe that's an it action. It still takes your turn. Yeah. Okay, so how many... You have a action, a bonus action, and your movement. Okay. Yeah. And technically a reaction, but I don't. it's only under certain circumstances. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. So I can... You can't use your bonus action or your reaction unless something specifically says you can. <clears throat> Okay. You can cast a cantrip as well, right? Or not? What do you mean? When Those you have cast different like casting a... times. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, like, my create bonfire is an action, so I use my action to do that. I don't have anything for my bonus action, and then I moved to get the fuck back. Okay. So then my turn's over. Yeah. Alright, so... Mage armor, then. You... <laughs> Give yourself mage armor. Wow. You can still move as well after <coughs> casting. Yeah, yeah, if you wanna, you can wanna move back up to up. 30 feet. I will back up, but not, you know, far away as this human. Be staying in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, it is a uh, suit of armor. Sir. It's gonna try again to hit <laughs> this fucking <laughs> rager. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes! <laughs> oh my god, two and four! What is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's... Oh, he keeps swing. He's like, he's like doing that thing where he's just kind of like hate, like hate, hate makering, <laughs> like randomly, and you're just kind of like moving out of the way. You have a feeling if you got hit, it would hurt, but you're not getting hit, so you're fine. <laughs> Disengaging is an action, right? Yeah, so it's your turn, <laughs> Alright, I'd like to... Well, before I do anything, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. I'll, I'll point at the armor that has missed me a total of four times, and I'll say, <laughs> Not good enough, Sonny Jim! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'm going to disengage and move back to uh, the stairs where everyone else is. In front of Kazdia or behind Moxa or between? Behind Moxa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's your turn, Constantine. Okay, I'm gonna go for the arm. <laughs> Alright, are you gonna. Go I'm gonna axe that shit. Alright, go ahead and give me an attack roll. Bro. Aww. <laughs> What's. Uh, plus hey. mods. Plus six, that's 13. You go for the swing, and your axe just kinda like bounces off the heavy. <laughs> We're all doing fantastic guys. Can I still move? <laughs> yeah, you can go away, but it gets a free attack on you. <laughs> yeah. If you leave its reach, it'll get a swing at you. You can risk it. What else am I supposed to do with the risk it? <laughs> 
You You're a barbarian. You can just stand there and tank. You're fine. Yeah. Your <laughs> AC is probably pretty good, and you have a shit ton of hit points. Do you have any like special skills now that you're level two? You can rage <laughs> as a bonus action. You want to get pissed? That like. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm mad. What the hell? Wait. Doesn't that like affect your AC? Though? No. Fucking rage. rage! If you're gonna rage, you usually want to do that before you swing, but yeah. Well, now I'm mad because I fucked up my swing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. You, you like Hulk out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like seven feet tall. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hey, is Lox's it. turn again. <laughs> Someone turn into a prime. Uh, I am not turning into. I am not burning a wild shape right now. Um. Well, nobody took any. Damage or really did anything. So I'm just gonna. Or no, my bonfire is. Oh yeah, so, it didn't move. I didn't <coughs> say I was holding it though, so. I'm oh, not okay. Gonna, I should have said that if I was. Um, I'll just cast it underneath it again. Uh, hey, hey. Because that's all I can do. He made a 13. Nope. DC's 14. So. You hurt he him. Takes <laughs> you hurt him. Two points of fire damage, and I will hold it this time. Uh, yeah. So now there's just a just bonfire underneath the suit of armor. <laughs> All right, uh, is that it? Uh, I mean, yeah, I got fuck all, nothing else, guys. All right, it's so... kind of turn. Uh, is Arms of Hadar within like, a circle or a straight line? Let me see. Because it says. Uh, battles all what, is, what is the name of the uh, spell? <clears throat> Arms of Hadar. What's that? Ten foot radius. Oh, it's around you. Okay. Ten foot around. Yeah. Is there anyone within ten feet of me besides the? Suit I think. Yeah. I don't You're not think. And I are right pretty close to you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll just cast Eldritch Blast on this. All right, give me an attack roll. Attack roll. Of you. D twenty plus your charisma plus your proficiency. So I think it'd be four plus two is six. Unless you have a five in charisma. No, D twenty. Oh. <laughs> Gotta hit first. Oh. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that you add your charisma yeah, plus you damage as well. Okay. Alright, charisma and what else? So it's just, one it's d10 plus, plus charisma, your charisma and plus your charisma. And then you multiply all of that by two. So roll a d10. Uh, What's your charisma? Uh, plus four. So six times two is twelve damage all together. Cool. Jesus. Not bad. Everyone did so much damage. <laughs> Even on a roll of two, right? <laughs> you blast a piece of its armor off as you see like a giant hole of like elvish energy seep out of it. Uh this thing is now bloody, but it's at half health. That's it is the one. monster's turn. It's, oh, wait, can it's... I move or no? Oh yeah, you can move if you want. You can get closer. Or uh, I move uh, down the stairs <laughs> outside of harm's. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's it's not close enough to hit you. I'll move a bit back. Yeah, kind of go back. All right, this thing sees this giant hulking barbarian in front of it. <laughs> this like bird mask and. Wearing a made up <laughs> and it's gonna try and punch it's really me. terrifying. <laughs> I forgot about the made up <laughs> I feel like the bird mask really makes it. Really mm -hmm. uh, so that's an unnatural 20 to hit. I think that hit. Second attack is a 10 to hit. What's your AC answer? Uh, Should be on your sheet. Top 14. Level. Okay, only one of those hit. <laughs> you take, uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. 
Ooh. As he kind of yeah. hits you on the side. <laughs> Wait, you're right, right? Yeah. I think you have resistance to piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> that eight gets halved to four. Oh, damn. <laughs> You totally. shouldn't have raised before you get <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Shut up! But your rage lasts for a minute. Shut up! Each round of combat, by the way, is six seconds. So, oh. a minute is ten rounds of combat. What? Just for everybody to know. Also, Mage Armor lasts eight hours, so... Woo. So, it goes in for like a little punch and it hits you and you just kind of shrug it off. <laughs> like, that wasn't nothing. <laughs> Uh, it is, uh, Cat's turn. Uh, Cat, do I have line of sight to it from where I'm standing? Yes. Alright, I'll, uh, take my musket and take the shot and... <laughs> get get uh, that roll forward. Also, is this thing considered undead for damage? No. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that is... 12. To hit? To hit, yes. It, like, the bullet ricochets off the armor. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, I don't really want to move, so I'll just end my turn there. Uh, it is now Ash's turn. Fuck yeah. Alright, you said he's... Okay. He has a weird thing on his arm like this. Oh, there it is. Oh, he got. He was like a hole there because Katsu shot like a hole in his armor. I'm gonna aim for that hole. Alright, give me an attack roll. Please don't fuck me in my ass. <laughs> That's better than that. That's in class. Uh, uh, which one was it? Strength. Strength plus proficiency. Oh, plus six. I can't. Nine! Nineteen! There it is! <laughs> Nineteen! You hit it! <sighs> so you roll 1d12. I don't want this. <clears throat> plus four, plus an extra two because you're raging. So 1d12 plus six. Yep. Ten! Ten. <gasps> <laughs> you cleave down into that little hole that the Katsu had made and this thing is like it's like cut in a diagonal way and it's barely like moving. It has what looks like to be a slither of life keeping it together. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mox's turn. Uh wait, did it did, did oh, it yeah. move on its turn? No, it didn't. Oh okay, so it would have taken an extra D eight on its turn, which is three points of fire damage. It is holding on by an even okay. smaller <laughs> slither of health. <laughs> that that would have technically been on its at the end of its turn. So my turn. Uh, wait, hold on. I have to check. Great bonfire, real quick. Uh, can you like challenge? I can. That's what I'm doing. I just uh, don't know if I have to recast it to do it on my turn again or. Um, Go up to it and hit yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, there's no. <laughs> uh, if it's like a concentration yeah. spell, I think it just so, keeps on going until you cast another concentration, or you like it, fail your check. It does, but the thing is, is that if I hold, yeah. if well, if I hold that, like I could theoretically throw another spell, and then keep my concentration on that. <clears throat> Spells in concentration, yes. but if I want. It, to have to make a new save right now on my turn, I have to just recast the spell, which I can then keep up again. With the cantrip. Uh, so technically, I'm recasting Create Bonfire, which lets it drop and then flares it back up again. Uh, so yeah, make a deck save. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll actually be fun. 14. 14 is my save. Does it take it damage? Does. No, it's a cantrip. <laughs> it just sidesteps out of the way. Yeah, I am holding it there though, and it's still in the space, so if it doesn't move, it'll take damage. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And then, uh... Um... I... For shits and giggles, I'm gonna, um... Because Constantine took damage, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you took damage? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use one of my Balm of the Summer Court dice and heal her with my bonus action. Uh, so, you heal for four hit link. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Like, you see, never got hit. <laughs> and you get one temporary hit point. Oh, baby. Like, Very just one, one... Yeah, it's health overflow. So you're back HP. at 22. Yeah, and then you have a one HP shield that goes away. <laughs> Like that goes, that'll eat one point of damage next time you get it. If you get it. How long does that last for? For ever. Until we okay. take a rest. Alright, is that all you got? Yeah. Kaz, my job. <laughs> Alright, I'll Eldritch Blast once again. Did you need an attack? Uh, what was, what was that all, no, 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 what was that all together for the d20 roll? d20? Yeah, the, the, to hit roll, essentially. Four. Plus your... Plus. Charisma. Charisma and proficiency. Oh, it's a ten. You shoot your Eldritch Blast and it ricochets off of the armor. It ricochets? Yep. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> and I'll stay where I am. It is... <laughs> it is the creature's turn. And it's gonna try and hit. Actually... Yeah, it's gonna move to the left, out of the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Emphasis on try to hit. <laughs> well, yeah. And then try to hit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> try. That's a hit. That's a crit fail. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know what? Hey, hey, Astrid. Huh? It, it has one HP. You can just kill it. It crit failed. How do you want to do it? <laughs> it dropped dead from shame. I want to grab it by its helmet and just rip it off. <laughs> you rip push it out. down and you just you rip the whole head off like the metal chain mold just comes loose. <sighs> and the body just falls to the floor. Fucking rage! <laughs> oh, that is great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will drop my uh, concentration, by the way. There we go. You know how, like, in Adventure Time, the episode was Susan and she's just, like, big? Mm -hmm. That's that time envisioning Constantine. Just like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep concentrating on my hunter's mark, by the way, because I can hold that for up to an hour. Okay. And that one temporary HP will stay on you. Uh, the one HP shield. Can I yeah. blade ward Ashtray's X? Blade ward? What yeah. is blade? Ward? That's not in this book. Fuck. Oh, no, never mind. That's for me. I thought that was... Also, uh... Just for future reference... Well, Mage <laughs> Armor lasts 8 hours, first off. Mm. Uh, also, technically, uh... You can't... You cast it if, uh... If, you, if you're not wearing any armor. So that'll, uh... You normally can't do that if you're wearing leather armor. Oh. Uh, I don't know. If you want to, like... Mage armor is worth more whatever. than leather armor if you want to just wear that maid dress forever. Yeah, I'm taking off this leather armor. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you can cast that at will and it lasts 8 hours, so you can literally keep mage armor up 24-7. Yeah, forever, yeah. Forever, okay. We will always assume you have mage armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now the comet's over. Uh, uh, you guys have one, two, three, four doors to pick from. I think you're heading to the south one. I. 
I think I was gonna go north. Um, Are we splitting the party again? Well, <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? That was in <laughs> this house gets. I think we should all stay together. The farther we go up. Yeah. Uh, now I that mean, inanimate objects are coming to life, I don't want to be poking around that. with like just a few of us. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I won't be the only person to keep this human in check, so I agree to that. I f keep the human. What? She what are like you human. on? <laughs> yeah, I got that. Thanks. <laughs> human in check. You would keep you alive. You see what I did to the barbarian? <laughs> yeah. I but found still. the secret room. <laughs> <laughs> you can check my ass. I'm going north. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> The druid storms off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which door north? There's two of them, technically. There's two? There's the yeah. grand door and then the one next to it. Oh, yeah, the big door. Absolutely. You open the big door. It is a... giant room with this like huge huge bed on the uh, north side on the uh, west side there's like a tiger's pelt there's a nice little comfy chair a uh, kind of wooden desk area <clears throat> a little like what looks like to be a dining place right next to what looks like to be uh, the uh, what someone calls it the dumb waiter Mmm, goes up here too. And a door that looks like it leads out to the, like a balcony almost. And a uh, closet looking area as well. Oh, okay. This is the master bedroom. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Uh,. I'll <coughs> check out the closet first, it, right? Yeah. The closet balcony. You open the door, and it is filled with dust. Bunch of dust. Cobwebs. Mm -hmm. Like... Like this hasn't been opened in a long time, dust? Yes. Uh-huh. Good to know. Are we all okay. in the room with him, or is he by himself? Yeah, no, you're I all... I went north, you guys could have followed uh, me, could have not. Yeah, if you wanted to go with him, state now. Or if you watched him storm off. <laughs> I think Can it's funnier like... if we watched him storm off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just, like, uh, what's it? Stalk without him knowing? Yeah. It's a pretty open room, I don't... You could be at the doorway just looking inside. <laughs> Yeah, I try, but my perception's pretty good. Okay, <laughs> give me a stealth check. Oh, <laughs> uh, what I roll? D twenty uh, plus D twenty plus your stealth. I have a passive perception of sixteen, so. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you can you kind of just see him at the door, just looking at you. Totally thinks he's hidden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll let him think he's hidden. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm not. No, <laughs> whatever. Is he like <laughs> hiding behind the door, kind of just poking his head? <laughs> that's the yeah, just poking my head. It's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> mm. You find anything useful? Not yet. Some old clothes. The farther up we go, the older everything seems to be. <sighs> Constantine said she found food. Yes. Right. Did I hear her right? Bread. I wonder I if it was good food. Because we found Bread. a skeleton. You're not there. We found a skeleton <laughs> that seemed like it had been dead for a while. I guess they could have left it in a, you know, in the room, but it seems not likely. There's valuable stuff in there, and now I'm finding a closet that looks like it hasn't been opened in long time so safe to say someone's already in 
someone or something might be residing. I'm getting a bit nervous in this house. Uh, something doesn't feel right. Um, so now you feel nervous. And not nervous like I think I'm gonna die. I'm, you know, pretty good at handling myself, but... Uh, yeah, I just feel... I, but it's still strange. I really didn't get a bullshitting vibe out of those kids. You also notice that there is a uh, portrait of what looks like to be a man and a woman on the uh, north wall. It's covered Fair. in dust. <clears throat> uh, you said there was like a desk, right? Like a. Yes. Okay. I'll go over there next. Uh, keep my eye on the portrait. But yeah. You go to the desk and you notice that the chair is super dusty and the uh, kind of fabric that's woven into it is kind of coming apart. Uh, on closer inspection, you kind of see bugs are eating away at the fabric. On top of the desk, you see a jewelry box. Okay, I'm gonna grab that, but first I'm gonna, or I'm gonna open it, but I'm gonna <laughs> motion to Castaia and I'm gonna be like, see what I mean here? And kind of point at the chair and be like, Nobody's been here in, it looks like, years, but downstairs, apparently, there was food and things look normal, clean. It's very confusing. Now I'm gonna open the jewelry box. <clears throat> uh, has. Ooh, do I get more goodies? <clears throat> the box is made of silver and gold, and inside are three gold rings and a thin platinum necklace with a topaz pendant. Cha-ching! I... <laughs> well, for cultists, they sure had some money. The whole box. Just the whole thing, everything <laughs> in it, just in the pack. Okay. They're evil cultists with animated armor. I don't give a f*** anymore. Uh, but yeah, I'll kind of hold it up to the cast and be like, you feel like I said. slam right against her cheek, Moxa. Like it, it, it has like sensation to it, and it's making a buzzing noise. Like a bug is. You look and see a cockroach has landed right on your face. Uh, that's <laughs> weird. Kazdia, you also feel a cockroach land on your face, hmm. and you notice I mean, it seems like they're coming from the tiger rug. I mean, I'm a druid, so a cockroach isn't going to freak me out, so I'm just going to kind of pluck it off and put it on the chair. And I grab uh, it and squish it. So violent. Uh, and then I wipe it on Idris' clothes. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Rug seems... buggy. <clears throat> uh... You want to hit that one, or...? Yeah, you go do it. That's true. Probably save some bug life if I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk over to the... You said it was tiger skin, right? Yep. Yeah, I'll walk over to the rug and, uh... Lift her up, see what's in there. You open it up. It is... Covered in cockroaches. They are mm -hmm. laying eggs on the underside of this tiger skin. Mm -hmm. The tiger skin is not well kept uh, on a closer plant. It is rotting. Mm -hmm. I'll gingerly put that down. Mm. He puts it back down. <laughs> Again, see what I mean? Everything's kind of fucked up up here, except for this. Goodies. <clears throat> Ah, uh, I don't know. Everything's weird. Yeah, don't. I mean, say. well, I would have thought that we'd get got tricked in here, but <clears throat> other than the armor, there haven't been any real threats to us, and you know, like I said, those kids really didn't seem like they were bullshitting. <sighs> That seemed pretty genuine. I don't know. It's weird. To 
Deception they don't is a like very, it. very elaborate thing. I suppose. I'm pretty good at people not, you know, being able to read people and... I mean, they're just kids, granted. Probably cultists, kids. Like how you read that barkeep and you kept on drinking. I drank one glass of wine. And yes, I was trying to get information. I got a lot farther than Constantine <laughs> did. I almost said you, and then I remembered I wasn't there for that. Um. <laughs> you hear the dumbwaiter start activating. Something's coming up. I'll just look at Castaia and be like, what the fuck? Oh, the dumbwaiter was like the happening. floor below us, right? Yes. Okay. Ah. Uh, I think we're getting a delivery. Bing! Oh. I suppose I do have to open the door, don't I? Or yeah, would I'll you be care right to do by. that? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna pull out my scimitar for this, because okay. you know I gotta use it at some point, and just kind of have it in my hand just in case I get jumped on. Uh, mm -hmm. And I will slowly <laughs> open up the fucking dumbwaiter door. And goes up to it. <laughs> you grab the dumbwaiter door, a lot more oily and greasy than you remember the bottom ones being. And he slowly lift up. <laughs> it's extremely dark in here, and in the back you see what looks like to be something, and it's looking right at you. The skin and details of it are kind of hidden with shadow, but the eye... Have you ever turned off a a light and how it kind of lingers with a bit of like mm -hmm. dark light uh, before it cuts off. Let That's the use... same color that they're using, that these eyes have. And they're staring right at you. Can I use my dark vision right now? Yes, I can't see shit because <laughs> I'm a human. But... You squint in your eyes. <laughs> Kaskia. And you see a head. And it's the head of Constantine. I don't... Who the fuck's in team? I don't see it, so... Hey, it's the... No guys! Head of I the have region. no light! Guys! I found... I found the ghouls! Have I figured out who it is from the voice, or...? Oh god... <laughs> hey, human! It's the... Primal human. We have to be quiet or else they'll hear us. Not understanding Kestaia. Like, do I figure out who it is? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Constantine. Ah! <clears throat> uh, get in the waiter, quick! Are you seeing this, Kestaia? We gotta help Frederick. Quickly. Ah! Uh, help who? Frederick. Oh no! You won't Fred last for long. I'm gonna slowly the shut the door. <laughs> Dexterity saving check, Monza. Oh, motherfuck. <laughs> Put the druid in the front. Great idea. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, six! A cold, withered hand grabs you by the neck and starts forcing you into the dumbwaiter. Oh, ah, Cedric! Go! I'm gonna Can I just blast the hand right now? You take oh man. You take three points of black <laughs> Okay. As your face slams right into it. Give me an attack roll. Cassia. <clears throat> Alright. I was trying to stab it too for the record. And Not bad. I don't need to. You won't need to. The hand comes loose and the dumbwaiter closes. You hear it fall all the way down to the first floor. You guys uh, also hear this, uh, Constantine and uh, okay. Frederick. Hearing that, I definitely enter the room. I yeah, ask I guess I'll what happened. <laughs> you kind of see uh, smoke coming out of the dumbwaiter. Uh, you see Edric on the floor, kind of coughing and getting his breath back, and a uh, withered hand. Right next to him. Uh, His cast is there as well. Can I get a closer look at the hand? 
How about I just pick up yes. the hand to Victor? <laughs> I'll just look over at Constantine and be like, Hmm, <laughs> you, the, uh, no. What? They're, hmm, okay. He was a little tired. I think somebody's trying to fuck with us. The hand, you notice, is starting to wither away. Like it's turning to ash. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, is that something I would have experienced before in my character's history? No, this is some spooky shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I turn to the party and I say, this is some spooky shit. <laughs> oh, I'm you spooked, seen boy. Just, you should have seen what just tried to pull me into the fucking dumbwaiter. What was in there? Well, my dumbwaiter? It looked like you. I'll point it like who? You, you, like Victor? your mask anyway. Oh, me. <laughs> shit. I don't even know where... Hmm. Yeah. So, these things can look like us. I don't know if it was a thing or I mean, I don't whatever think it is. Splitting up is a very good idea anymore. <laughs> probably didn't fare very well on the fall. Hopefully. <clears throat> so, still think it's a good idea to storm off like that? I mean, yes. <laughs> I found goodies. <laughs> uh, also, if you two want to take note, this room is fucked. Uh, don't <clears throat> touch the rug. It's not a good idea. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the nobody's been in here for a while. Yeah, um, this is definitely strange. It gets weirder the farther up we go. Mm -hmm. uh, the don't way like this room. Yeah, the way it was Wait, described to us sounded like. People were living in this place before the ghouls got here. Yeah, I mean, we still haven't heard any ghouls or seen the the people that are supposed to be in here. It looks like at least everything in this room is destroyed. I don't know what the fuck just came up the dumbwaiter. <laughs> Nothing should even be down there anymore. You set a trap at the base of the stairs. Nothing could have come down down while we were in the rooms. I mean, I said... I, I have a I'm look very around the room and, like, towards the ceiling. Do I see anything? Nothing to note. The house looks like it's older. Older than the floors before, or...? Yes. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, is no one freaked out that this thing is looking and acting and sounding like other things more than us things? Acting like, but it certainly sounded like you, and well, I couldn't really see it, but Zoom looked like you. Uh, I mean, well, whatever it is, it's down there now, and I mean like to figure out what the fuck's going on here. Yeah, we should find this shit quick. Should we uh, check I out haven't the... been out on... I haven't been on the balcony yet. And did you want to check the other doors before we try and find out what was in that dumbwaiter? I mean, yeah, I think we should still clear the floor and then go down there and see if whatever's left of whatever's in <coughs> the dumbwaiter. You know is down there. I'm... I think I'll live without going out on the balcony. Uh... I don't particularly want to get pulled off anywhere like I almost got pulled into the dumbwaiter. <laughs> um... <laughs> so... Yeah. Okay. It's... Someone else can lead the charge this way, thing. Alright, so we're gonna head back into the, uh, the main floor. Y'all head back out, and you know, the stairs are gone. Oh, God. Yeah. There's nothing oh. but floor where they were. How peculiar. Mm. <laughs> That's I, I walk over to where the stairs were, and I, like, tap my foot on the it's floorboards. It's solid as shit. It's, it's not floorboards, they're, like, like marble. Mm. Okay, damn. 
Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but my house didn't have disappearing stairs. <laughs> I yeah. to myself, play things we are in for no week. I guess the only way to go is forward. Then yeah. Can check the other yeah. rooms. I mean, <clears throat> there should be a passageway to the attic somewhere on this floor. Because there was an attic. Um, right. Well... There was probably an attic. Apparently, there's not stairs anymore. So what do I know? Uh, hmm. So I suppose we should either head. There were two doors to the south, right? Yes. And is that it? That's it, right? You to the south, and there was one more in the north. Oh. Ah. Well. Where just start somebody else lead the charge. I think sticking together is a good idea. Yeah, let's yeah. start north -est. All right, I'll <coughs> open the next door. You open it and you see a bathroom. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> the bathtub is filled with this disgusting kind of moss-ridden dark water. The uh, like toiletry hasn't been cleaned in a while, and it's kind of got this weird, a viscous fluid all over it. Yeah, and just generally looks really old and yeah, disgusting. Yeah, not well kept. All right, I don't inspect that room any further, and I kind of like try to close the door. <laughs> close the door. I, I turn to <laughs> the party and I say, "We don't need to be in there." Mm hmm. Okay. For it. Next door. What's behind door so To the two. south. We go. <coughs> there, uh, one to the left of you going south, and one directly south for the south doors. Oh, let's go to the left south, not the south. Who opens that? The door? Should be the smaller. Constantine opens the door. <laughs> My mental you... layout's right. It should be smaller anyway. <laughs> Constantine opens the door. And you see what looks like to be this old, dusty kind of broom closet. And there's a broom at the very end of the corner. The, also various cleaning supplies. I'm gonna close the door. I don't trust the broom. You close the door. <laughs> <laughs> there's a broom in there, but it seems like spooky shit. We can move on. <laughs> the brooms felt like spooky shit. Brooms, you Well, say. the dumbwaiter didn't seem spooky until there was a monster pretending to be me in it. How, do, how can I trust a fucking broom? <laughs> was there a monster pretending to be me in the broom? I don't know. I didn't go in there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. It's just a closet. Uh. Door number three? Four? Counting is hard. Should be three. the last door. Yeah, crack it. Yeah. I'll go in this one ahead. You know, that worked so well the last time. <clears throat> you see a room. And... This room is kind of nicely kept. Uh, there's a... A lot nicer than normally. And there's another door to the right. And in that one you can hear... What sounds like to be... Sobbing. <laughs> uh, hey, Edric, how's it going? <laughs> you guys can take point on that one, and I'll point to the door where I hear sobbing. Alright, I'll go in first, readying my musket. You kind of, like, tactically open the door. And at the back of the room, you see a crib that's kind of rocking. And in front of it, you see a woman crying and sobbing. And she says, Walter, Walter, Walter. I, uh, I keep my musket, like, ready on the woman, and I ask who Walter is. Gustav, give me back Walter. Gustav? Is that one of the, is that one of the cultists? 
in this house? Walter. Mm. Okay, I uh, I kind of like approach this woman, get a better look at her. I'm gonna just stand in the doorway. I'm gonna stay close to Victor. You get closer and she kind of turns <clears throat> around. So give, give me back my baby! As her jaw kind of discontorts into a large screaming whale. Everyone oh, roll God. for initiative. Oh, fuck. <laughs> roll for what? Initiative. initiative. Boy, we really gotta be afraid of that broom, you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> uh, I got 12. 22. Fuck. Oh, not 20. One d twenty, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Woo! Fifteen. Plus what? Why did you put that? In? Your dex. I wanted to roll on the sixteen. Dex. Okay, wait. Oh, I I fucked up. Why am I rolling so well? Mine six. <laughs> What'd you get? Okay, so cat, what did you get? Twelve. Uh, Moxa. Twenty-two. Uh, Katu. Sixteen. I got okay. six. <laughs> it. Moxa, Katsu, Cat, Astri, the little creature. Fuck it up. <laughs> Was it Cat or Katsu first? I think it's Katsu, right? Katsu. Alright. <clears throat> well, I'll do it oh. after. Yeah. Fuck, why do I keep going first? There you go. Alright, Moxa, it's your turn. Uh Um Well, you know what? We're gonna be nice and consistent. I'm gonna <laughs> cast create bonfire underneath <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is literally all I can do without burning spots. <laughs> this is my weapon. Matt 20 <laughs> Okay, it saves. Uh I'm gonna drop the bonfire. Uh, I'm not gonna leave it there. Cause it will probably move or somebody will move into it. So. Uh, uh, I got nothing else, so... I don't need any healing right now, so... Yep, I'm good. Just stay in the doorway. I'm ready to heal people. Alright, Katsu. Alright. Are you with me, or are you up front with them? I think I'm with you. Because I don't... Oh, okay. Get into the direction. Yeah. Uh, wait. All right, I will use Tasha's hideous lap. Second. Trying to play conservative with my spell slots. You guys are just kind of doing. Yeah, man. <laughs> Throw it over around. Spell slot. It's how many spells you can cast per Can't day. Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> can only rage. Fuck to be rage. fair, you only get one more rage today. Oh uh, yeah, I only have I'll just I won't need many more. Alright, it needs to make a charisma save in my life. Or is it a wisdom? Wisdom. Hey. <laughs> it rolled a sixteen. What is your spell save DC? Fourteen. Okay, it succeeds. It does nothing. Alright. Rip <laughs> spell slot. Uh, do you want to move, or do you want to just end turn? I'll move a farther back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's Cat's turn. Okay, uh, am I within melee range of this thing? Uh, <laughs> say you're ten feet away. Okay, good. <laughs> um, fuck, what should I say to put my marker? <laughs> 
It needs a verbal action. Uh... I mean, that's usually represented as some kind of like arcane chain thing, kind of thing. It's a hunter's mark, though. <laughs> yeah. I want to be creative. Mm -hmm. Die, foul beast. <laughs> <laughs> hunter's mark, go. Time to put you back where you belong. <laughs> you say that every time. Yeah. Every time. Every time. <laughs> I'll. Uh, I'll get further back towards the door and take a shot with my musket. <laughs> that is 22. Woo! Ooh, yeah. Cool. Is my D12. Is this thing undead? Yes. Oh, baby. Fuck, one of my dice fell off the table. <laughs> I love the sound of it falling. <laughs> Pure yeah. destruction. Fuck, it fell off again. No. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. All right, all right, all right. okay. Uh, so that's. Eight plus two plus four plus two. So sixteen. 16. You bloody it. <laughs> As it's part of its corporeal form, you start to dissipate. Oh man. Golly. I like oh. sort of twitch my nose and my mustache goes like hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is Your mustache uh, makes that noise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Smashing. It's sentient. He's actually okay. a warlock, and that's his uh, patron. Your <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> turn, Astro. Uh, where does that shot hit? Uh, like in its jaw. Okay. I'm going to swing at its legs. All right, give me an attack roll. <laughs> and then it's my plus six one. Yeah, to hit. Oh, okay, so. so it's one d twenty plus six. You hit. I'm roll tight. damage. I'm sorry. So bad. <laughs> Plus uh, four, right? So nine. Yeah. Nine. You murder it. Cool. Jeez. Even <laughs> with resistance in it, you guys did enough damage to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> it dissipates right in front of you and screams, Walter! Okay. Is there anything, like, left from where it disappears? Uh, let me check. I cannot find my pen. What the fuck? Where did it go? <laughs> you notice... Ah, there it is. I found it, guys. Congratulations. Don't worry. We're what good. looks like to be a wrapped blanket. Something moving underneath. Uh, I, like, <laughs> nudge the blanket with my foot to try and, like, unwrap it. <laughs> oh, dude, we gotta put that down. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby crying sort of thing. Like a little giggling. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, we <laughs> <sighs> I'll look to Constantine and I'll say, you can do whatever you want to do. Alright, I'm going to unwrap that blanket. <laughs> you unwrap the blanket and you notice there's nothing inside the blanket. Edric, cast bonfire in that blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I will do as told. <laughs> it lights away. Well, golly. Uh, at least now we know that we're probably being fucked with by some kind of spirit or undead. Isn't that your thing? <laughs> Motioning towards Victor. 
Yes, it is. Do I... Is this, like... Have I read about any sort of instances of people getting trapped in houses and them changing? Yeah, you... Give me a history check. Okay. Wait, what did I miss so far? have... We killed him. That is... A 12. You remember hearing stories about possessions and things like that, and that sometimes a spirit can possess a house. Okay, I let them know that it's not the first time something like this has happened, and that spirits can possess things other than people. Hmm. You think the whole house is possessed? Uh, possibly, or perhaps even just this floor that we're on. Uh, uh. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. I feel like we're in way deep for simpler adventure. But the fresh food being on the first floor makes me believe it would be the entire house. Because the food this was place, fresh. This place is old. Oh no, did I eat ghost food? <laughs> you said it tasted fine. Jack, did I eat ghost food? <laughs> Do you have any bread left, or did you eat it all? I do have <laughs> bread left. I go, took it. Go look at the bread. Yes. I'm gonna look at the bread. <laughs> the bread is all moldy and has. <laughs> <laughs> I ate ghost food. Can I, I'm can dying. I open my pack and make sure that all of the stuff that I took, the everything oil, the you tea, have taken, is still intact? What about books? the onions in my? The onions are rotten and moldy. <laughs> <laughs> I still have my lacy coat. I, I empty them from it. my sack. The lacy coat is bug ridden and being eaten away. Fuck! Dude, your pack is fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna dump it all out on the ashes of the blanket. Uh. <laughs> Cast bonfire. <laughs> what? <laughs> Burn it! I am just you have rope and a whole pack there, and I'm well, not burning I'm not, I'm not, stuff. No, I'll take my pack back, because it's expensive, I don't really have much. My gold, my rope. It's just a bit more protein in your backpack now, it's fine. <laughs> I can pick the bugs out later, but can you set this moldy bread on fire? Why do I need to set the bread on fire? I want it gone! <laughs> Yeah, I don't see any point in killing the bugs for no reason. Bread. I mean, Wait. the bugs didn't really do anything to you. It's just kind of, <laughs> you know, hanging out, trying to live their lives. You know how it goes. Wait a second. Can we get out of this room, please? <clears throat> uh, After you? Yeah. Can we? <laughs> I mean, I've been standing in the doorway the whole time, so... I don't think, uh, I don't think it was us, suggested right? that we're, like, walked in here. Alright, well, let's head out. Oh. You guys go the opposite way, and you notice... There is a weird wall kind of in front of you. It is in... decorated. <coughs> with... So we're back in the main room that used to have the stairs. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're still in... Uh, the ghost the bedroom. room. Yeah. Coming out of the ghost room into the bedroom. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot there was another room we were in. Yeah, and in that kind of uh, ornate wooden carved wall are things that look like ivies and berries. Ivies and what? Berries. Which wall of this room? It would be on the north side. You also notice that it's not flat to the north. Like how all the other walls. There's like a little bit of space in between it before it forms the wall. Okay. The wall. The north wall should be the wall that. Okay, I'm gonna go look at that. Our fancy new wall. And check that out and see if there's anything. I Give notice. me a perception check. Okay. Uh. Well, right on the dot, you notice there's like slots where you can put your eyes in. 
Ha ha ha! No. <laughs> uh, I found holes that look conveniently eye-shaped. Uh, would anybody care to partake? Is it no one there? No volunteers? I'll come with you. I mean, I'm not gonna look through them, but oh, you fuck can. You. I'll look. I've already lost one eye, have... son. <laughs> I, also... <laughs> I also cannot see in the dark, so I can okay, use my not. dark vision yes. to look through without having to go up close. No, you have to get up close. Yeah. Wait, how about I, I take one hole? Yeah. You take... Are there two holes or one hole? There's two holes. Okay, we'll each look in one hole. <laughs> That way, you're at least left right, with one eye so each, right? Kaznia and Constantine <laughs> both up to, to one hole each. <laughs> you're the two that can Look. see in the dark, too, so that's good. And you see what looks like to be a stone staircase that goes up. And you hear... <laughs> can I hear this as well? <laughs> and a secret door opens. You did it! Alright. Cool. I don't know what you did, but you did it! My eyes are... I feel accomplished. You didn't have to sacrifice your eyes to open the door? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. I'm just making sure. Uh... The door opens, and you notice it's a stone staircase that goes up. We found the attic! Hooray! I did it! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gotten more weird and dangerous as we've gone up, so I'm sure this will be a fun floor. I, I wish definitely we have my weapon like ready for the attic. Okay. <laughs> What's the marching order? <clears throat> I'll go <I'm> first. <laughs> there we go. I'll go second. Okay. Trash. I'll be last then. You guys. Does Edric have the fucking shield? Yes. <laughs> you are. Look at you. You're big what, and strong. What? A human shield? Asshole. This is <laughs> making up for the fact that I am not big and strong. Last that time I, I checked, you alive. I was like five three. You got smacked a little bit by the armor. I healed you some. You know. You could have used your shield on me, and then I wouldn't have gotten hit at all. That's not how this works. <laughs> I, you Why can you borrow the shield. I don't if want If you'd it. like to borrow the shield, you can't really no. use the axe at the same time. I want time. you to be effective at using your own shield. I'm effective at being in the back. And okay, whatever, let's just go. Helping you when you get hit from okay, not having okay. a shield. <laughs> you guys climb up, and you eventually come to the end. It's a weird kind of upside down L shape uh, with a little hallway going. There's about one, two, four doors coming into this room. <laughs> Nothing else of note. It's very dusty up here. More dusty than the third floor. I'm yes. gonna make my light shirt glow. Barely so there. Dark. Now dark. light is not yet. And light is now entering the room. Okay. I approve as I cannot see otherwise. Can we can we see anything? Like any creatures? Uh no you cannot actually. Okay. Can I see any creatures? No you cannot. Are there well, doors me. here? <clears throat> yes, there's one to the north. Uh there's two to the north and two to the south. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a lot of doors. Um, I vote south first. That sounds fair to me. Alright, well let's all stay together. <laughs> well, hence, I would think we should stay together at this yeah. point. There's two south. There's one directly south and one a bit more to the west. Okay, southwest or south? I say south. We'll south? start south and work our way clockwise. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Is that like right. at the bottom of the L shape, like down the hallway sort of thing? No, it's like on the where the top of the L would be. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You open the door and it's a small, like, little bedroom, uh, with some like slender desks, and at the very like north end of it is a rocking chair that's rocking with a smiling little doll on it, like a porcelain doll in a lacy yellow dress. 
<clears throat> there's like webs that kind of surround it, almost like a wedding veil. Hmm. Are we going in? I want to inspect the doll. <laughs> Can't trust a damn thing in this house. As <laughs> you walk like up with to the doll, you oh. feel like its eyes are watching. I'm gonna back up from the doll. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty much stuck with <laughs> Constantine. Hey, this thing has weird eyes. <laughs> hey, this thing laughs. Actually, I um, shoot it. <laughs> while everybody's distracted with that room, can I go back into the other one? Dip around the corner, and uh, which one? The southwest one. Well, just if everybody's chilling out, like in that room, just go back into the room we just came out of. Okay. Uh, and do the thing. That <clears throat> I'm gonna message you. Okay. All right. You know what? Constantine's gonna say fuck it and pick up the doll. God. All right. You pick up the doll. And it's... it's a doll. Okay, Moxie, yeah. you can do that. I'll put, I'll put that shit okay. down. Well, I'll look normal. Creepy laughing eyes and all. So the only thing in that room really was the rocking chair and the doll? Yes. Okay. Uh, is this room dusty as well? Oh yeah, it's really <laughs> dusty. And it's like hot in here. Have you ever been to an like inside of a garage mm -hmm. where it's like been hot all day? That's like the type of <clears throat> what you're seeing heat you're feeling right now. It's just suffocating almost. I'm gonna come back around the corner now with my I have a lantern. A bullseye lantern if anybody knows what that is. Where it only comes out like in like a hole in the front. Hmm. Uh, I'm it's gonna... essentially an ancient flashlight. I'm gonna head out of the room. Yeah, I'll head out. I'll also close the door. To Constantine now because I have a flashlight. You have three doors to choose from: the up north one, the northwest one, and the southwest one. Southwest. Southwest. Yeah, we'll go clockwise. You open the door. <clears throat> you see a dusty chamber with a bunch of. What looks like to be maybe furniture that is kind of like draped in these white sheets. As well as mannequins next to that furniture, also draped in white sheets. <laughs> Resident Evil vibes. Mm hmm. What's the temperature in this room? Still kind of eerily hot. Okay. Uh, I leave and I stay like in the main, the main floor area. Okay. I'll go ahead and check out some sheets. You start pulling the sheets off, and it's like chair, other like mannequins, and then you drop a sheet, and you hear it land on like the soft ground. You turn to look, and you see something laying down on the floor that's covered with the sheet, and there's this red dried stain on. Okay, let's pick up that sheet. <laughs> you take off the sheet and you see the withered skeleton. Not so decomposed like the hair is still there, weirdly mm. enough. But most of it is gone and she's wearing a maid outfit. And she looks like she was stabbed right in her stomach. Constantine is showing second thoughts about putting on the maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, give me uh, a... Oh no. <laughs> give me a perception check. I hate you. <laughs> okay, a ten, and then... Two, five, four... Fourteen! You notice that this kind of looks eerily similar to the creature that you fought just a little bit ago. The, the weird the ghost. Lady? Yes. Hmm. 
Okay, uh, I'm going to decapitate it for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> Lit. Don't like this room. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell everyone, hey, this thing I just decapitated kinda looked like that ghost we just saw. Hmm. And I think we're wearing her clothes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why she tried to kill you. Maybe that's why she tried to kill you. <laughs> no, that was Victor's fault. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe she tried to kill you because we weren't wearing the clothes. I'm tired of listening to Edric. I'm going back to Victor. <laughs> <laughs> back in the not so stuffy and hot floor. <laughs> north and northwest. 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 Yeah, northwest. Yeah. You open the northwest bedroom. It is a bedroom. With webs everywhere, and it looks like to be another rock. It almost matched the other one that we saw. Cobwebs mm -hmm. everywhere. No doll. No hmm. doll. So it's like another bedroom sort of thing? Yep. Okay. Okay, I just want to point out because I was just looking back in my notes. Uh. No, hold on, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Do I see any windows in this room? Uh, no, yes you do. Just one? Two, at the very north wall. Am I close enough to see, like, out this window? Yes. On the north. <clears throat> Can I see the tavern from the window? No. That window would have been the one where the room with the doll in it. Okay. Fuck. I turn around and, like, keep an eye on the hole behind us. Okay. What, uh... Just out of curiosity, does anybody remember what the kids specifically said when we first met um, them? They said that the mother and father were trying to keep the ghouls at bay and the butler had... Uh, told them to leave before he died? Didn't somebody mention the attic? We saw the ghouls in the attic. Mm -hmm. I think I'm misremembering something. Was that right, Kat? We saw the uh, Out of player, I have forgotten <laughs> a lot. Fucking shitholes! I thought that they mentioned that ghouls came from the basement. But there's not a basement, and I don't know if I remember that correctly because I didn't write it down. Wait, I think I also do remember basement. Mystery. Jack! <laughs> <laughs> this is why I should take better notes. Um, okay, well, then we should keep that in mind. Might be a basement. Maybe mm -hmm. check it if we can ever get back down to the first floor. Um... Next That's door. Hard. Next door. You go up to the door, and you notice this one's a lot more secure than the other, and it has a giant keyhole, kind of in the middle. Mm. Does the door look as busted as the rest of the floor? No, or? this one's like reinforced. <sighs> Is the door locked? Well, yes. Can we hear Can anything behind the, the door? No, you cannot. Wait. Hmm? Didn't uh, Castaya? Hmm. Didn't you find a key in the desk in the library? Did I now? You tell did me. You? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, okay. While they're doing well, this, I'll just be like keeping an eye behind us. And I'll yeah. use the key on the door. The door opens. Bing! You go into the room. This room contains a brick up window flanked by two dusty wood framed bed sized for children. Closer to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted on its side, and a dollhouse that is a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. These furnishings are draped in cobweb. Lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons wearing tattered but familiar clothing. 
The smaller of the two cradles a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Ah. Uh, oh no. Well, that explains a little bit, now doesn't it? Genuine. I quote, mean, unquote. I asked we what they ghosts. found in the room. <laughs> um, I'll show you the lantern. Some... See everything too. Kids. Some familiar kids. Some kids that we've seen. I'll go some in there. Some kids that sent us here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll go in the room and just look at the bodies and see, uh... Give me a not... perception check. They're not really kids anymore, they're kind of skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, over the body specifically, right? Day. 24. Yeah, just Ooh. checking the bodies to see if... You notice that they didn't die think. of... Uh... Yes, they are what you think they are. Okay. They didn't die of any outwardly caused either. Like, there's no, like, injury that indicate how they would die. You kind of notice also looking at the room, this door can only be opened from the outside. Uh -huh. Am I still outside the room? <sighs> yes. I walk them in! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Twirl my moustache. Ha <laughs> ha, it was me all along. <laughs> I was the ghost that led you here. Uh. Facts. Well... Ah, uh, this explains a bit. If they're ghosts, they might have actually thought that what they said was happening was actually happening, which explains why they read true to me and why it's definitely not what is actually happening. My <clears throat> thoughts of not trusting the barkeep suddenly deepen. <laughs> what does the barkeep have anything to do with this? I don't know. I cause think about it. Every this is a pretty small town. Everyone would probably know each other. And if these kids, if this whole house is super old and everyone's been super dead, can I make? We didn't tell her what house we hey. were going. We just brought her two kids. That. But I think oh. she would know what these kids. Oh. Look like. They've been dead for. Yeah. Decades. To Could I make, it? like, a religion check or something about, like, unburied bones and ghosts? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. They look like they've been dead for decades or centuries. Fifteen. The army didn't look that old. Uh, <laughs> if, these, if there was spirits for these, you could tell they wouldn't have been able to leave this house. Okay. And there most likely are spirits because these bones are just left unburied or blessed in any sort of way so wait they can't the spirits couldn't have left the house yes so it's possible that they're trapping us inside the house what well do you convey that to that yeah, information yeah, yeah, yeah. To the party? I'm just like reusing <clears throat> to the party and I suggest uh, it might it might be a good idea if we can find a place to bury these bones if they couldn't have left the house, then how could... You saw them outside the house, correct? Mm. Yes. Then who was that? Are they not the children we saw? Didn't we also encounter a monster that likes to steal people's faces? Did we? we... <coughs> oh, yeah. The dumb waiter. Alright. <laughs> I didn't see that shit. You suppose that's... Error. This is against my theory. Um. Hmm. Curious. In the room, there's still the uh, the dollhouse in the center. Yeah, I want to go look the at little, that. The little uh, mm. toy chest as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the bone to help okay. Victor find a burial <laughs> place. <laughs> I, uh... Bones, 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 bones. As yeah, I want to go to the bones dollhouse. for a while, probably. As you start picking up the bones, you see uh, what looks like to be two little feetsies right next to you. Little feetsies? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Please All be right. careful. Suck on their toes! Suck on their toes! <laughs> <laughs> they told me to Please be careful. Be careful. Yes. <laughs> Do any of us notice? Any you guys, of us? yeah, hear the voices and you see two little children. 
that look very familiar. Okay. Do they look like the children that we... <clears throat> yes. Ah. Uh, Who are you guys? Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, you were outside and told us to come fight some monsters to save oh. your parents? If you want to fight a monster, you could use your... But, mister, we've never seen you before. Ah... Uh, you are Rose, my Rose name, Valda and Thornbolt? My name's Rose of Vault, the older one said, and the little one sucking his own thumb. And this oh, is Thornbolt. Do you know Um <sighs> How old are you guys? <laughs> what year are you born? What's time in this game? Little Thorn is six and I I'm, I'm ten. I don't think the years here work the same way they do where we come from. Constantine. So, Roosevelt and Thornball. Rosevalda oh. and Thornball. Rosevelt? Rosevalda? <laughs> Is that spelled that wrong? Yes, it's Rosevalda. Fuck! Uh, oh, wait, no, my, I got it, okay. Yeah, yeah, I said it. My audio it's must have, like, cut out. Roosevelt! <laughs> it's it's Thorn because it's Thornball. <laughs> Rosevalda. Well, okay. Um, are you our mommy? They look. They say to Constantine. Uh, <laughs> we never so met our mom. Know? Oh my God! They don't know their mom. No, we just stayed in here. Then the food stopped coming. Mm. Is there like a dumb waiter in this room? Uh, no. But you notice on the door, there's like a little slot that can be opened from the outside to okay. give plates in. Oh did fuck, I forgot ever, about the door. Did you guys ever see anyone? Or has it just been the two of you? We've been in here. Sometimes we have uh, the the maid come in and teach us things. What kind of things? Like how to count? I can count up to, I think, this many. And she holds up both hands. I guess this bitch wow. was ten, Jack. Is the door still open? Are yeah, the door's still open. Okay, I'm gonna move back to the door and just, like, lean against it. So, uh, okay. Rose, right? That's short. Lanny. Yeah. Um, you said <coughs> you could use some help if there were monsters in the house. Or if we were here to kill some monsters. One second. BRB real quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck was outside? It was a face stealing monster. <laughs> I want to check out that dollhouse. Yeah, and they're right. Bitch. See if it has like some of the three floors. If it's a <laughs> model of the house, I want to see a tinier if, model of the house. If there, ooh, if there's, if it's a model of the house, I want to see if there's actually a basement. Like if there's also, a like, room or stairs that go downstairs from the first floor. Try moving things around on the model and see if it like affects the house mm. where we are. That's actually a good idea, yeah. I just want to know if I'm crazy or not. It's actually a fucking basement or if I'm stupid and remembering wrong. I'm pretty sure I remember basement. I Didn't they say the monsters before? came up from the basement? Yeah, something like that. And then... Yeah, their parents were gonna, like, hold them off in the attic or something. And then... I... Fuck, I need to keep better notes. Um... No, it was definitely something like that. Because when you guys were like, there are no stairs down, I was like, wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what made me think of it originally. Hmm. They're cultists, so their parents would have been cultists, I guess locked them in the room forever. And then their parents died. We haven't seen... We haven't seen any parents' bodies. Yeah, we've just seen servants. Stabbed so we know me. there was the maid who was asking... Got stabbed. ...a man about a missing baby. 
So we could almost assume that A, the maid had an affair with the husband, and that's why she's got stabbed. Or B, she had an affair with the butler, and they're like, we're not keeping any fucking staff babies in this house, and they threw that shit out the fucking window, or probably sacrificed it to say, you know what? Hey, Jack. Uh, where were we? I was, uh, asking Rose if, uh, to elaborate a little bit, if she, because she said if we were here to kill monsters, they could use our help. Uh, let me see. Second. I she think what we've got is you spelled pertains to the parchment that I took. I can mm. read it huh? once more in verbatim if you guys like. Might help uh, with the situation. Maybe not around the children. Right. He pointed <laughs> at the dollhouse and said, Right before the maid stopped visiting us. She said to be safe and that she would come back for us. But she said there was a monster down there. And she points to the dollhouse and she points to the area with all the, uh, where the drapes are, uh, where Ashley found the body. In the very corner, there's like a little door you can see that you didn't notice when you first went in there. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. <clears throat> uh,. Can I go look at the dollhouse? Sure. Does that door have? Are these children to... tangible? Uh, yeah, kind of. You can try my and arms around the children. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll keep you safe. We'll kill the monsters. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Where, where'd the children come from? Because I thought there were bones on top. Well, they the ghost children. Ghost. Oh, ghost children. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, check out the dollhouse where she was pointed to see there's a door I assume we didn't notice. Are there any windows in this room? Uh, yes, there are. I'm going to look out the window. Uh, they're okay. boarded up with, like, bricks. <laughs> I'm going to look at the bricks. <laughs> Longingly. <laughs> Assuming that, like, these children what died a nice of view. starvation, Victor will, like... Give them some food. Ghost food. Ghost food. <laughs> Fuck the onions. We're not hungry anymore, but thank you. Okay. I'll oh, see what you did, Victor. That was fucking insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Do I see anything in the dollhouse? Yes, the uh, little area goes down for the looks of it. That's what I was looking for. And that was in the room with all the furniture, the draped up furniture. The where the body, yep. the decapitated body now is. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And that leads down to monsters, you said? Rose? Yeah, that's where that's where they that's where the our mate said Mama and Papa would take down people. And that there was a big monster down there. Hmm. Big monster. Cool. Yeah, big <laughs> Ghouls aren't big. I don't think our information was so accurate on whoever or whatever put us in here. I don't Times even know if we're in the same house that we entered when we started. That's a scary thought. Please be careful, Mr. and Mrs. Sometimes other people have come in here, and we haven't seen them in a long time. Mm. They said the exact things like you did. But we never met them before they came up here either. Mm -hmm. I see. Well. See, the barkeep knew. <laughs> the what? She knew. No, this has anything to do with the barkeep. <laughs> All of it has to do with the barkeep. <laughs> You're just pissed off because you got shot down. Let's I don't care about getting shot down. <laughs> I care about getting shot up. That bitch is gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> she is fine. I just wonder if we just handed her two fucking monsters. Did her bar? Didn't uh, the barkeep said she's seen people like us before? Blah blah blah. They never came back. Yeah, but she didn't mention the house. She doesn't have to mention the house. She's trying to get us killed. She looks like she knows no. how to look after herself. I think she'll be fine. <laughs> that was all out of game supposed to be for me, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, I think that. We should head downstairs to this basement and 
take care of whatever monsters are down there and... Uh, oh, did you scoop off the bones, by the way? Yeah. yeah, I have the bones now. Yeah. We, uh... Go I to think, the sea. Um, yeah, I, well, that? I want to pull... I want to talk with everybody out of earshot of the kids. Okay. Uh, the secret outside. door is not in the room the kids are in, is it? No. No. I'm gonna t the, tell the kids to stay here and keep them safe. We'll like everyone else did. try <laughs> to, uh, we're, no, we're going to go into the basement and take care of any monsters down there and see what we can find. And Facts. Hopefully that can help at least a little bit. Okay. And then, yeah, and then I want to pull everybody out of the room and have a... Uh, once we're away from the ghost children. You turn back and you notice the children are no longer there. Yep. That wasn't necessary. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what do y'all think? I think... Um, do you want me to read the note again? Cause I I'd like to hear the note. Have I, I actually like, heard the note yet? Or yeah, I don't know if I've heard the note. I have not heard the note. You gave I, me a brief... Yes, so and now I will explain... I will recite it word for word. <clears throat> My most pathetic servant, I am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on a path to immortality. However many souls you have bled on your hidden altar, however many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon, know that you are not the ones who brought me into this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent. You abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman, and sired a stillborn son. Cursed by darkness? Stillborn. Of that I have no doubt. Save you from your wretchedness? I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dread lord and master, Strahd von Zerovich. Okay, let's pause. I fucking told you, Mox. <laughs> yeah. Go fuck yourself. I didn't see you. <laughs> Remember when I was like, the maid probably got stabbed because she fucked the guy and they had a baby? Anyway. <laughs> we don't know that's why she got stabbed. Baby I quote said, unquote. Okay. Heck, I mean... Because it's dead. Oh. Yeah, I... It's still born. Because <laughs> it's fucking dead. <laughs> um, well, that explains a little bit about what's going on here. So Strahd obviously doesn't respect this cult that's formed around him. So the cult tried to summon this devil Strahd. But he exists Strahd. here. But he already yes. existed. And sent them a letter. Uh, He's not rude. Apparently he knew a bunch of things going on here. So the kid's parents were cultists. Uh trying to summon Strahd and they used to take people into the basement and that's where the where altar probably is yeah. big monster mm. ah well um we're, we're back in the okay um uh, little hallway thing so Seems like there is a basement to the house. I assume that's where those stairs lead, unless, unless there's some real fuckery going on here, and going down leads us to a different floor. Um, mm. so we can check to, to see if the staircase on the third floor is back. Get the hell out of here. No, or... we need to follow this through. I have a feeling that it's not going to be, and that the basement... I think we have to solve the problem in order to get out of the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's get back to that room now. If we can find a place to lay the kids to rest, that uh, probably would we'll be better, we'll too. We'll work later. Uh, well, there may be, like, a boom or we'll some kind of family later. crypt downstairs. We'll worry about it later! I'm just... Coors. We'll get there when we get there. Right now, let's focus on the problem of hand. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cyril, off to the secret room with us. 
go back into the area and you notice the uh, door that wasn't there before. No, fuck the fucking That's door. Awesome. Got it. It goes down. It's very cramped in here. It goes straight down. Mm. It's a little staircase. Mm, like spiral gonna... staircase now? Yep. Mm. Wait, is this in the room? Door. Yeah. In the yes. JP room? Okay, cool. Mm. I'm gonna yeah. uh, pick up that maid's body and her now okay. severed head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna carry that with me for a little bit. All right. You kind of awkwardly put it all in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> We're the jelly web infested bag. <laughs> There's just like a bunch of bones, and then you suck it yeah. in your head, just like blankly staring into the dark. It's all just hanging out of my bag. Mask and the bones, you're more skeleton than human at this point. I tie it together with the rope and just fucking shoot. <laughs> okay. Spend like a good five minutes <laughs> in the bag. Actually, that's a good question. While she's doing this, do you guys want a short rest, or do you want to keep going down? We will keep I mean, going. how long is she doing that? Five minutes. Five minutes. But you could take, like, longer to rest if you want. Um, uh, yeah, let's short rest then. I don't think we have an hour to sit here. I don't particularly want to sit in this house or this room for an hour. Same. True. Let me just shove this body in and go. <laughs> <laughs> if we have 11 minutes, I could do a thing, but, uh... We can have 11 minutes, I'm taking 5, so 6 more I don't kill him. think we're in that big of a rush, so assuming nothing jumps out at us, I will... Okay. So, we can I will... Rest. Well, a rest- a short rest is an hour. Uh. What I'm doing is taking 11 minutes, because I'm gonna cast a spell. Facts. Uh, I'm going to rest. rest. Uh, I'm in a ritual cast tech magic. Okay. Um, and see if there's anything here, and then it's concentration for ten minutes, so I'm gonna hold that while we go down this. Alright. There is a strong sense of magic all around you. Mm-hmm. Especially going down. Uh, do I get a specific, like, school of magic that it is? No. No school, just an aura. Uh, that would have been good to know earlier. Well, I can confirm to you all that the house is in fact magical. All of it. Of some nature. <laughs> it's a slow uh, uh, Well, it's Thank not just some- God. It's not just we something you, in Edric. the house. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Not just something in the house, the whole house is. Victor just, like, nods silently. It's clear that he knows nothing about magic. <laughs> wow, a house Literally cast is spells. magical? <laughs> no, his spells are practical. <laughs> uh, Castillo is just like, he finally pieced it all together. <laughs> I like how much of an asshole your character is for literally <laughs> no reason and on shit that makes actually no sense. <laughs> My character's doing like so much that she can just hardly figure it out. It's like, yeah. Fucking, Great. I love that Edric is just in-game Moxa. Like, we just all shit on him for no <laughs> I keep you all alive, you remember that. Uh, <laughs> Hey, I have magic hands, but... Ooh. Hey, look at me, I can heal, and also create bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> create bonfire. Do that I just... a new, like, Twitter trending hashtag. For, for <laughs> my out-of-game curiosity, do either of you have spell slots left? At all? Oh, oh then. I don't have spells. Uh, I don't. Do. Two, or unless I expended them? You used one. Expended one. You used one for uh, Tasha City's last year. Okay. I have one left. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> um, yeah, I set up a trap, which we've been, like, separated from. <laughs> yeah. So, rip that idea. It was a good idea, though. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Yeah, and then, obviously, I have ten minutes, so we should head down. Uh, I, I sense a stronger <clears throat> magical aura going down, by the way. Um... I, yeah. I guess I'll lead the charge if that's okay with everybody, since I can mm -hmm. see magic for a few minutes. 
You guys head down. You head down. I'm gonna head reapply down. my shirt glue. <laughs> reapply your shirt glue. Yeah, I still glow. have my lantern <clears throat> hanging. And you I head down. Can. And you keep heading down. And man, it feels like you've been walking for a little bit. And then you finally see the uh, bottom. It is a stony looking area. Very, very dark. It's extremely dark. And that light is your only light source to be able to see anything. On top of that, I will ask you guys a question. Out of game. We are about to hit the final part of this thing. And it, depending on how things go, can be fairly lengthy. Do we want to stop or continue? Fuck no, we're not gonna fucking stop. <laughs> Gotta finish this shit. Yeah, right, well. let's go. I have nothing else to do, so. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't even work tomorrow. Into the this hallway it goes about ten feet, and then it cuts off into two hallways. One going north, and one going south. It. Okay, so hold on. We went down the the spiral staircase, and it spit us out in a room. It's a hallway <laughs> that goes forward, and then the hallway kind of separates left and right. But the direction would be north up and south down. That's where it kind of keeps going. I'm assuming, like, even with the two sources of light that we have, it's pretty difficult <clears throat> to see in How this hallway. Uh, and no, you can see fine with the two sources of light. How, how light, uh, how bright is light? Do you know? <laughs> yeah, or... it's... I don't have that spell. I don't know it's like it's 60 cool. foot or something. It is. Yeah, isn't it bright light within like 20 and then dim light? Yeah, so bright sure. light for 20 and then dim light for another 20. After. Okay. So it's, yeah, generally like emanating from you and then my bullseye lantern kind of a farther but yeah. it's more in front it's not a full room kind it's of a thing. focused beam yeah. yeah it's a flashlight it's a big dumb heavy flashlight <laughs> can we see like any markings or anything on the walls or the floor no it's all just cold stone okay okay which well. way first do both of the doors look relatively the same uh, there's no doors, it's just like a hallway. Oh, okay. Shit. Do they, how far do they both stretch out in? Are they both just the, farther than I can the see? So the south one keeps going, the north one you can see a wall. Also on the north one you see that, that it separates in two ways as well. It goes west and east. Oh, Jesus. So there's really three directions that we can go. Yep. Mm. How do you guys want to do this? I think we should go uh, south first, because that only has one option. That we can see. I was going to say go north first, because there's two options. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm oh. fine with either, as long as I get to kill something. <laughs> so. I'm going to take out a gold piece and flip a coin. Okay. Oh, I'm going to roll an actual d4 to see if it's fucking... <laughs> Heads or tails? That's north. North? Alright, then we'll go north. You guys oh, wait a minute, there's three north. directions. Hold on, I can use my D3. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, we're, we're, we're retconning that roll. I need to use this D3 guy. Okay. I paid money for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got a two. Which Is would be... That... that would be like, north and then... And then the one that goes... Or east, west. instead of west. Yeah. You guys okay. Kind of walk around. Use my D3. I'm so happy. And you come up into the east hallway. It cuts into two doors. One on the west. <laughs> I mean, one on the south and one on the north. Oh my fucking god. Flip a fucking coin. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be a maze. I thought basement was going to be like a room. Um... We should have known from the rest of the house. I didn't know they had a whole fucking dungeon down here. Uh, before I mean, we I guess go they were cultists. any further, mm -hmm. let me just look at what I'm carrying on me. Um, also, with Detect Magic still up, anything 
fancy. Or still just the general. Actually, I bin. forgot one description for you guys. Let me grab it real quick. Mm -hmm. It's kind of important. You you still get like the same essence by the way it looks. Okay. We saw what? Well, he told me that I had the the same kind of like general magic. Oh, okay. Things. Uh, yeah, I've just like looked through my inventory and I don't really have anything for it. But I'll look to everyone else and I'll ask if you have like anything you can use to mark the way that we've come from. I would also like to mention that I am drawing the uh, world's roughest map I have been the whole time to try and keep track of where things are. Mm -hmm. uh, so I do have a general idea of like where we've been and where we're going. But Come now I'm a little tea. bit out there because we just went through like three T intersections. So yeah. <laughs> Constantine is going to take out the maid's head and stroke her chin thoughtfully. Oh. <laughs> mm. So, a description you are up, aren't you? fairly important <laughs> that I forgot to say. When you guys come down here, you hear chanting everywhere. Oh. It sounds like that. Oh, cool, YouTube video. Oh, wow, Bloodborne. Oh, golly. <laughs> I know that game. That would be the best way to describe what you're hearing. Wow, singing. Yeah, okay. chanting. Sing <clears throat> chanting. Is this familiar to me? Uh... No, it is not, actually. Chanting. These aren't any languages that I could uh, know. Does anybody know Barovian? Uh, no. No! <laughs> <clears throat> no. That is not in my list. What do you mean it's not druidic? Um... Are you sure it's not the celestial? Just so that's just coming from all directions, like we can't pinpoint yeah. exactly? Yeah, it's- if you could- it sounds like it's coming down, from down somewhere, you could guess? Like, further down? down? Yes. Oh, like further, fuck, dude. But it's- it's like resonating through these- yeah. through this, like, dungeon. Maybe that's what all the magic -y bullshit I'm getting is. Possibly. Um, my character's, like, not familiar with cultist rituals. I, uh... I don't really have anything to mark our way, I don't think. Unless I can use these stakes on the ground, I don't think these will be useful. I don't think I have much either, uh, unless you want me to start dropping baby bones. Oh, please do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Wait, what's in an explorer's pack? Hold on. Facts. <laughs> I have like a whole bunch of torches that I could light, <laughs> but it's not Maybe gonna we, last forever. We could break the torches into pieces and just lay them down like breadcrumb. How strong are you? Very strong. Okay. Give me the torch. Yeah, I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, I'll give. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I got it! Nice. I'm gonna druid craft a flower. <laughs> you and druid gonna... craft a flower. And it is a a uh, a white rose that kinda Gross. has like the shape of a skull in it. Gross. Ah uh, not yep. that what was I not the flower to... you were trying to make at um, all. But that's what came out. Huh. Ah. Uh... Let's try that again. I'm gonna try to make some sort of sick joke, human. Uh, <laughs> no. Let me try to that again. Right You're wearing a skull on your head. I have a flower. What'd you say, Jack? Flower comes out. Well, uh, I'll work on that later. Um, uh, for now, these creepy ass flowers will work fine. We'll just mark intersections. The I can make as many of these as I want. Um, it's kind of fucked up, though. I'm just gonna hold it up and look at it. I'm gonna hold Maid's head closer to the flower to let her inspect it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The jaw just kind of comes, like, loose. <laughs> yeah, she seems pretty spooked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm. Uh, so I'm, I guess I'll mark our intersections. I'll go back and retroactively mark the the two that. Yeah, the two that we took. Okay. Um. Now the north or south door. Continue oh. flipping coins. I wish I had my brother. My brother actually has a coin with a 20 on one side and a 1 on the other. Um, I could have bought some of those when I went to the con, but I didn't. Yeah, I bought it for my brother years ago. Why don't you just get a coin? Are you, are you broke? Are you that broke? You look at no, it's just cool because it's like... Oh yeah. my god. It's dice theme. My brother has better shit than me because I buy him stuff. Wait, I have bottle cap. <laughs> I mean, I got some <laughs> coins right here if you just want me to flip that. Yeah, go for it. Alright. Heads is north, tails is south. Yeah, that's heads. Okay. North it is. We are finally on the. Hmm. You go to the north and you. the big slab, like, of stone that's covering it. You, it mm -hmm. takes a stronger person to kind of open it up. Strong? <laughs> I'll open it. And it's like an empty kind of area. There's nothing else in here. Hmm. Like no way further on. No, it's just it's like an empty, <laughs> ten feet little. Alcove. Doesn't look like a holding cell. Uh, give me a religion check. Okay. Sorry, what was the description of the room again? Like I a ten it. foot alcove. Uh, oh. Fifteen. Uh, you notice that this is kind of like a tomb, but there's no, like, casket in the middle where there, somebody would be put to rest. What's on the ground? Is it like soil? It's like a soft, it's like a stone, but surrounded by soft dust. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell them that this looks like a tomb. I'm assuming, like, there's nothing spectacular about it. Like, if you knew what a tomb looked like, that's... There's an, is there a name? It's just empty? No, there's like, normally there would be a casket here. There's no casket. But okay. there's not like a name on the front? Nope. Unmarked. So, okay. Random mm. tomb. I assume if we go south, we shall find a similar room. Do you okay. open the south door? Let's just, like, make a note of where this tomb is for now, in case we need to return later. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm putting it on my shittily rough drawn... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying really hard, guys. Okay. So, then let's head south and see if there's just another boom down there. Okay. Please, Open God, be a dead end. Door. Oh, are you opening the south door or going south? Yeah, we'll go south and you said there's a door, so I assume there's... So you open the door, we'll say, and it's a, like you said, a similar room. Also yeah. unmarked? Yeah, unmarked. Okay. Hmm. There's no, uh, no name on this one either? Nope. Huh. Usually tombs come with names and bodies. <laughs> mm. I have bodies. Ah, I Got think we should maybe... Three bodies uh -huh. and two tombs. Mm. Uh, let's maybe come back. Yeah. After all is said and done, I don't want to just start dropping bodies. Yeah, in what we this think might be yeah. like cursed ground, especially in a uh, cultist place. 
so... What other directions do we still have? Well, we hit these two. There is uh, east, and you, or you could go back south. From the main hallway, at least. So we should go... We should go east. Any objections yeah. to going east? No. Uh, east it is. Nope. <clears throat> Because otherwise we're backtracking to a different... Yeah, you see. Yeah. You find a kind of big room. It is too oddly shaped for me to... For me to describe, but... It's not help my map, but okay. Then I'll... It, <laughs> it's 15 by... No, you don't... You're fine. I'm by just 30 fine. with four weird alcoves that like L-shape off of it. And then continues going east uh, down another hallway. The there's a wooden table in the middle with four chairs uh, around them, as well as chairs near the east end of the room, as well as like I said, the uh, four alcoves. Okay. Um. Is there anything on the table in the middle of the room? Absolutely nothing. What about like dust? Yeah, there's like dust and cobwebs. Okay, so it <laughs> hasn't really been used for a while. Yeah. Uh, I assume like we're going through this room to reach the door on the other side. You could side. either go to like the hallway or you can go check out these weird alcoves. Yeah, I'd kind of like to inspect the alcoves kind of look into them and you go through each every one of them and they're all like dusty moldy like a mat bed a straw mat bed okay so probably where cultists have been sleeping mm. is this family really keeping a cult in their basement doesn't seem like the most comfortable place to sleep good for where his secrets to be kept mm. I suppose I feel like it'd be best to keep them all in one place. You can't have your cultists just going all over. I think I just a group personally. of people randomly showing up at the house is kind of suspicious, huh? To the neighbors. I mean, I just wouldn't put it under the house, but I'm not a cultist, so who knows? You wouldn't be, would you? I am not. <sighs> I want to remind you, you're wearing a skull mask and carrying three bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Out of respect. <laughs> I am sure, I just wanted to point it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you Should not we... human? Hmm? Hmm? Mm hmm? Aren't there cultists to deal with somewhere? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I feel like we're Should we keep off going? Track. This just seems like <laughs> yeah. to the east. Uh, yeah, that's the only way out of here, right? Uh, you could go back the way you came. Yeah. No. <laughs> you go to the next area, <laughs> and you kind of go down a small set of stairs. In this room, is the chanting getting louder as we go down the stairs? Yes. I hit the end of my sheet. Get a new sheet. There is, in the middle of this room, a well from the looks of it, and at the top is a small little wooden bucket. There are... Five doors. Oh, oh Jesus man. Christ. Oh, my bad, not five doors, five rooms. They're not, oh, they're not doors, they're just open. Okay. That you can go into. A, B, C, D, and E. Is there anything in the bucket? Uh, there's a hole in it. A hole in the bucket? But it looks like it's tied to rope. How long is the rope? Uh, I would argue about 35 feet. Okay. Um... Do you want to try lowering this bucket into the well? And <laughs> I know there's a hole in it, but maybe it'll catch something. If I shine my lantern down the well do I see uh thick black water hmm ah, ah. 
I'm not quite thirsty, personally. <laughs> not that thirsty. Uh, I... Guess I... We could check out the rooms. I don't know about the well. Okay. I'll just leave Let's the bucket as it is for now. Alright. Who wants to go in what room? Are you all gonna go in the rooms together? We'll go together. Are they in what direction? Uh, there's. Here, how about the. Pick a letter A, B, C, D, or E. 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 Fuck. <laughs> I picked it first. D. <laughs> I'll pick Fine. D then. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's go with Constantine's first. Yeah, fuck you. Went you went to your room. <laughs> And it's kind of a nice little bed. Not like as nice as the one upstairs, but decent. You could sleep on it. And a chest. Okay, who wants to open that one? You're the only one in the room. I'm gonna look at a maid. Hey, but. <laughs> you wanna roll over there? It's like the <gasps> jaw just opens more. <laughs> Shit, dude, fine. Okay, I'll go to the chest. I'll inspect it a little bit. The chest, from the looks like it, it's uh, fairly sturdy. It has a rusty padlock on it, though. Can I manhandle this padlock? Give me a strength check. Yay! <laughs> Normally, we have somebody with thieves' tools to solve these kinds of problems. <laughs> Okay, and then I get plus my strength plus my sixteen. You plus four. It's still enough. You manhandle this lock open, <gasps> and dust kind of just shoots at you. <laughs> Is the dust you... coughing? Uh, no, you do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you open the chest? I'm going to you. I'm gonna kind of like hobble the maid out a little bit and use her arm as an extended arm to knock the <laughs> chest open a little bit. <laughs> you knock the chest open, and you see very <laughs> useless stuff like kind of uh, scattered pieces of paper with these weird symbols on it. But just below that, you see something shiny, really shiny. Is this chest pick upable? Yes. I'm gonna pick it up and take it to my friends. Okay. <laughs> you take it what to your friends. Moxa, which letter did you say? D. You see the same thing that I described. Ah. The chest and a lock padlock. Did anybody else Hell. take a room? No, I was still sort of no. standing near the well. Okay, what do you do, Moxa? I don't have anything to open a chest, so... I'm gonna go back to my companions in the other room. And explain what I found, and that there's a locked chest. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's good at dealing with locks. I'm not. I had a crowbar, <laughs> but I don't, I I don't think hands. I can use that for a padlock. I... I mean... Oh, uh, well, is Constantine back now with her chest yes. in tow? Ah. Uh, you see something glittering beneath all the papers. I brought this for you guys to look at. <laughs> How much time has passed since we fought the suit of armor, by the way? I would say about an hour. Okay. Just because of the, the Definitely lost my hunter's mark then. <laughs> <laughs> um. If you opened the chat, was yours locked too? Yes. <laughs> it's flex! Did, do you know how to pick logs? No. <laughs> did, did you break it open? Give me the box. <laughs> I don't have mine, it's back in the. Go get it! <laughs> I'm not strong. Jesus, shit. Uh. Simon. Okay, I'll go back into his room and grab his box. We can do like okay. a little. A little surprise box opening for all the boys. Anybody <laughs> gonna dig through the one that she has that's open? Yeah, I'll look through that. The, your hands get chopped off. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, as you go okay, through, I don't it, need them. You look through the paper, and right beneath it, 
you see a what looks to be a short sword that's slightly unsheathed, and it's glittering like it's super shiny. Ooh. Fuck, my detect magic is still gone. It's gone now. It um, looks like a short, no more short sword, but has silver over it. Oh, it's a cape. Oh. Uh, Victor would no, definitely know what I silver does yeah. for weapons, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll to uh, break open that a bit. Go ahead and give me a strength check. I wish somebody here knew Pop it to identify <laughs> so that we can figure out if this magic. <laughs> Inside Wallet's that one, identify? you what? find a like a bone white handle uh, among miscellaneous things. But the only thing that was really important is a bone white handle, and it's like a hairbrush, but the bristles are silver. Huh. Pretty. That's probably worth a pity. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna brush the maid's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it like peels <laughs> off some skin. Uh. I'm gonna brush it gently. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, I was just asking, like, can warlocks learn identify, or is that not in their spell pool? Uh, good question. I actually like, don't know, even if they can, they can't ritual cast. Well, like, unless... worst case, Kaz could do an arcana check. I mean, I can, if we spend 11 minutes, I can tell you if it's magic or not, I just can't identify it. Yeah. So, do um, you want me to... We can look in more rooms. There's three more I rooms. I mean, um... I'll be, like, fixated on this sword now, just... While you guys are fucking with the other rooms, I'm gonna assume it takes a little while to break the locks and stuff, so I'm gonna sit here and cast... Ritual cast detect magic for 11 minutes. Okay. Are you just gonna grab all the other chests? Yes, yeah. I will grab the other chests. Cool. I will give yeah. you three more rolls. <laughs> all the other chests. I'll just be like watching more? Edric's back while yep. his ritual custom. Oh fuck! Thank God for ritual casting, by the way. <laughs> Nine plus six. Eh, yeah, I get that one up in two. <laughs> so is it only like some spells that you can ritual cast? Yeah, and it just means that I can spend ten minutes plus the spell level minutes. So it's first level, so eleven minutes. Okay. You pop and I can up. do it without expending a spell slot. And then, can I ritual one? cast Hunter's Mark? Rangers cannot ritual cast. Damn it! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Only you like clerics. Are good, so. You open most of them except for one. <laughs> there. Who? What do you want to look in? Which one do you want to look in first? Um. Uh, C or C or B? Uh, B. You look inside and you see a folded piece of cloth with something in it. Inspect it. You open the cloth and there are three moss agates. Agates. Agates? Agates. Gems. Yeah. Basically gems. Cool. Pocket them. I'll put it in okay. the maid's hand and then shove her back. <laughs> okay. Oh god. We're gonna be haunted forever. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You wanna look into the sea chest? Yeah, show me the sea chest. You What's see box C? a black leather eye patch with a carnelian sewn into it. Picture! <laughs> 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 What's a carnelian, sorry? A it's a it's gem. like a gem, like a amber gem. Okay. Yeah. Picture! So it looks Dang like it. an uh, if she hands it to me, I'll pocket it for now. Hands. <laughs> well, yeah, if... I mean, if she comes back, yeah, I'm gonna be like, lay everything we found <laughs> out, and I can tell you if anything's magic or not in, you know, there. a couple minutes. There is one. Still needs to be open. <laughs> there is what? Because you rolled a two to open it up. Oh. Roll okay. Again. I'm gonna roll again, but this time I'm just gonna try and smash it on the... <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Like the whole box, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully there's nothing fragile in there. Six plus uh, twelve. <laughs> it's plus one. Ah! Still open. Hmm? Still not open. Mm, so Somebody not can open. help you if they want to give you something. advantage. I'm a little bit busy. I feel like Kaz would be the one to help. Alright. 
give me another roll, but take the highest. Like, roll twice and take the highest. Okay. This time with feeling. <laughs> All those other times. Okay, what can I do? <laughs> Help, uh... Fuck, what's your name? That's again? good. Uh, Constantine. Constantine. Yay, Constantine. 17. Yeah. Help Constantine open the chest. No. Oh, All I got is a crowbar. Is that 21? You guys oh. smash the chest open. Yay. Combined effort. <laughs> and you see something tan. Like leather almost. At the bottom of the chest. And it's like bolding. Like there's something in it. Like leather almost? Yeah. Inspect it. You bring it up. And it, it kind of has a jingle to it, like there's coins inside of it. And as you turn it around to open it, you notice that it is human flesh, and there's a belly button in the front. Ugh. Oh, that's, that's fucked up. Okay. Um. I'm just I'm gonna stick my little thingies in there. Just. <laughs> uh, you you kind of go around and you count about eleven gold pieces and sixty silver pieces. Cool. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the belly button down. <laughs> but I'll take the Bring gold. Everything <laughs> back to me so I can see if it's magic or not. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. How long does this take? Uh, oh, my cast the, takes eleven, 11 minutes. minutes. Yeah, oh. yeah, eleven minutes pass as you guys wait. Moxa, none of the items are magic. Great. The short sword is silvered, though. <laughs> uh, it detect magic and also detect metal. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Detect There's metal, metal over here. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised that's not a spell. Um, <laughs> a guitar in the distance. Okay. I uh, hear some metal. <laughs> yeah, none of this is. Uh, none of this is magic. So. Cool. It's all Thanks. just. Well, it's all regular gems, a regular hairbrush, a fancy eye patch, and a sword that somebody could probably use that's not me. I mean, I could use it, or can I use it? Good question. No, somebody could use it that's not me. So it's basically either me or Constantine. That can I use like the my sword. axe. Yeah, I'll take the short sword. Sting. <laughs> you have a silver sword sword. Yes. Alright, uh, the only other place to go now is there's one place on the south that goes back east, or go back the way you came. East. So, wait, what was all the stuff that Constantine has now? There's three oh. gems, the eye patch, and the airbrush? One second. Burn uh, I gave the gems to Cat. Oh. So three okay. gems, the pieces, it was how many gold pieces and how many silver pieces? Oh wait, so I'm carrying the three... Moss agates. No, you have eye patch. I have okay. moss. Our oh. maid has moss agates. There you go. Okay. What was inside the eye patch again? A carnelian. Okay. Yeah, it makes it look like you have an amber eye. Yeah. Glowing. Lit. And then did you keep the hairbrush too? Yeah. Okay. I'm brushing the maid's hair, you bitch. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we had everything accounted for. Yeah. So I have the money, the hairbrush, and the gems. The maid has the gems. Don't take them from her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Victor got the short sword and the eye patch. Mm -hmm. Got it. So really, you have two options. You can go back the way you came, or the, uh, I guess, the north, or I guess southeast uh, corner that goes into another hallway. Southeast. Yeah, I don't want to backtrack until we have to. Just go southeast, and they come to a set of stairs that go down a little. And then you enter another fork in the road. To Motherfuck. To the southwest, it goes down another hallway that looks like it goes down another set of stairs. And then you can go down another smaller set of stairs in front of you into, uh, you can't see the room, but you can kind of get an idea it's, there's a room in the distance. So hallway or the room in front of you? Hallway so goes go down. 
Well, room. I vote room. Yeah, let's try and stay on this floor as much as possible. Or... Yeah. I'm confused. Uh... <laughs> okay, hold on. Can you do that whole the hallway thing again? We went down some stairs, and now there's one path that leads... To your right, typically, down. from where you're looking. There's a path, there's like a hallway that leads further down, yes. At the very end of it, you can see stairs that go down as well. Okay. In front of you, actually, let me, let me rectify this. The stairs in front of you, where that lead to the room, don't go down, they go up. Okay. Okay. So... Yeah, I we should go up to that room instead of going down. Let's try and okay. stay as level as we can for now, and then we can come back here and head down when we want. Okay. You go up into a room. It's like a uh, dining room. Uh, there are kind of like this um, rotten kind of wood table in the middle. It's like kind of bench people would obviously like commune and eat uh and you see a bunch of like moldy humanoid bones kind of strewn about everywhere hmm and then at the very south wall there's like a small little alcove okay I'll like I'll enter the room and like and then, avoid oh, yeah. stepping on any bones and check out this okay. alcove. I would like to inspect the bones. You look at the bones and you notice that they're a little bit tarred. Huh. Oh, these like, bones look a little tarred. <laughs> <laughs> like they were cooked. Tarred? They look a little cooked. I thought you said tarred, like covered in tar. No, no, like charred. Like, tarred. Okay. Yeah. I still hear tarred, but okay. <laughs> tarred. <laughs> you also notice to the would be the north. There is a hallway that kind of goes down, uh, and has two other little separate hallways that you can go mm -hmm. down, creating right. like a plus. Is that the only doorway out of here, other than the one that we? Uh, no, to the south, there's another area that goes down. And you can hear oh, Claire chanting as well, but it's out of tune to the other chanting you hear. Was there anything in that alcove, by the way? Yes, give me a perception check. Um, I'm letting you guys take the lead, I'm just trying to navigate at this point. Fifteen. You get up close, and you kind of see something moving in the distance as this warm-like creature with four, like, hooks coming out of its mouth, and a God. beach square in the middle charges at you. Everyone roll <laughs> for initiative. Oh, God. Okay. Uh -oh. It's, it's a crazy. crawler. Nat 20, so it's oh. 22. Okay. I thought you were just fucking... Oh, there's my nat one. Three! <laughs> Shit. Whatever, 17? Okay, so it... So it's 11. Dex plus 1 or plus 2? Is my what? Oh, my dex, right? Dex, 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 plus 1. I can't kill that. Okay. Yeah. Also, it should say initiative in, like, the middle. Oh, of it's 10. I don't pay attention. There we go. That's how it should be. Monsters. Yeah. Alright, cat. I'm paying for those good dice. How far away now. from me is this thing? Uh, it is 5 feet away from me, so it's in... God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, uh. I'll just risk it in here. I will, uh. get as much distance from right. this creature as I can. That's an 8 to hit. It misses as okay. little tentacles of blades at the end try to grab you. Okay, sweet. And, uh, right. I will take a shot. <laughs> And that is a 12 to hit. You, it like bounces off of its rough hide. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, well, that's it. 
Uh, it is Ashy's turn. How far away am I? About 20 feet. Okay. <laughs> Get in close. <laughs> Show us how it's done. Okay. I'm gonna go for one of the tentacles so it can't manhandle me like I manhandled this fuck. Mm -hmm. Boop! 14. I can't get You hit! 14. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Oof. That's Ooh. a big boy. <laughs> okay, plus four, right? Four, yeah. Do it. Four, yeah. Yeah. Just plus four. yeah, you add four. Yeah, fourteen. You, you you hit it for seven damage. Oh. Oh. As you cut deep into it. Do we need the silver? It still looks like it hurt, and it hisses at you. Ah. Fuck. It is now Katsu's turn. Katsu! Alright, so I'll cast Soldier's Blast again. Alright, roll a d20. Plus your spell tech. What's that plus the feather d20? Oh, what's the modifier again? Uh, your charisma plus your proficiency. It should say in spell attack. Like plus whatever. Oh right, 14. Okay, you hit. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> 1d10 <laughs> plus crit. You just hit it. So 12. Oof. You do the full 12 damage. Cool. And what I damage move back of out of... It's just magic, magic damage. damage. Yes. No, it has a type, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just blast like the type, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's force. Magic. Oh. Is it force? Okay. Yeah. Is this like oh, a new a new D, &D Everything thing? has damage type. Okay. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> you could, like it, you could attune your Eldritch Blast, but like by default it was just unaspected. Mm -hmm. well, I think force is is the equivalent of unaspected. Yeah. Yeah. Horses, fuck you, there's no resisting it. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's, it's really hurt. I would say it's bloody at this point. Alright, and I move out of uh, its attack range. You're not in with its attack range right now. <laughs> You're already sick. You can keep oh, walking okay. backwards, though. <laughs> I'll walk backwards <laughs> just a teensy bit. <laughs> I take a step back. Alright, the creature looks at this, this barbarian in front of it. It's gonna attack. Do your fucking worst pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even hit the cyclops. What can you do to me? Chris, you, you go down immediately. <laughs> All right. It makes two attacks. Ooh. Aww. That is a eleven to hit. Does that hit your AC? Fourteen. You're good. That is a twenty-one to hit. So that's gonna hit. I think it is. <laughs> and she still has one temporary hit point. Yeah, you still have one extra on top. Wow. Uh, you take you take three points of damage. <laughs> well, two points of damage technically. Yeah. <laughs> it's, little, hit points it's little beak like nips your like bicep. Bicep. I'm in fucking range. <laughs> and your rage is like a reflex action. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I would. Uh, <laughs> create one. Okay. Something looks at me. I and want I just to move to the like corner of the room, right? Like the farthest corner away from it, but still, just kind of put myself in the corner so I'm not in anybody's way. Um. Man, I want to do something like creative, but realistically, I'm gonna cast Create Bonfire. <laughs> That's a 13. 13 uh, yes, fails. a very creative ability. I have. Cre I don't want to burn spell slots on a fucking brick. Like. <laughs> That's what you say. Very, very astute eldritch blast. 
<laughs> yeah, well, my cantrips aren't as good as his. He's a warlock. <laughs> Alright, how much damage do you do? Two points of fire damage. That does the full two. And, <laughs> and it's looking really hurt now. Just like, yeah. Almost there. Did it, guys. Almost there. Uh, back to the top of turn, cats. If I throw so a melee weapon, does that use my dex or my strength? Uh, depends. Loopy decks, but some of them can. Use. It if uses whatever finesse, it would be for a yeah. melee weapon. So if it's finesse, you can use your dexterity. Okay, I would like to try throwing this silvered short sword. All right, give me an attack. Yeah. Uh, it might be different for something like that, just because it's not a thrown weapon. Yeah, that'll be a You're thirteen. Just... Uh, for now I'll let it pass, because I don't want to look through it. Uh, you throw the sword and it just lands right in the wall behind you. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, I, 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 look to my, I look to my party and I say, I used to be better when I was younger. <laughs> That's kind of not how you use those. I kind of just sigh and <laughs> let the next person do something. Curse that old fart. Alright, I asked you to turn. Oh, I was holding the fire there, by the way. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, I think she's still gone. Is she's dead. Ashley? She might have AFK. Just to, uh... Specify it for the future, just ruling. Uh, oh, never mind. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, shit, hey. Oh, did you miss Cat missing his throw? Oh, fuck. Damn, I yeah. wish I would have. He, he <laughs> tried to chuck the short sword and missed. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <the wall. laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's the current position of the bitch? It's right in front of you and it's really hurt. There's Hang also man. fire <laughs> under it to ass. <laughs> I, have a, I have a better to hit bonus with a ranged attack than I do with a melee. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna reckless attack this bitch. Alright! For fun. <laughs> get advantage mm -hmm. attack, right? Is that what, is that what uh, Yeah, reckless is advantage, so you roll twice, take the highest. Yep. Cool you! Everything that tries to hit you until your next turn will also gain advantage on you. Ooh. Get the crit! Ooh. Get the crit! That's not a yeah. Alright, well you hit it either way. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 16, that's 20. Wow, I'm surprised 22 hits the grit. <laughs> uh, roll a d10, add all your sweet bonuses. Or d12? Yeah. Great axe. <laughs> Plus. Oh, a d13. <laughs> Three, seven. You almost kill it. Oh my damage. god, it's still going. Yeah. It's like maybe like two HP. But it, it, <laughs> it looks fucked up. Yeah, like uh. <laughs> it's Katsu's turn. It's falling off and it's on yeah. fire. <laughs> Will Katsu be the one to kill it? <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of cantrips. <laughs> one day I'll have a second one. Or a third. Oh! Oh uh -oh. no! Wait, doesn't he still have an uh, inspiration? Yes, he does. He can reroll this if he wants to. Right. In 5th edition, if you fumble an attack... I like have in the older editions, is it possible to like hit allies? I have a chart. Okay. Oh, you use charts? <laughs> oh god. god. Uh, it's an optional rule of when you like crit fail, bad things can happen. Ooh. 
Oh. All right, I'll do an inspiration. Wow. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> another one. <laughs> hey, there you go. You hit it. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. You, you yeah, blast. You yeah. blast him so hard that his body just disintegrates into a Play. big goopy mess. I pick the silver short sword back up. <laughs> he like, just shambles over to the short sword and gets it. I, I look very defeated. Fire. You, uh. You know those don't work that way, right, Victor? <laughs> I'm aware, son. <laughs> uh. Okay, just, uh, just wanted to make sure. <sighs> I was hoping to cut off its beak. You have to get close to do that. <laughs> I mean, there's a beak still in the, I'll say, in the gore. Right, I'll pick it up and put it in my pouch, and possibly clean it off that goopy shit. Got a, got a little, got a little, uh, beaky boy. Beaky All right, boy. now you can go north or south. Where south you're hearing chanting, but it's not in tune to the other chanting you hear. Let's right. go the weird way. South so it we is. should go. Well, I was gonna say north because if my map, if I have my directions right, this should loop us back where we came from. Then we should go south and check out what the fuck's going on. But I want to see if there were any other rooms in between <clears throat> and make sure that we looped around. It's a good Just plan. a full clear. Unless my map's directions are wrong, in which case, fuck all knows where we are anymore. <laughs> We need to confirm that your map's directions aren't wrong, then. That's... fair. Fine, north. You guys go north, and you see that there's two hallways to the right and left, very similar to the ones that you mm -hmm. saw earlier. Uh, oh, you keep going north, and you see a flower. Okay, Woo! So lines up with the map. Okay. There are two so other, there's... like, little alcoves that lead to what you can assume is tombs. I vote we go back to the chanting. Uh, oh, okay, I see. So this is when we first came into the... You would have seen this if you went south, yeah. Went south. Got it. So then there's... And there's two new passages to the left yes. and right? Yeah, there, those were south from where you guys you guys went north. Two, like, right. tomb areas. And they have Let's little inscriptions on them, like golden inscriptions. Ah! I want to check these out and see if these are marked. The one on the left of you says, Here lies the children Rose and Thorn. The one on the right of you says, Here lies the parent. I forgot the name already. What? Elizabeth and Gustav. Okay. Oh, shit, where'd my book go? I need to write that down. Who the fuck is Walter? <laughs> Walter was probably the stillborn baby. Oh, maybe. No, that yeah. Was probably that's, the that's maid. Nice. She was screaming about. It. <clears throat> Wait, what were Elizabeth and what? Gustav. Gustav. Human. Mm. Well, now that we've. Well, let me just ask Sky Daddy for a second what the names of these people are. Gustav. Were. Gustav. God, my notes are a fucking mess. Uh. Do we uh? Let's check out the kids' tombs and make sure we don't have two bodies like we had two ghosts. Yep. You open each of them individually, and you kind of open the cat. They are both empty. Oh, well, Constantine, toss those bones in there. Aye, aye, Captain. I think, uh... Just, just dump them in. Down real quick, <laughs> and then, no, no, no. I'll gently arrange them. Bones okay. and body shape. Maybe a little misplaced. Fucking Dr. Amal. <laughs> but they look somewhat human, so that's good enough for me. Hopefully, this you puts them to rest. Put the ghost to rest. Gasp! Okay, I'll put the main. Ah. No. You guys feel suddenly invigorated. You gain the effects of a long rest. Yes, my spells! What? That's what happens when you're kind to people, asshole. <laughs> Guess I should've used some of those spell slots then, huh? <laughs> the 
Okay, you didn't know. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, I got my spell slots back in here. Or is that? Or not? Yes, you get spell slots back. I use. I did not. Yeah. <clears throat> Astri gets one of her rages back too. Yes! Sweet. You're back to two rages. Fucking rage! Alright, where do you guys want to go now? Let's check out the parents too. I'd like to see if there's bodies in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You open the parents' tombs. Which one do you want to open first? Gustav's or Elizabeth's? Elizabeth's. You fine. Cat. <laughs> it was actually my cat. She oh. ate the people. Mm. Hey, friend, what? One click, I'm googling something real quick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Who was opening it? Oh, uh, was I assume. Ooh. Right? That's a tw 22 to hit for Constantine. <laughs> I don't like What's hitting her? <laughs> what? Wait, what happened? Did I Constantine miss something? He is getting hit. Why? You take 12 <laughs> points of damage as oh, one crawl out of the coffin as you open it and start chewing you alive. You say as mud? What crawls out? Bugs. Oh. Uh, oh. You kind of swat them off. <clears throat> and eventually get off you and scatter into the darkness. What kind of fucking bugs? <laughs> Is there anything in there now? No, it's empty. I just wanna. I probably could have well... used thaumaturgy to yep. uh, open that thing. I just wanna press just... pause and I want everyone to play in their mind that one time where he's like, Mom, we gotta go, they're chasing me. And she's like, Who? Who's chasing? The bugs. <laughs> <laughs> she got chewed up pretty hard. Yeah, look at those two fours and a three. Can you unchew me or? Ah, uh, you can't heal it now, can't you? I you held don't... all of those spell slots, got a long rest, and now I'm gonna burn them. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna cast your wounds on Constantine. Cause that was like half of the health. Yeah, that was a lot. So. Oh, but it's you restore eight hit points. Golly. That's what you get for now. Uh, what about the thing that gives temporary hit points as well? That is a different mechanic that I'm not going to use right now. Okay. Uh -huh. Cure Wounds is a spell. That other thing is my class, my subclass. Like a feature? feature. Yeah. Those are better right. used in combat. You feel eight. You feel better. I mean, you still got weird, like, bug pincers in your arm and stuff. Cool. But you're fine. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Note to self, do not open things. Note to self, have barbarian open things. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Next time, like, rage before you open. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rage and just, like, rip the fucking top <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where do you guys want to go? To the uh, hallway that went down, or where the weird chanting was? Chanting, 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 chanting. Are they different? Yes. Yes. They go down. But they also, I mean, technically, if you peek down, you can see they also kind of connect to each other. I'm confused. Okay, someone else make this decision. Alright, you want to go to the hallway that went down? Or to the chanting. Oh, the two separate... Okay. They both had so... Has the chanting been pretty much, like, consistent since we got in? Like, it hasn't been interrupted at all? Or... That chanting, yes. But there's, like, another... When you went south, you heard another chanting. Oh. It's, like, trying to mimic that chanting, but it's offbeat. Mm. I think we should head to the chanting and just save going down until the... Last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I will first? take point on this one because our barbarian just got the shit <laughs> bit, now. I got bit out of her. Yeah. 
Alright, Moxie, you head down. Keep in mind, this place is really, like, it's a five-foot hallway. So if you want to pass somebody to go backwards, you're going to have to make a dex check. I'm That's okay with that. Specific. <laughs> what is the marching order? I'll go third. <laughs> Who's second? Did, did that automatically put me in second? Because I would like to be not in front of the <laughs> barbarian. Yeah, it puts you in sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt. You're gonna have to like push past us to get up front, you realize. Yeah, I'm willing to do that. Well Okay. Alright. Okay. Moxic goes first and you see <clears throat> people in the hallway where the chanting's off to in red cloaks kinda scribbling something. And they kinda in look up at you. In the hallway? There's about four of them. They all stand up in unison and the cloaks fall off. And they look like this. Excitement. I'm ready. Long okay. tongue. White skin and oh, long mother. nails. Cat, you recognize these as ghouls. <laughs> Guys, I found the ghouls. Girl for initiative. Frederick. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I got another nat 20. Six. Oh wait. I got... 17. 17. 17. No, you have 18. Plus 19 total. What the fuck? This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, bitch. Let's cat. Why am I in front? Why did I volunteer to go in front? It's okay. Front? I've got a I gun. Think... <laughs> I got I hurt. Get I didn't think I was going to get attacked in the hallway. I had... This actually works for me, though. Where did you get Moxa? Well, I got a 19. So it's cat. Moxa. Can That's you okay, actually? I got a plan. We're on the stairs gotcha. that like open up into this room. I'm assuming. Cool. Yes. No. So you could, is like... this a room or is this a hallway? No, it's a hallway. You're oh. you're still in a hall. You could back up into like the dining room for more open space if you want. So we could kind no, of like, I got a plan. choke them out. Or something? Yeah. That's exactly what I plan on doing. Alright. But... So fun but fact. Then we need to make a fucking deck save to push further back. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, I'm going you to can use fire from where you're at. Yeah, I'm going to use my bonus action to get my hunter's mark on the ghoul that's closest to us. Okay. And I'll say, uh, coming ready or not, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> take it. Take a I shot. Don't I don't think right. that's though. Huh? Right. That's not the right line. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I remember. Nope, that's not the right. You have to remember. <laughs> oh no, 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 I have different lines. <laughs> oh what? Mm. Uh, that's a seventeen to hit. You hit. All right, and because it's I'm undead. Four. Four. Four is a lot of ghouls. <laughs> we are definitely in trouble. <laughs> I don't want to burn spell slots, but... Okay, I do... Five, seven. I do 12 damage. Bloody it in one shot. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> half damage. It's all, or, half health now. And now I would like to try and push back to the <laughs> dining room. He kind of look back. Go back. Go, go back. back. Go back. <laughs> give me a give me a dex check. Okay. DC thirteen. Oh, I easily made that. Yeah, you kind of scramble back uh, behind everybody and you're able to get to the dining room. Okay. It is uh, Mox's turn. Mm. These ghouls are looking dead at you. How far away is the closest one to me? Uh. Fifteen feet. Okay, and this is just a straight hallway <coughs> down this way. Okay. Uh huh. Um. I'm gonna cast create bonfire on the space right in front of me. 
I just <laughs> hold it there. Alright. <laughs> you can't smoke this fucking fire, stupid. And then I'm just gonna <laughs> scream to everyone to move the fuck back. Alright, well, I'm gonna give me a hold my ground. No, I'm oh, not no. going anywhere. Alright, cool. I'm telling okay, them to move, that. and I just put the fire in front of me, so if anything tries to come at me, they're gonna have a bad time. Keep and your I'm... shield up. <laughs> yeah, and I am getting ready to take some hits. Does this fire right. hurt me? <laughs> if yes. It yes. Will. God damn it, Moxa. Alright, it's your turn, just Master. Alright, my bad. Back. Come here. I wanna move forward. They're going to get through Maybe. the fire soon. Yeah, but if... if if somebody moves into that fire to hit me, they take one hit when they uh, move in and one at the end of their turn if they stay in. Just Don't to be sure, we are have... gonna um, kill these things, right? We're not gonna... Oh, we're going to try. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ghouls don't... They won't stop until they're dead, basically. Alright. Uh, don't forget that I gave you that holy water if you need it, Moxa. I should be fine. Um, if everybody backs the fuck up, I'm gonna take off on my turn. Yeah. <laughs> so, who ha who's closest to me within... Wait, who's within a 10-foot radius of me? Everyone! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me and Constantine. <laughs> You're not letting me use my cool shit. <laughs> you have to be in the middle of things to use your cool shit. Yeah, you gotta be like, you're going to die on your next turn to use that. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Eldritch Blast! <laughs> Eldritch Blast once again. Hey man, you might kill it. Crit, 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 crit. Crit, oh. crit, crit, crit. We're giving you the monster treatment. Crit everything. Ah. Uh, you hit it, but it's not a crit. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It's almost as good. Yeah. You can plus your death. Or your charisma. But that's. 8? Eight. 8. Wait, no, it's Ooh. called attack bonus, right? No, no, it's just your charisma. Alright, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's almost dead. It's like holding on to 2 HP. Uh, do you want to stay there or are you going to try and go back? I'm gonna uh, scoot back, just, uh... Join me in the dining room. Yeah. Is, is anybody behind Katsu? <clears throat> I am. No, Katsu's behind no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Pat, technically. Yeah, so now you you kind of just go back to the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I'm okay. um, Alright, How Asher. far away is the dining room from me? Uh, it's about 25 feet. And how far away off the fox? The ghouls are 15 feet. Do you have okay, anything are you next throw? to me or behind me? Yes, She's behind I'm going you. to throw a javelin. Alright. Who did you- But you hit. It's a good hit, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's okay. 20 total. Don't even roll damage, you kill it as you impale that thing right in this. <laughs> <laughs> and it I'm falls down. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> Goes back to the deck. It's the monster's turn. Here we go! Uh, <laughs> the other <laughs> walk up to Moxa, but only one can hit him because of the hallway. Yep. Uh, and he'll walk through the fire, so as soon as he goes the fire, in, he makes a dex saving throw. Oh, he has no, to make a dex? Yeah. He can still make saving throw. Uh, that's a 13. That's a failure. Uh... Now, yeah, he takes... Uh, six points of fire damage. Oof. Good. He's gonna try and hit you with his claws. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hope. Please don't get hit. That's a 13 to hit. That is a miss. Ooh, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> that fucking shield, dude. That's literally the shield. It'll take pause at your shield for a little bit. Then everyone else can't do anything. 13 if I didn't have a shield. <laughs> it ends its turn, so roll another d6. Yeah, uh, he still gets to make a save. Oh, okay. 16, <clears throat> he makes it. <clears throat> It's Gad's turn. Can I still see, or am I too far back now? Uh, you're too far back. You have to go back into the hallway. Pop a shot. Hmm. I don't want to get in Mox's way when he falls back. 
depending on how far it is, you can split up your movement, and you can move in, shoot, and move back out. How if far there's enough uh, is speed it? for you. Uh, I would say it would... Let me count. One second. It's 30 feet altogether to go to a point where you can shoot and walk back. Okay, okay. So I'll that means your then. speed is 30, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you're perfect. Uh, I'll move in to position and uh, using my bonus action I can mark again. Alright, you mark the other one. We'll use the right fucking line. Time to put you back where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> and take the shot. Yeah, like leaning next to the to the wall using it as like a post to shoot. Yeah, uh, that is a 24 to hit. That hits. Roll damage. Two. Where did my fucking d12 go? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is definitely gonna hurt. That's well, my armor cool. class is actually 14. Is it? Yeah, yeah. it's 13 plus your dex. Oh yeah. Uh, that is gonna be... 15 damage. Oh. 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 You kill another one. Ooh! <laughs> falls down. Kinda on Mox's shield and Moxa pushes it back into the fire. The other ghoul is just kinda eyeing Mox. And then you run back into the then kitchen. I, then I, yeah, <laughs> I run back into the kitchen or whatever. <laughs> uh, it is Mox's turn. Uh... So now there's two left. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't really have much, so I'm gonna fucking shield. Well, no, the one in front of me is dead, so I can move back without getting swiped. Um, I'm heading back to the kitchen. All right. Oh yeah, and you can make a new bonfire. I don't have to. I'm just gonna leave that one there. <laughs> they have to. Go, they have to go through it to get to me. Or True. Us. Uh, yeah, I'll run back to the kitchener as far as I can get to it. Alright, it's Katsu's turn. Alright. <clears throat> you could do your arms if you wanted to now, technically. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody's out of my range, right? So for yeah. Oh, I thought it was self. Yeah, but the arms have 10 feet reach. So it's from my position. So, yeah. But you'd have to, like, go in. and I just It's turn, like Blizzard like, too. your way. It looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> you could hold your action and wait for the ghouls to get closer, and then yeah. cast it. Uh, if you really want to use the spells for this. Mm. Wait, both of the ghouls are in... They're in a hallway, yeah. They're in the hallway, yeah. But they're within the reach. Yeah, they would be within 10 feet reach. But if I cast Arms of Hadar, it should be instantaneous. Yeah. If I understand the spell right, you'd have to run in, cast it, and then it would go off. Unless you were gonna hold your action and wait for them to come to you. But we're also around you. Uh, am I able to go in, cast it, and then move back out? No. For you to get into range, you'd have to go use most of all of your movement speed. Uh, question. Could he, like, go in, stand on this side of my fire, and then yes. cast it? Anything? Yes, and then wait for them to get close. Yes, he could hold his action. So if you, you don't have to run through the fire. And that is an option. Do you want to just like hold it and wait for them to get closer, so that way you don't have to go through Moxo's fire? Okay, so if I hold it. Yeah, as soon as they get close enough, that's when you act. But they will try to take swipes at you. Though. Hmm. Are you willing to risk it? Mm. Nah, I'll just I'll just blast again. <laughs> yeah. Using, using fucking player knowledge, I would not <laughs> risk that. You hit. Ooh, ten points of damage. It's hurt. You blast it, and then you want to stay there. Or you want to run back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. Back to the kids. It is Ash's turn. Oh gosh. Okay. Um. 
Mm. I'll throw another jab. Right, you kind of go around the corner like everyone. It's like routine. One person goes in and the other person goes in. <laughs> <laughs> It's rapid fire, okay. old school style. It's like yeah. switching uh, your main characters in Final Fantasy X, how they just kind of like run in and out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. oh, I can't read. Worst spell, I guess. <laughs> uh, <what>? 120? <laughs> it's not my fault that it doesn't know what I'm saying. <laughs> With... oh. Your javelin goes wide over them. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking kill myself, mother. It <laughs> walks back sadly. <laughs> it's a ghoul's turn, and they gotta make their saves. Fail! Cool. Fail! Cool. Give me damage, Moxa. Hmm? Oh, they walk through the fire. Oh, okay, so the first one is four points of fire damage. And the second one is four points of fire damage. That's the third four in a row I've rolled off. Uh, the ghouls get almost to the entryway, and that's all their movement speed can get them. It is now Cat's turn. Okay, so can I see one from where I'm standing? Yes, they're like almost, they're almost in the kitchen, just a little bit away. Alright, I'll just, again, mark the nearest one to me, sort of aiming my gun at him and saying, Wrong choice, buddy! That is going to be 23 to hit. You hit. Give damage. I'll give all the damage. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, that's 20 damage. It died. Badly. It blows up. Flex. <laughs> <laughs> this makes Victor very happy. <laughs> like weirdly happy. Weirdly happy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right. and again, I'll just like back up a little bit further. Now it's Mox's turn. Oh, uh. So there's one more standing pretty much in the doorway. Uh, it's not in the room yet, it's still in the hallway coming to the doorway. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I'll just cast create bonfire on it, because this is what I do. What the heck, Sam? Yeah! Four. Four fails. He takes five this time, points Ooh. of fire damage. Ow, he's bloodied. <clears throat> uh, and I'll drop that, because he's definitely going to move, so. Alright, it's constant here. Well, I was going to say, and then oh. I move as far away from the doorway yeah. as physically possible. Okay, you move far away. It's Katsu's turn. <laughs> this right. has gone a hell of a lot better than I was expecting it would. Me too. That was a good strategy. Before casting Eldritch Blast once more, I just say, eat shit, faggot, in <laughs> language. Do you have, like, a <laughs> eat shit, faggot mark? <laughs> Only. You hit it. Because it's it's AC is twelve. Go ahead and roll damage, you got you. D ten plus charisma. Alright. <laughs> oh. It's like it has two health left. God damn it. It's Ashley's turn. <laughs> okay, how far is it from me? Pretty you can walk to it, yeah. Alright, let's fucking punish this bitch. I'm taking out the staff. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna say, Take it all, fucker! <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, you know what? You kill it. You <laughs> the staff right into its head. And it's gone. Okay. Combat's over. Good job, guys. We're alive. Did any of us even get hit? No. God damn. You didn't know, if those claws had hit Mox, it would have been 2d4 plus the flashing damage. And he, he would have had, had to hit. save, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, he got paralyzed. <laughs> mm. Wait, are goals like glass cannons? 
Paralysis will fucking murder you. Yeah. <sighs> it's like paralysis, paralysis means things that hit you are auto crits. Yeah. Mox says strategy of hold the choke point with fire worked out really well. Dude, create bonfire is <laughs> my favorite. As stupid as it's, it's really not. <laughs> but create bonfire like <laughs> create bonfire. It's my favorite cantrip. It's so much fun. Have you used your inspiration yet, Moxa? No. I was gonna give you another one for that tactic. Oh wow. Well. It's it's chillin'. We're good. All right. Uh, back to the place where they're chanting. You see a hallway that leads downstairs to the other hallway that led downstairs. Or uh, you can go to the east into another room, or south into what looks like another room. Before we like go anywhere, I'll just like take my hand axe and decapitate the bodies. Yeah, you 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 get your trophies. Yeah, is there anything <laughs> worth cutting off from the ghouls? Uh, I don't know. Cool. They have claws. I'll take a claw. All right, you take a ghoul claw. Where do you guys want to go? I, I'll put it in direction. South, east, or west. <clears throat> and we came from the north. Yes. I'll just okay. could put this uh, gold claw in hand just to mess with this. Oh my god. <laughs> you're doing what? No, Wait, what did you say you're doing? Don't worry about it. Um, I have this gold claw in hand just to mess with Oh, I mean, sure. Like, Constantine's carrying around a still a body. <laughs> a maid <mega> skull. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, so, uh, what direction? Tiefling warlock with the main costume. <laughs> and you said that one of the directions leads pretty much back to the hallway that went downstairs, right? <clears throat> okay. Um, There's no more chanting coming from the direction that we're in now. No. In fact, the chanting stops. Oh. Can I use thaumaturgy? Sure. All right. Uh, do what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm not. Uh... Are you just asking if you can use it, or do you... Can I use it? Yeah, to do what? <laughs> I wanna... <laughs> uh, recreate the chanting <laughs> next to um, Edrix here. <laughs> you just hear do me. I see him cast this spell? <laughs> Your perception... Give me a stealth check! Light of hand! Go! <laughs> Go, Katsu. Wait, what I roll? Give me a sleight of hand check. And what I feel does? like this would be more slack. Uh, D20. Yeah, usually if I say get a roll, it's, it's usually going to be a D20. 16. Uh, so I don't mention it is a uh, verbal spell, so you have to actually talk to do it. Oh, uh, well... And also my yourself. passive perception is 16. Yeah, but that's pluses... Dex, which is 1. Oh. So he beats you out. You just hear the chanting whispering in here. <laughs> I mean, it's not like anything changed, though. Uh... <clears throat> Alright, so what direction, guys? South, uh, west, or east? Well, west goes down, it's so probably not that. You can go east and just work clockwise again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, works for me. Alright. Hey, okay. east it is. <clears throat> This room, you come into a big, like, uh, 25 by 15, and a small little alcove at the end of it. This room is festooned with moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the wall. A wide alcove in the south wall contains a painted wooden statue carved in the likeness of a gaunt, pale-faced man wearing a voluminous black coat. His his pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. This room has exits in the west and north walls. Do I, like, recognize this old man as, like, 
a deity or anything? No, you do not. Okay. This is probably Strahd. Right? Okay. You guys think probably Strahd, since that's who the cult was to in this... Yeah, possibly. Sure looks like... I mean, everybody's chained to the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there's just a statue in here. Crystal ball could be something. Could be worth something. Was it just the statue that's in the room? Yes, that and the skeleton shackled. On the uh, uh, wall. No other doors or anything? None that you can see, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys want to <laughs> inspect the room. You can. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll... Hmm? Oh, no, no, go ahead. No, what are you saying? No. Huh? Yeah. No, you go. No, I don't have anything to say. What? <laughs> um... There's no other doors in here other than the, uh, the one. Yeah, none that you can see. Well, we found a dead end, at least. Hmm. Uh, can I check out the skeletons and see, like, maybe how long they've been dead? Give or sure. take. Sure. Give me an investigation check. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, 15. Okay, what they've been dead, uh, for quite a while. And you notice that they're all looking at the most northern wall. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, what I missed? Sorry. Uh, they're just looking at the skeletons, and they uh, look at the wall. I Wait, were you there for the room you're in? I don't think so. Uh, it's like a altar ritual room, kind of. Like, there's a little shrine to a statue, and there's corpses on the wall. Looks like it's where the sacrifices are made, guys. Mm -hmm. Possibly. <clears throat> you go to the north wall, Moxa? Yeah, I want to look at where they're all pointed and see if I can't find any secret You notice yet. part of the uh, dungeon wall kind of turns into clay for a little bit. Kind of dip your hand and scoop it out and you see a wooden door. Beyond the wooden door is a staircase that leads up to some sort of trap door. Up? Okay. Yep. Sure. Uh, I'll climb up and see if it opens. I'll come up behind him. I'll follow. It's locked. Okay. Constantine? <laughs> what kind of lock? <laughs> uh, it's a fairly well reinforced lock. I don't know if I can break that one. But I can try! Is the door, like, made of wood? Uh, it's like a solid metal. I can try. You can try. This goes up. How far up? Like uh, quite a bit. Do you guys think this goes back to the house? Okay. Uh, you get that thing where like you're holding on to metal for so long, like you can feel your hand cramp up. Go. Cool. Nah, my hand cramp. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna head back down into that altar room. Uh, <laughs> all the skeletons on the wall, are there like any spots where there are no skeletons hanging? No, they're all hanging. Just in unison. Okay. So there's nothing left but the statue. Um, I'm gonna go look at the statue then, I guess. Give me a perception check. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ten. Uh, you oh, notice God. that the orb he has is gray and foggy. Like it's animated. That's about it. Hmm. 
I'll join yeah, him fancy. over at the statue. You want to give your own little perception roll, cat? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not much better. In fact, it's worse. <laughs> yeah, Nine. it's gr it's gray and it, like there's smoke inside of it. Sure is gray and smoky. I'll Probably take a perception. <laughs> All right, give it. Probably worth something, right? <laughs> Man, that's great. Jesus Christ. Using this, my this profound up. knowledge of magic. <laughs> <laughs> and how Kaste, like I want to make a check. yeah I suggest that maybe Castillo should have a look at this thing alright <clears throat> what do I do roll a d20 plus perception and you all failed your perception checks yeah <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 4 I rolled a 6 I have a plus 6 to perception and I still fucked it up <sighs> Humans, I swear to God. <laughs> In before one. What's that? Eleven. Eleven. Plus what? Do you have zero? Oh Oof. damn! It sure is great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very gray and smoky. Can yeah. we like um, determine green. what it's made out of? Like, is it glass? It is some sort of... I think it's crystal, actually. Yeah, it's crystal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it, like, a part of the statue, or is it just kind of being held by it? It's being held by the statue. Do you want to fucking take this crystal crystal ball? We've taken everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Why not. I don't want to be the one to pick it up, though, because it might be, <laughs> it might be cursed or some shit. I think we have a cursed something around here, right? <laughs> I mean, Constantine's the one carrying too. bodies around. If somebody's cursed, she's already got it. Yeah. I volunteer you. Huh? <laughs> I'm carrying these bodies out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> well, respectfully pick up the orb. Because <laughs> it makes me nervous. Alright, I'm going... I'm going to back the fuck up, by the way. I want to be on the other one. Yeah, I'm going to take the maid's arm... I'm gonna kind of jiggle it around until the orb falls. Don't drop it. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking touch it. <laughs> it's crystal. If you drop it off there, it's just gonna shatter. <laughs> Why don't you pick it up? Because I don't wanna. I wanna be back up. here where it's safe. Kaz, take the damn orb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Put in my pouch. <laughs> right? Is that how it works? Are you touching the orb? <laughs> Always a good question. Uh, yeah, I'll touch the orb. As soon as he touches the orb... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, boy. We're the smart ones. We're right against the other wall. Yeah. Skeletons all reanimating. Fucking Five wild. shadows oh, come geez. out of the orb. Two of them surround Kazdea. Oh, and the three others go out for you guys. Everyone roll for initiative. Well, at least Kaz can oh. use arms now. <laughs> I know. Constantine's still up there. Uh, I got 19. 19. 3. Um, what? 18. Okay, 20 or higher? Uh, 15 to 20? 19. Uh, did I say 18? Yeah. Wasn't Cat 19 too? Yeah, I was 19. Wait, who goes first between Cat and Ashley? Or Cat and me. No, it'd be Cat also. Yeah, me and Cat are on 19. Who wants to go first? Uh, could you, like, describe where they all are in the room? Yeah, right now. Let me just get the initiative one down real quick. So, do you want to go first, Cat or Mars? I'll go first. Uh, actually, let me go first. Okay. So fair out of game. Uh, fair warning. I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be really good. Uh, it may make your two lives a little bit more difficult, but I got you. 
Just remember that I got you. <laughs> okay. So, to, it's in this room. Let's say Katsu and was uh, Kazdea and what's his goddamn Constantine. Jesus Me. Christ. Yeah, or Wait, right next to the orb, right? Or were you? Yeah, <laughs> we should be ahead. Me and Cat be first. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to give you guys a description of the, the room. No, I'm just looking at the initiative order. I was, yeah. Oh, I was just shit. Looking for that. <sighs> okay, so what is this? We're in trouble. Nothing yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, they're next to each other, and there's two shadows right next to them. The other three shadows are next to you, Cat. Like surrounding us. Yeah. There's three. Oh. How big is the room? Uh. Thirty by fifteen. Uh, the statue is like in the middle of the room, and that's where Kaz is. Yeah, they're so, on like the opposite wall of you guys. There's like an alcove that goes into it. Question. If I did a spell in a twenty-foot cube. Okay. How can I hit all of the shadows and not? Who can I? If I wanted to hit all the shadows, you would hit everything I, in this room, including yes. every one of my friends. No matter how I position it, I'm gonna hit yeah. everyone. No, it's gonna hit everyone. Hmm. <laughs> Is this gonna be the TPK? <laughs> you could hold your action and have. Everyone try to get away to like the hallway. Yeah, is it like possible to get through to the hallway without like crossing? If no, they're they're all in melee range with you. Okay, how many of them? Just two of them. Uh, there's three of them, but only uh, one would be able to like take the swipe against you guys. Okay. Well, one against you, cat. Two against all three against Marsa. Okay. No problem. There's. Three near us, or three yeah. total? Three near you guys, uh, Kat and Monza. Two near Astri and Katsu. How confident are you all in your dexterity? <laughs> <sighs> Astri has danger sense, right? Yeah. Yes. You'd get advantage. I have old bones, but I also have inspiration. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is fine. I'm yeah. gonna cast Fairy Fire on the whole fucking... <laughs> <laughs> so, what save. that is, is everything makes a deck save, and the whole room lights up in fire, like, in the fire that doesn't deal any damage, it just outlines stuff. Okay. And if you fail your decks, uh, you shed dim light for 15 feet. And every attack against that thing has advantage. Fail. Fail. And Fail. also they can't uh, gain the benefits of invisible. Fail. While there's fairy fire on them. Jesus Christ, they all failed. Okay, okay. <laughs> perfect. So I need to beat a 14? Yes. <laughs> I got a 1. I'm gonna use my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 4. So. I just got another 1. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no! no. <laughs> uh, I fail. You like try to like jump over the fire and you land just flat on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> now I am like transcendently glowing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you did not beat Mox's. Oh, right. Let me... And you roll twice and take the highest. Cast okay. these whole bones. That's failed. <laughs> this night? <laughs> you had you a plus one, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Attacks of opportunity can't have advantage, right? Yep, no, they can. can. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if I live through this, human, I will give you shit for this. No, this is fine. No, <laughs> they can't gain the benefits of invisible. And also... 
like always advantage on everything, including us. But whatever. Are shadows treated as undead, <laughs> or are they? Oh my else? god! Everything clear? in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this yeah? room is literally just lit up. Yeah. Everything oh, is there? shedding light, oh, okay, <laughs> including objects. By the way, like literally every yeah. lit up. It like has an outline. What color is the fire? Normally it's purple. Okay. It's or purple. no, it's a blue, green, or violet. So I'll pick violet. Everybody's covered in violet, like red lights. <laughs> I look dapper as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's a. Uh, I believe that's all Mox is gonna do. Uh, Are you gonna move? Get a chance to oh, actually three. <laughs> move <laughs> after that? No. Um. I mean, I can drop this whenever because oh, it's concentration for a minute. It may go down anyway, depending on how many hits I take. Uh, but f for now, I'm gonna leave it up because this is fine. Um, oh, the fairy fire thing is just like a concentration. Yeah, it's concentration for a minute. Okay. So I can drop it when I want, and I'm, if I take too much damage, I'm gonna drop it anyway. Yeah. But um, that's no, this is fine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit and pray. That's that's pretty much what I got. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a door that leads into this room, right? Yes, you can you can, can chance I, an opportunity of attack. I can get there and just provoke one attack. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna do that. That's a sixteen. That's my armor class. That's Well, it's a 16 plus 4, so it's 20. It's definitely a hit, yep. Yeah. Alright, you take. There is advantage, so you roll again to make sure. Now, how much damage do I take? What? You, don't you haven't taken damage. damage. Oh, not yet. My fairy fire, <laughs> yeah, it gives everything advantage on it. Takes, uh, 5, 6, 7 points. <laughs> Oof. Of necrotic damage. Oof. And... Do I look older? <laughs> Oh, that's rough. You lose four points of strength. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, I don't kinda, like where I'm standing anymore. Because it kind of saps your energy. <laughs> Damn, you really should have moved, huh? <laughs> if I move, three of them were going to get opportunity attacks. The, 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 the fairy fire didn't cast on you, right? It cast on everybody, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, my The <laughs> whole room. Yeah. Just Four yes, points of strength? Yeah, four points of strength are gone. No, I failed, Jack. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> what part are you at? Uh, I, uh... Can we no, this on? is fine. This is fine! <laughs> I can drop it whenever. Look, we all get turns before they do. This is fine. I don't like this guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Kill them all immediately and we're fine. Is it my I turn? Just if I yeah. Wait, what am I turn? No, no, cat. Uh, cat moved out of the way. You know, yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so a shadow is treated as undead. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna mark the one that's that fucking hit me. <laughs> I'll say, you can't drain the life out of this old bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking shoot that cunt. <laughs> hit the cunt that hit me, cunt! I like, I like how Mox is like secretly like, please kill it, please kill it. Okay, with advantage, my first roll is 15. Nice. Get the 20. Second roll is 8, so I'll take 15. Right. You totally hit it. Um, damage. Ooh, baby. That's gonna be twenty damage. You oh, blast a shadow it. into oblivion. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Okay. It is uh, Astro's turn. Astro's turn. Okay. First off, I'm gonna fucking rage. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> All right, and I'm gonna. So there's one next to me and one next to Katsu? 
Yes. Okay. I'm gonna hit this bitch on my side. Bop. Oh, okay. by the way, you can you, you can any? reckless attack it. Oh, well, actually, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah she you're doesn't good. matter. She's a vengeance. Right? Yeah, she has advantage. Please, God. Hit the crit. <laughs> Please, God. Or just hit it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it all six, together? Though. Fourteen. Yeah, you still hit. <laughs> it's okay. You still hit it. Boy, advantage really helping everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your absolutely useless spell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be great when it gets to their turn. We're gonna die. Thirteen? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Not enough to kill it. It hurt. It's fine. When we get out of this, I'm gonna kill you, Edge. <laughs> nah, this is fine. Nothing right, bad has happened yet. Yeah, I wanna see I wanna see these arms man. Alright, arms of Hadar. I don't care who's within radius. Hello? Is Constantine within radius or no? Yes. Okay. What's the damage on that? Uh two D six necrotic. Uh <laughs> you might not want to do that then. I what? have necrotic. They need to make they need to make a strength saving throw as well. So Constantine man. Are you gonna arms of Hadar? You wanna bet on that, Constantine, or should I just let just blast? Fuck it, let's do it. Alright. <laughs> Arms of Hadar it is. I mean you take damage if you save or not. So. Okay. And you still oh. have inspiration. Oh no. Okay. So <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kati. Make your saves. <laughs> faster. What? What just happened? Just make your saves. What? Yeah, what do I roll? No, you don't need to roll anything, Kati. Oh. A, a d20? Yeah. Plus your strength saving throw. Should be six. So, plus six. Oh yeah, you're good. <laughs> um, arms of Hadar come out, and these tentacle-like things start whipping at the shadow, and it does... would have done necrotic damage to them. But they're immune to the crime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it still has to roll damage though, because it still does half the content. No, it doesn't do half. It, be, it doesn't suffer any effects. That's not what the spell says. Uh, on a, uh, it takes. Oh, never mind, you're right. It takes half damage. Yeah, as soon as you said, four, like, it did necrotic yeah. damage, I was just like, oh, wait. <laughs> Roll 2d6, got to. Which will be a fourth, because she has resistance. Yeah, natural resistance. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just so. fucking roll the deep fucking. Uh, I round up, so four. You take two points in necrotic damage. I'm really pissed right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to so... get me shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the monster's <laughs> turn. There's four of them left. We're gonna do the attacks against the box of first. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that is fine. That is a 19 to hit on the first one. Yeah, that that hits. <clears throat> it's an 18 to hit on the second one. Yeah, that hits too. Ooh. That's a 22 to hit on the third one. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I thought one of them was dead. Oh no, it. Oh no, 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 no. one of them is dead. Never mind. Okay. So it's only two. He still hit you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what am okay. I taking? Oh, here. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Do you remember strength. what concentration? Oh. oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's thirteen points. Holy shit! Damage. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Monster just runs away and never comes. Back. Wild shape. <laughs> Now's the time. Under half the damage you take. Okay. So I take. No, I can't wild shape. Oh, that's a reaction. So I take 13, right? First. So that hurt real bad. And you lose two points of strength. Okay. Second one. How much health do you have? Right now? Yeah. Nine. Okay. You take exactly nine points of the Oh, Oh, shit. Damn. And you lose four 
first three. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Matsa falls over. Don't worry, guys. I have magic. <laughs> it's okay. You know? Yeah, actually, that pretty much saves my ass if you can talk to me. I'll think about it. <laughs> uh, I'm not fond of violet. <laughs> fairy fire uh, drops, by the way. Yeah, fairy fire goes away. Oh, yeah, thank I'm, I God. I'm still kind of upset about that fairy shit. I mean, it didn't hurt anybody but me, so. It hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad about it, though. Didn't hurt me, I think. Alright. It's Cat's turn. Yeah, you're peeking out from the corner, and you see Moxa just get bodied by these two shadows. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I, I mock so the, the nearest so shadow to me. <laughs> saying, so much for a fairy fire, dude. <clears throat> you fucking bastard! <laughs> and I take the shot. Oops. I try to keep my dice on the table. Uh, that is an we 18. There you hit. Alright. Shouldn't I have made a death save? Uh, uh, I'll do I'll next turn. I make it on the next turn. That's my only personal. Oh. Oh, this that is a big be one. Shitty rolls won't fucking kill you. There's maximum damage that I could have done. How um, much? Ten plus six plus two plus two. It's twenty damage. You blast him again into oblivion. Hey. <laughs> and it's I like shadow. retreat. Further away from the <laughs> Good luck, Moxa. Runs away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's the right choice, yeah? <laughs> it's that's my ancient it. technique. This is something you're going to have to do for yourself. Just tell me what to do and I'll follow your lead, Jojo. <laughs> Run for your life! All right, Moxa, make your death saving throw. Okay, five. So that's a failure. Oh, all right. It's Astro's turn. How far away is this asshole? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, he's like 15 feet away. <sighs> I guess I'll go over there and touch him. If there's still one engaged with you, it'll. Make a swipe it's at gonna you. try and take a swipe at you. you oh, to... fuck it! I said, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> go right. touch him. It rolled a seventeen. Cool. <laughs> Definitely a hit. Yeah, I mean it's a hit. So that's oh, wow. Uh, seven. Uh, you take three points. Oh uh, no, four points of necrotic damage. Halved again, so two points of necrotic <laughs> Lit. I like this barbarian. And you lose wait, four strength. I, I don't why like this barb anymore. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, get back. Should've only been... Is oh, this yeah, yeah, a strength right, loss right, temporary, right. or... It's, 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 yeah, it's temporary. Never mind, it's four. <clears throat> four points of damage you took. I didn't Which add. Is true? It's four, you took four. And you lost four strength. Ooh, that hurts you. You should have tried to kill it. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a good friend. Your two hit bonuses and your damage bonuses go down. Be yeah. I'm just trying to be a good friend. Effectively now a 14. Which means it's plus two, not plus four. Uh, it's plus four to hit. Yeah, now it's plus four to hit, plus two damage. Alright, you bonus. go up and touch Moxa. You're gonna fucking pay for this punk-ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I touched Give him a good touch. <clears throat> what does the hands do? The healing hands. No, she's an awesomer thing. Oh, okay. How much does he heal for? One. Two. What? Two. Two. Level two. I only want him to heal for one. You don't get it. <laughs> two health goes to Moxa. You wake up. And you see your barbarian friend bring you back. As well as only one shadow looking at you now. <laughs> oh, it's Constantine... A uh, fucking celestial. Uh, no. Don't ask questions. <laughs> this explains a few things. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <clears throat> I mean, like you're still a human mutt. So. <laughs> Alright, so, so is so is so Katsu. is Katsu. Katsu, you're surrounded by two shadows. Oh, still. Okay. 
One's almost dead. Attack the one that's almost dead. Hey man, don't you still got one spell slot? Yeah. Try again. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would not. Alright. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> On the, uh... Good old reliable. Weak one? Uh, no, not the weak one. What? Actually, no, the yeah, yeah, weak one. Alright, no. here we go. Go ahead, roll your attack. Thin out there. With the advantage. Players. Alright, you can roll it again for a higher number if you want. Is that crit? Oh, no, no, never mind. No, the fairy bars. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. no. You hit, you hit, you hit. Alright. Isn't the other okay. one like. Oh, it doesn't work with Warlock, So it's dead, it? right? Uh, no, just roll damage. It right. you might kill it. Maybe, possibly. Oh, yeah, baby. you totally <laughs> kill it. It disappears into the void. Uh, I believe it's the monster's turn now. There are two shadows left. The other ones, one's next to Katsu, one next to Astrid and Moxie. Let's do the Katsu one. <laughs> Katsu, there's a 17 hit you. I guess we'll never I take know. that as a yes. What? <laughs> there's a 17 hit you, Katsu. Wait, what What do I do? No, what's your, right, armor class? your what's your armor class? Oh. 14. Yeah, you get hit. You take <clears throat> seven points of necrotic damage. And lose four points of strength. Oh, we're getting bad luck with these fucking strength drains. Are these I mean, I got low strength anyway. Oh, well, what's your strength score at right now? Seven. Okay. So he probably can't. Higher than mine. Move. No, right? you can... no, he can move. It's just once it reaches zero, that's when. That's when trouble. Zero is. Out. Yeah. All right, and then the one against uh, who doesn't want to hit Moxie or Astro? I hope Moxie. <laughs> I love how it just like <laughs> ditched ground. you guys. It goes for Astro, but it's only a ten to hit. So I'm assuming that doesn't hit you. No. <laughs> Alright. Get back to the top of the round. It's Mox's turn. Mm -hmm. I had Epic Store running this entire time. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, how, far, how far down are you? Uh, Me? Off street, no. Down there. Help. We're about to How much? Do that. Did, did I, I took two from Katsu. Yeah, you're right? resistant to fucking. Yeah. I so think like 12. Damage. I'm at 12. Oh no, no that's right. The claws are. She's at 12. Okay. Um. I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. Uh, first off. So. That's a d8. Um, please, God. Okay, that's an 8 plus 4, so 12 hit points back. Oh, baby. Yeah, I know. I needed that. You're pumping yourself with life juice. Was that uh, like a max roll? Or yes, that was the 8 on the D8. Uh, and then as a... I'm gonna stand up, half my movement. And then as a bonus action, I'm gonna cast... Or I'm gonna use my, uh... Balm of the Summer Court on Constantine. Dale, you get... That's a one. <coughs> you get one hit point back. <laughs> and you get one temporary hit point on top of it. Awesome. Nice. It's like almost two health. <laughs> <laughs> Better right. than two health. It's Cat's turn. How many of these shadows are left? One left. Alright, I'll like make my way back. To the room, and uh, the final shot. <laughs> the final shot. I'll mark the one, and I'll say, "You're the one I've been looking for." Let's take that fucking shot. <laughs> it's a miss. <laughs> oh <laughs> roll no! A, roll the three. It's pew! <laughs> you kind of like look, blink twice, and then slowly walk back into the hallway. <laughs> 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 All right. 
<laughs> it's Ashy's turn. Ashy, there's Please one more it. bitch ass shadow right next to you. Please kill it. Um, I'm raging right now. Yeah. Yes. yes. Cool. We're just gonna. Oh Fuck yes. Oh yeah. Why are you so lucky with dice? Oh my god, not <laughs> crit! Just so you guys know. Okay, and Oof. Seven. Nine. Plus Remember. Two for strength plus two for raging. Oh, right. 26 all together. Oh, no. Oof. Yeah. Two all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you decimate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's shadowy form dissipate. Combat is now over. Hey, we're alive. Do I get my fucking strength out there? What? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> no. Okay. You need to take a shorter, long rest to get it back. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like for the rest. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're still. You can get it back. You gotta take a nap, though. I, uh. I support the initiative of maybe taking. Me too. An hour. Because <laughs> I just burn. Everything. Well, I don't get anything back, but. You can I'm... take a long rest. <sighs> that would be very yes. dangerous down here. Though. Do we want to spend eight hours? There are beds over in the other area that you check out. I don't know about you guys. I, mean, I don't know if I can spend an eight-hour yeah. rest. You could. My character you wouldn't could, feel safe enough to. You could rest. set like uh, watches if you want. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Longer than. Yeah, and you'll have to eat afterwards. I don't know if any of you have. Food. I've got. I have enough I have food for everyone. Yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, well. Are Think you of it like this. <laughs> do you want your spell slots back? <laughs> do I want them back? Yes. I would like my strength yeah, I back. Think it's a good <laughs> idea I love too. my fucking strength back. Well, I think we need to take a rest. Yes. For sure. It's One just... hour to get your strength back, eight hours to get, like, everything back. We can do a little bit of healing in the short rest with hit dice. Yeah, I reckon we should just but do the short rest. I, uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable sitting here for eight to ten hours trying to get a good night's sleep in this place. I already rolled the place. first encounter roll. Uh... <laughs> if you take the long rest. <laughs> so... I mean, I'm not really comfortable sitting here or sleeping, but also, um, I'm pretty much tapped out for the day. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty good. Oh, we I've, went uh, for, like, <laughs> how long? Well, we can continue I've, going. We're talking about in-game resting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've, uh... Almost got a up. few tricks up my sleeve, but um, I don't got a lot left after that. What do you guys right, think? So you guys should take like voting in the chat: one for <laughs> short rest, two for long rest. One. <laughs> one. Yeah, I agree. So it looks like y'all are gonna go take your short rest. All right, you guys go find. Uh, do you want to go back to where the beds were, <laughs> or you just want to do it in here where the shadows? Are? I'll be happy to like sit and eat food. I'm assuming the shadows came out of that orb that we picked yes. up, right? Okay. The orb is now dark, by the way. Okay. What? Can I pocket Who has it? it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pocket. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go back and find those beds and chill for an hour. All right, okay. you guys chill for an hour. You, uh, I think Katsu gets spell slots back. Yeah, Katsu will get his spell slots back. Uh, and the cat and Moxa don't. Yep. Do I get my strength back? Yes, all of you get your strength back. <laughs> okay, everything's to back to normal for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Hang on. Except for health. Oops. No, <laughs> health, uh, health goes back. You gotta roll your hit die. I, uh... Yeah. What's, what's yeah, going? so... On a short rest, you can roll your hit dice. You can expend your hit dice to gain HP back. Okay, so hit die. Oh. You have two. So you have D up to two. Yeah. Or one what, D8. What's a warlock six? You have two D eight. Or two D eight. 
2d8, that's how much you heal for the rest. If you want to burn both of them. Seven. You heal Which, seven. Uh, so basically I'm at full health. I'm gonna roll my first one first. But it's, it's that plus your con. Oh, yeah, fuck, I'm I forgot to burn. plus my con. All right, yeah, I'm like I'm one burn. below max, so I'll just sit on that. I'm burning both of mine. I am. Your one temporary hit point goes away. By the way. What the hell? Because <laughs> we took a rest. Is mine a D eight? No, mine's a fucking D twelve. Yours a D twelve. Yeah. Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. You got them big hit points. Yeah. I'm back at max. Cool. Nine. Plus con mod. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm one below max, but I still have one hit dice. That's... And I can only heal up to my maximum, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm okay. back at maximum. You guys feel rested? I do. Um... I just Less want everybody to know that... Uh... I don't... I'm still tapped out. Mm. I got... One little thing of healing left. And that is literally it. <laughs> Can I go? Oh, I'm hoping that was our big encounter because <laughs> I don't think it was. Cause that because I got nothing. Yeah. Um. So the room that we're we that we're resting in that's not the one with the well, is it? Uh, yeah, that is. Oh, okay. Can I take the rope from the bucket? Yes. Okay, I'll just take that with me. That rope right. is good if you have spare. 30 feet of rope. Yeah, because I burned off like 25 yeah. of it when I set that trap. That's smart, yeah. I grab that. Right. You have technically two places to go. Wait, wait, wait. What? I have scrolls! Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can do this. I'm a cleric now. Alright. <clears throat> there are technically two places to go. There is, from the area where the ghouls are coming to, there's another way back that leads into another room. Or you can go downstairs. <clears throat> oh, so... Hmm. Do you guys think we should just finish clearing this floor, or are we ready to go downstairs? <laughs> I'm starting to think anything that we do is a bad idea in this house. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I, I still want to say that we should clear the floor. Yeah, we should probably that. try and find anything that would be useful to us. Yes, if we find more scrolls, that gives me a little bit more options for we get into another combat. Mm -hmm. As it is, I'm just kind of playing it by ear. But also, I have like no healing left, so don't any damage. Okay. Thanks, healer. And I'm pretty sure we all burned all of our hit dice. So... <laughs> oh, that, oh, I should have just used one. Oh, well. Yeah, I still have I only used one. I used yeah. both of them, because I was... <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah, when you take a long rest, you get half of your maximum back. Yeah. So... Ah... Uh... All right, I guess we'll finish clearing the floor then, right? No yeah, objections? Yep. <clears throat> Let's do it. You got to go into down where the ghouls cool find another We find a what? I... What? There is a table in here with uh, two clay flagons on top of them with iron sticks uh, when you enter this room. And then there are two doors, one that goes to the west and one that goes to the east. Hmm. Oh. There's a lot of fucking doors in this house, huh? <laughs> hmm. West. What did you say was in the Mark. flagons? Mark, so what's your passive perception? 16. Mark, so you notice that the door on the east is moving. Very slightly. Moving? <laughs> Very slightly. Uh... Can I use my thaumaturgy to... I, uh... Force that open. I think. <laughs> Are you stupid? Uh, <laughs> can we 
All right, everybody, stop moving. Checking things out. Stop touching it. Just stop. Mm-hmm. Let's all take a step out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, some kind of coward? Yeah, what's all this about? Kazmaia, please go touch the door. <laughs> <laughs> Heading... Which door is it? The east. When Kaz goes to touch here. the door, I start, like, getting as far away as I can. No, I, no, wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know why I asked you to touch the door. You just know that I asked you to touch the door. She's not gonna fucking listen to you, you're fucking trash. No, I know, that's fair. So... I will step back. <laughs> I think you should open that door and we should go that way. How about no? Mmm. What are you, a coward? <laughs> You're the one that stepped out first. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't step out, I said we should. Uh, so that door is moving. Uh, <clears throat> which, considering we got attacked by some other inanimate object, uh, I'm thinking that that might be one, too. Thoughts? It doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. Mm. To what? To touch it. I agree, but I don't know if it'll just jump out if we touch it, or if it'll jump out at all. If Can we, like, determine if there's any kind of magic coming from this door, or if it's like a give me natural minutes, effect like of this tell. house? Y'all gonna wait 11 minutes? I'm cool with waiting 11 minutes. gonna fucking eat me. Well, we're out of the room now, I assume. Yeah. Uh, there is no magic coming from that door. Okay. I'll keep the spell up just so I can see if there's anything else magic around. When we're in that room, like, it's just the door that's moving. We're not, like, rotating or anything. No, the door... To The best way to describe what Mox and saw was, like... If flesh was moving, mm -hmm. but oh, at yeah. the texture of a door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. We could try to get jump on it and everybody attack it all at once. Or. If that's a mouth, not, I don't think I want to attack it. Ah, uh, that's. I was <clears throat> thinking more of animated, like the armor that we fought earlier. Mm -hmm. Um. I... Oh, I, uh, I have a flask of oil in my bag if you want me to throw that at it and you can <laughs> bonfire it. I think it... I think our two I options are... Flask of oil. <laughs> I oh, just our... Max Max because you've been keeping check of a map. That door would lead also to the room with the orb. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just so um. But I didn't see the door on the other side. No, you did. I, I didn't scroll. Oh. That was my bad. Okay. Um, our two options I see here is go through the other door and pray that one doesn't get any ideas and just leave it alone. <laughs> or get the jump on it, see if we can kill whatever it is in one go before it jumps on us. Well, it's probably better that we can, if it is something, we can take it out before mm. it comes up behind us. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Is that what we want to do? I guess. Can mm -hmm. we get Kaz to just, like, blast it before combat? <laughs> if combat's going to be a thing? Well, I imagine we all would, like, attack it all at once yeah, before okay. it has a chance to do anything. You guys can try and sneak attack. What is up ahead? A door. A door, yeah. A a door. Attack the door. That moved. Should I just use thaumaturgy to open it? No, it, no. It moved. Like, I think we should, I think it's probably animated in some way, and that we should all attack the door. Okay, I'll all at once. blast it. <clears throat> and, all right. well, everybody, oh. Everybody roll for their attacks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's doing what? I'm not even getting close. I'm gonna fucking slash it. With advantage, by the way. Because technically, it's back is turn. Alright. Um. 
Ooh. Make a dexterity saving throw because I'm casting create bonfire. Oh yeah, we have that. failed. I have okay. twenty-two to hit. Oh my god. Is it more is it more than twelve uh Katsu? To hit total? Yeah. No, it's up it's equal to twelve. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, eight plus what? Your you definitely hit it. Eight plus two plus four. Yeah, so yeah, you hit it. You fourteen. You beat 14. it. It failed. Everyone hits it as well. <laughs> Roll damage, everybody. Is it undead? <laughs> no. Aww. Five uh -huh. points of fire damage. Six points of an aspect. Of Thirteen piercing. Of course. I can't count. Thirteen plus. Oh, what? Se what? <laughs> Seven plus four. <laughs> Eleven. Thirty-one altogether. Yeah. Sure. Bloody it. Oh no. As the door turns around and looks at, its a mouth appears in the door, and it has little little door feet, and it has <laughs> two feet? giant yellow eyes. Okay. Everyone roll for initiative. Okay. This is a Wait, good how idea. How much damage did we do to it? Thirty-one. 31. And it's still walking. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one. Oh my god, two. Fifteen. So three for me. Alright. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot my Oh initiative, right? Fourteen. Yeah. So it's also three. Okay. What did you get cut? Wait, your, your dex mod is two or one? Oh, no, 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 I got two. No, no. I feel bad that All Constantine right. is close to this thing. It's your turn, cat. <laughs> I right. know what it is. <laughs> well, I don't have... I can't mark it, so I don't have my slot. So I'm just going to shoot it again. No, I rolled a two. That's eight to hit. <laughs> no. Okay. It goes off wide. And uh, I just take. <laughs> I get as much distance as I can from this thing. <laughs> Ash, it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> um. Please don't take damage. I have like nothing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to. Also, mind if you want to make an attack reckless. You have to say it before you roll the first one. I'm not going to! I'm just- I'm just gonna thing. attack it. Can you please shut the- <laughs> so I'm just gonna <laughs> attack it. My man. Bitch, I literally tried that. It's plus six, right? <laughs> Fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Seven. You hit. <laughs> Yay! Give him out with something good to eat. Mm. Thirteen! <laughs> You've done 43 points of damage. Good. It's uh, almost dead. I'm gonna back up. <laughs> uh, but it's It'll... little. They're wobbly, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get you. No. Opportunity of attack. No. Touch me. Touch me. Is uh, your uh, ace 15? My what? Ace. Um, uh, it's 14. It hits you. Fuck, what the hell? Mm, that's not good. I don't like that. Back. You take... <laughs> Woo. Take, uh, four points of bludgeoning damage. As you feel a sticky adhesive substance get on your skin. Oh, yeah. You feel like you're moving with the door, as the door is now attached to your back. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It is now the monster's turn! Can I we now open the door and become forever. Constantine? <clears throat> what? <laughs> it hits you again. And you take... Uh, nine points of slashing damage as its teeth bite into your back. <sighs> and another eight points of acid damage. Oh my god! 
<laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Wait, I can't count. That's the saliva sleeves. Okay, so 8 plus... 15 right. altogether. Okay. No, 16 altogether. No. I can deal with that. 9 plus 8 is 7. No, 17 altogether. Okay. <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing? Still alive, I think. <laughs> <laughs> As this, are you this, still up? Yes. This creature is like super glued to your back, biting into you. Are you after the? All right. Thing? It's your turn, Moxa. <laughs> you won't be out of bonfire without hurting Constantine, right? Well, they're not in the same space, are they? Yeah, it's stuck to her. Fuck. So good, don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I won't be able to bonfire it without hitting her. Yep. Just like the door. You could run up to it and hit it. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much what I got left, so. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. I don't have Eldritch Blast. No, I'm, I'm excited to use Eldritch Blast. <laughs> your shit, human. I have, uh... <clears throat> I can't use my cantrip. I have no spell slots. I don't want to burn... my last bomb. Um... <clears throat> uh... Sorry, give me one second. I'm dying! <laughs> How far away am I from the, uh, the door? Uh, I would say 15 feet. <laughs> I'm still amused that the door has feet. <laughs> <laughs> I've merged with Constantine. Thanks. Between like freaking out because I'm about to die to a door, I'm like, <laughs> little feedsies! <laughs> <laughs> um. Fuck, no, that takes an action. Ah, I can't even do that. Um. Yep, nope, I'm gonna pull out my scimitar and walk up and stab the door. Because <laughs> that's all I got. So. That is. A 17 to hit? Okay. I assume that hits, yes? Yes, that hits. Okay, so, I deal. Big money. Oh yeah, real big money over here. Uh, three points of slashing damage. <laughs> I rolled a one. It's not dead. How low are you? Oh, me? Huh? Yeah. Seven. Alright! You're fine. It's Katsu's turn. <laughs> yeah. I'll Get him, Kestail. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Good ol' <old> reliable. <laughs> Cause I c can't use arms of the dark without killing Constantine. I'm just imagining Constantine's like, running around in a circle <laughs> as this thing's attached. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more like, look at the little feet, and then like, the constant reminder that I could die at any second. As it's okay. fucking <laughs> chewing through your body. Oh shit! Oh, okay. That'll do. That's a good yeah. It saved your life. Um. Oh! It's over dead, it just incinerates off of Constantine's back. You're welcome. Thanks, because our <laughs> shitty healer did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not over. Hey, he did, he did three now. damage. Wait, wait, that's what, something. Did, what did you say? What did you, what did you, what did you, what did you say, Jack? Uh, combat's now over. You guys killed your first mimic. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Oh, bitch, I thought you said the combat is not over. And I was oh, like, no. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> More doors are coming alive. <laughs> so, right. like, if we had left that alone is it possible for a mimic to move without being disturbed i mean yes can't move, yeah. but it probably so wouldn't have it would probably just stay as the door okay 
All right, well, there's, there's that one more normal. room down here. One more room, and you clear the entire dungeon. Mm. Do you like <gasps> to go in this head room, or do you want to? How about we rest? Dude, uh, I'm dying. Can't take <laughs> another hour. Oh. Um. <clears throat> the bong rest, if you really want to chance it. I wouldn't <laughs> want to risk it. I'm dying. Do we have any can like I, healing scrolls? Can I walk back into the hallway, uh, away from everybody again? Okay. I'm just gonna tell everybody, give me one second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, Do you know how many it is, right? Yep. Four. Okay. Uh, I am gonna walk back with. Man, that fucking sucks. Uh, <clears throat> with some potions. So. <laughs> the deafening silence. Uh, yeah. don't worry about it. Did you make these potions? Don't worry about it. Where'd you get them? <laughs> I'm worrying worry about, about it. it. Where did you get those? If you want them, then don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes you shit out healing potions. Oh, it happens. <laughs> Do you want them or not? I don't know. I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want them, I'll put them back in the bag. The what? In the bag. The bag. Last time I got things in this house, it was moldy bread. I didn't get it from <laughs> the house. I don't trust anything anymore. Do you want the potion or not? <laughs> you are dying. I just don't know. Just Half your it. back is on the floor next to the mimic. Like, do you want it or not? I don't know. Are you going to be a good teammate or not? This is me being a good teammate. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Take one and tell me how you feel. It's 2d4 plus 2. Take one tell me how you feel. Oh my god, I have to roll so many. It tastes like, um... You know like that medicine they would give you when you're young? That like, they said tastes like apple, but never tasted like apple? What? Yeah. Oh, I guess I could've just actually rolled... Yeah, I forgot <laughs> something. Well, I guess I gotta do it again. <laughs> Yeah, I never got sick as a kid, so I don't really know what you mean, Jack. Damn. It's like a throat spray. Okay. So You're seven. hell for seven. How are you now? Mediocre. <laughs> Take another one. Like, want another one, mediocre? Yeah! And okay. another. <laughs> Take another one. Yay! Another, another seven. Another seven. Yeah, I feel okay. <laughs> Good? Okay. I'll put the other two in my bag. I have two potions. Yep. That's what I did. I went to the back room to deal with the devil. <laughs> Fuck me, dude! Ah! Alright. Can we stop fighting go? things and taking damage, please? <laughs> you guys go into the last turn. Yay! Okay. You guys go to the last room then. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold up, let me. Uh... Are we? Yeah! <laughs> I hope this really into... is the last room. A. Well, before you go downstairs. Before we go downstairs. <laughs> to a master bedroom for two people. It's like a king size bed. Uh -huh. And on the northern wall is a portrait that says Gustav. Uh, Durs. Now on the most western wall is another port that says Elizabeth Durs. So these are the parents. Yes. Below them are two footlockers. Um. Okay, hold on. Before we go in this room, give me 11 minutes to cast 
detect magic. I'm okay with this just, plan. Just, I just, let's be a little bit paranoid here because, like I said, I am fucking drained. Yeah. So let's just chill back in the other room for eleven minutes and do that. Okay. Good. Yeah, you do your Good. magic detection, and yep. you detect magic coming from that room, specifically the Foot Lockers. Can you There's detect like what two kind of or magic? one Foot Locker? Both of them. There's two of them. Yeah, do I do, um, if there's a school of magic, I can figure that out too. Uh, you get a, a pretty big, uh, pretty big sense of what might be in there. So many different magic schools. It could be anything. I do you really want me to list each and one? Oh god. <laughs> I mean, if there's different things that I pick out different, like, schools, then, like, yeah. I mean. It is, uh,. One of them would be all oh. <laughs> whatever protection would fall under abjuration. Yeah, abjuration. One second, gotta Google all this. <laughs> this doesn't sound the best. Another is illusion. Okay. Another is. God damn it. Divination. Okay. Divination's good. Another abjuration. Okay. A... Evocation. Holy shit, how much stuff is there in there? A lot! <laughs> <laughs> We're running out of, uh... Schools of Magic. <laughs> Another abjuration. Transmutation. I'm really hoping this is just like a cache of scrolls. I hope it's just like a fuck ton of enemies. <laughs> enemies wouldn't give off like abjuration and stuff. Yeah, it. They're good enemies. Where are the assholes? Another illusion. <laughs> okay, how much shit could there possibly be in this <laughs> footlocker? For there to be that many, like, things? It's a, Transmutation. It's a lot of shoes. Now I'm just right. fucking confused. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in that footlocker. Those Is foot that lockers. Like in character, you're telling us there's a lot of stuff. Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm getting those things are fucking lit up. <sighs> I'm already like very rattled after like everything we touch has just gone to shit. So I'm happy to like stay back. I yeah. Uh... I have a strong feeling that. Uh, considering how this has gone, that those are protected by traps or creatures or God knows they may grow teeth like the door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but there's a lot of shit in there that could probably do us a lot of good. Uh, so I'm thinking that maybe we try... I, I don't get anything else from the rest of the... Nope. Mm. You can roll a perception check inside the room. Yeah, I mean, I want to look and see if there's anything yeah, like on the ceiling or on the wall or if something's breathing that shouldn't be. <laughs> What's your you. perception? So that's a 17. You notice you do hear slight heavy breathing coming from behind both of the pictures. Mmm. I will very, very, very quietly point this out to my uh, companions. Uh, uh, I take a look at the pictures when he points that out. I'm like, do I notice any kind of movement on them or anything? Give me a perception check. Okay. 
I can tell you that I did. <laughs> they look like pictures. They look like pictures. Can I do <laughs> Sure. <sighs> I'm so scared. They look like pictures. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Just because they don't want to do perception check. Yeah, That's sure, why not? <clears throat> oh! oh! As Dea, you can discern that the picture, there's something behind them, something waiting. All right. So Whatever it is, that? do you want to get the fucking jump on it again? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there's again. two of the things now. If they're coming from both pictures, there's a doorway that we came in from, yes. right? So we can at least bottleneck it. I mean, we're, I assume we're like in the doorway, like looking. At, I have not gone in the room yet. Mm -hmm. No one's in the room. Uh, I am very much just hanging back, talking before we head in. Um. <sighs> How much. Mm -hmm. If we get in another scrape. Ah. Uh, so they're those foot lockers are pretty lit up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to know what's inside of them. It's, but it's the probably last gonna mean a fight. Wait, does see if we, like... we got a whole nother floor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can we see if they're like locked or anything from where we They are not locked. Okay. So Okay, 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 okay. I think we should fight it. Mm-hmm. Um, because I want that stuff. Mm -hmm. So you want to preemptively attack. So, I have a plan. Yeah, your plan got us really... Explain you your brilliant your plan, plan, human, because that worked last time. It uh, did, kind of. That as well as... I don't agree. I mean, it sort of did. I just kind of almost died for it. Um. Hold on, I need to check something. Jack, how do I cast a spell out of a scroll? Are there like rules for this? Because I know yeah, you... You, just, you just open it. That's fine. No, but wasn't there like if it's a higher level than a level that I could normally uh, cast? For that, I would say for books, yeah. Check? Anything like that. Or if you're trying to like bring it into you. But if it's a scroll, then I'm saying that all the properties to cast it have already been placed into the scroll. And you can just use, but the scroll burns away after you use. Yeah. There was. Yeah, I know there when... was a check you have to make for casting it, from a. I I allow it. Don't worry about it. Back when I used to play, like in the older editions, when you read from a scroll, it was just like cast at the base's scroll level. So whoever scribed mm -hmm. the scroll determines what it will do. Yeah, that's usually how I set it up to mm -hmm. I'm not this is not so much for this because I'm just asking because spiritual weapon I know is a second level spell and technically I can't cast those so, and I know I can with the scroll but I don't know like how like I know there's a thing there I just don't know what it is um but for now uh, I am <laughs> okay. gonna cast bless on everybody other than myself <laughs> okay um, Bless up so, everyone. Is that like a plus one to attack? No. So, for a minute, which means we gotta do this like now, yeah. uh, whenever you make an attack roll or a saving throw, uh, you roll a d4 and add the number. Damn. Whatever you just rolled. Bless got good. Uh, that's on you three, not on me. Okay. Uh, that's my contribution. <laughs> it scroll burns away. Alright, yep. so we're gonna do this doing thing. Spiritual weapon? Uh, no, I'm not using spiritual weapon here. Okay, so how are you guys going? Are you just gonna go in or are you gonna attack the painting? Let's do two and two. Okay. I'll go for the painting. Alright. Who wants to go? Which, which, one... Aren't there two paintings? Yes. yes. Everyone roll. roll. I'll say. With male and female. Okay. Roll your for your attacks with advantage. Um, 
I'm gonna. That blast applies to attack rolls as well, right? Yes, attack rolls and saving throws. Oh baby, <laughs> where's my D4? <sighs> <Fuck me. laughs> ready, it's coming in. Come on, Captain. Yeah, my first roll was a fucking. <laughs> My first roll was a one, Burner. and then I got a nineteen. <laughs> Holy shit! Check out my rolls. Don't forget. Oh. With bless. Um, so oh, my attack boy. roll is twenty-seven. Did anybody get lower than thirteen? Um. Hold on. Well, you get to add a d4 to yours. I think he still uh, hits or... you. All right. Wait. So oh, I roll d10. Just... Right. Yeah, you roll a d4 and add that to your attack roll. Does it also work for? It doesn't work for damage, does it? No. Just attack rolls and saving throws. So, three, so that's six altogether for Kot 2. 12 F plus 12. 6. 8. 18. Bless is a really good spell. Okay. Whatever we're attacking, is it How undead? Much did you do? Yes. How much damage did you do? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> also, it has to make a saving throw for Create Bonfire. Okay. One of the paintings, I don't care which one. It fails. God damn this fucking dog. It takes five points of fire damage. It's going to take a lot of damage from me. That is... 16 damage. Okay. Uh, should I specify which one I was attacking? Uh, I thought we said male and female. Like guys go for guys, the girls. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so 21 total on the guy painting. Uh, Ashley, how much damage did you do? Uh, oh yeah, I did not damage one. <laughs> D. 12. 4. 8. 12. Sure. Plus okay, 8. 8. It should be plus 4. No, yeah, that's what I meant. The final 8. Yeah. Cool. 8 total. <laughs> Cool. All right. Two creatures in tattered robes jump out, <laughs> screaming in pain from the pictures. Why? <laughs> they both look like the people in the painting, except oh, wow. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, for you, uh, Von Kraus, you would know these as gas. Oh, Everyone fuck. roll for initiative. Are gas worse than ghouls? Yes. I don't know my undead. Yes. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, God. Uh, my initiative is 21. 14. 19. I think we God should just have to have it to type all of it. So Jack has all the numbers in front of him. 18. Uh, what did you get, Cat? 21. What did you get, Moxa? 14. Okay, so it's... I technically I think still have Bless as well, yeah? Oh yeah, you guys have it for a minute until I lose concentration, which I'm staying way the fuck back, so that doesn't happen. Yep. Alright, it's like that. Okay, before we do anything, at the top of the round, everyone in this room, make a constitution saving throw. Mmm. They stinky. Yes. Uh. <laughs> oh god. No. <laughs> With bless. <laughs> oh yeah, you get uh, an extra D4 on top. Yeah, plus. Okay. Uh, Tell me if you get lower than ten. Mm, I got lower than ten, all right. <laughs> <laughs> With the D4 too. Yeah. Oh Holy my god. Shit. It's got zero D4. Got to roll that D4. No. no. All right. I'm good. Oh, got two and can I'm good. Now our poison. <laughs> I'm feeling good. <clears throat> Mechanically, like, what does poison do? I believe it makes you have disadvantage on attack rolls. Fuck! Poisoned is... A creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. <laughs> Fuck! <Yep. laughs> so I'm kind of not affected too much, right? I mean, you're not taking damage, you just have to roll twice to take the lowest Yeah. Uh... 
does it have like a listed duration? Or can uh, we like save after I mean, turns? I don't think we know what the duration is. No, I just admit like mechanically, so I know for the future. Uh you're poisoned to the start of your next turn. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, cat. Right, your turn. Alright. Um so I'm going to take another shot at the male one. Right. With disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> but you get to add a d4 to your attack. Yeah, I'm not going to do it first. The first roll was an 18, so I'll roll again. Which was a... <laughs> Obviously lower. <laughs> uh, that's a 12. Oh, you're one under. I know. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> this advantage. And I'm just gonna like back up. Don't know. It was moving. I gotta get away from the stank. <laughs> All right, it's got you, turn. What are you gonna do, Katsu? All right. Eldritch blast. Eldritch blast, of course. <laughs> and disadvantage. But she gets to add a d4. Oh. oh! Never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, man. Oof. Oh, Katsu, man. it's burning your eyes so bad that your eldest glass is just kind of shooting all over the ceiling. You can't see. It stinks in here. <laughs> <laughs> the flesh! Uh, well, this has gone fantastic so far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! It's Fox's turn! Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I got. Just imagine blind fire. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've got nothing left, so let's just create bonfire on. Which one Which one got damaged more? Ours, right? Yeah. Which it was... failed. What, the Gustav the, one? Yeah, the, yeah, Gustav. Okay, then. Gustav takes five points of fire damage. At least they're real high on this one. <clears throat> He's looking hurt. This is a good die. It's Astra's uh, turn. Yeah, I got no. You don't want. Do you want to move there? You're in melee range. Astri saved against its poison. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm chilling. Not good. All right, Astri, what do you want to do? Um, uh, how close am I to both of Fox? Uh, you can hit either or. But like, I want closer. They're five feet away from me. Both of them are five feet away from me. Yes. Oh, you're in between them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> better swing at one of them and hope you I'm kill it. I'm fucking searing circle. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna put my magic circle up. My light circle. What is that specifically? What light circle. Light circle. Your racial thing? Yeah, is that level three? You don't- that's level three. <laughs> you want to hit the guy or the chair? Yeah, let's just hit the fucking guy. Just take it. Crit, 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 crit. Oh, mm. you hit it. Do you need the boss? No. I don't. Wait, I'm... No, I'm good. I don't want it. Oh, you cut him right in half, and he's down. Yes. Good <laughs> shit. All right, it's a monster. Well, turn. that's it. <laughs> the Please creature looks it. at you. That me? I'll swallow your soul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a. Oof, that's a 19 to hit. Ooh. Okay. I'm glad, like, threat range doesn't exist anymore. I can feel the potions draining away. <laughs> oh! You take six points of slashing damage. Never mind. And I need a constitution saving throw. Fuck. This, you should have shit tons of bonuses to this, though. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your point? You're good. Yeah. 
<laughs> you feel that. your body lock up for a second, and you're fine. Oof. You're not a pussy old fart like oh me. Oh my god. Paralysis. Mm. It's Cat's turn. Cat, right. you're no longer poisoned. Yes. Do I still have the effects of Bless? Yes. yes. Okay, I take the shot. 20! Oh. Kill it, right. kill it. Bye, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Elizabeth. Uh, You're about to is... fucking obliterate this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let me have a look at my sheet. <laughs> Seven, nine. Uh, that is 18 points of damage. You obliterate this bitch! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Gore makes me, everyone! Makes me very that. happy. Man, imagine if you had went up to that thing to try and open it. Oh, the bad yeah. times you would be having! <laughs> yep. You can open the mm. chest now. Yeah, I want Epo Footlockers. Can we, There's... like, dispose of these corpses? The, uh, yeah, I, I'll say they burn in a, in a fire as soon as they die. Okay. If, like, if There's they two... didn't, I'll just have mocks of fucking bonfire. <laughs> yeah. There are two, uh, there's one on the left, one on the right. Which one do you want to open, Moxa? I'll let you choose first. Uh, which, uh... The one of the real big mix match was the one on the right. Didn't one of them have, like, abjuration strong? One of them had, yes, but that one was just, like, by itself. The other one that was, like, the list I I was telling you was the one on the right. All right, There's I'll two the one on the left. You open the one on the left. You find a folded cloak, a small wooden coffer, a chain uh, shirt, a mess ooh. kit, and this green, like, liquid in a flat, as well as a bullseye lantern. Okay, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a lot of stuff. So, um... Bullseye lantern... A cloak... Um... What was it? A chain shirt, right? And I'm assuming all of this is magical, <laughs> based on that huge list you read out. I don't think the mess kit is... I hope the chain shirt is. Um... And what was the last thing? A, f a flask of what? A flask of this weird green liquid. It's very hot to the touch. You have to hold it from the top. Uh -huh. Normal. Okay. Cool. The cloak is what had the abjuration. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna say, once I make it through the... Locker lockers, I'm gonna, um... Who opens the right one? Yeah. I'm chill. I'll open it. You find... Thieves' tool. And a book. This book is special. Okay. <laughs> it is a wizard spell book, but you can cast from it. Oh, like anybody. You can cast from the book? Yes. Like but, even I can cast from the book? Yes, but if you're not a wizard, and you don't have a spell slot to, like, or I guess if you're not a magic caster to sync the spell slot, the spell goes away if you cast it once. And those spells are Disguise Self, so, uh, Identify, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Protection from Good and Evil, Dark Vision, Full Person, Invisibility, and Magic Weapon. Holy oh, magic shit. Magic Missile. Magic Missile. Uh, I'm going to give this book <laughs> to Edric. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna cast Detect Magic just to see what if this is magic and what isn't. Oh, that is. Uh, the Detect Magic. The only things that were magical were the cloak. Uh, outside of that, nothing else. The flask is not. The flask is some sort of special sciency liquid. Ah. Uh. Can you determine like what school of magic the cloak is? 
It was abjuration. It was abjuration. Uh, you can put on the cloak if you want. Mm -hmm. Book is uh, well. If it's a magic item, I have to attune to it, which takes time. We can use identify from the book to figure out what it is. All right. So we found a bullseye lantern, cloak of abjuration, or of abjuration aura, a chain shirt, a mess kit, mystery flask that's hot, and a fancy ass wizard spell book. Okay. And thieves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and thieves. Souls. And I will hand um another potion of healing to Constantine. So. Oh, Could there's the uh, there's the wood coffer. By the way, you didn't open it. Oh, there was another box yeah. in there. No, no, is yeah. There's another box in the box. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's in that? More potions of healing. Hey. How many? Four. Oh, thank God. I was just about out again. <laughs> did, uh, yeah. did you use the potion I just gave you? Uh, no, just... Mm -hmm. Okay, so the book works how? You can cast the spells on the list, even if even if you're not a wizard, but if you if you're a magic caster, you have to use a spell slot in order for it to not go away. Mm -hmm. If a spell slot is used and you cast a spell without a spell slot that you could like expend it with, then the spell goes away from the book permanently. Maybe huh. Kaz should have the book because, like, I don't know about you, but that spell seemed kind of shit. <laughs> uh. For wait, who do what now? Sorry. So, Kaze's spells, like, we haven't seen them really work at all in our favor. Mm hmm. So, maybe she should be the one that casts these spells from the book instead of using her own slots. They go away, though. If she uses her slot, they don't, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, but warlocks have, like, two slots yeah. compared to Mox's four. Oh, Moxa has four slots? I have three right now, but I'll oh, get a lot more. Okay. Plus okay. two. I took... Yeah, I have two slots as well. Was it nine damage from each? Yeah, so you gain five back. Terrible rolls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're super low, like, I have more now. All right, so are we the heading downstairs? Should go to somebody that's not me. I can just break things up with my giant hands. I because I am not the most dexterous. I oh, imagine hold on you to the are. Tools. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um. <clears throat> so you take that. I think that. Does anybody here use medium armor? Other than I do. Me? I oh, you do could <laughs> it's probably best that Constantine the chain shirt is it should be a plus I four I imagine back. 13 plus dex maximum of two which so 15 maximum it's pretty good that's a pretty big increase for me I took the the cloak should probably go to the frontline <laughs> fighter so I'm thinking probably Constantine. Woo! Uh, the chain shirt. I mean, I don't know who wants that. Do we want to spend a short rest so Constantine can attune to the item? Sure. How do I attune to it? Do I just sit next to it? You just yeah. wear it for an hour. Do it. Do warlocks Here function like how they did in 3.5, where they can still cast spells while wearing chain shirts? Uh, it There's depends on their... Yeah, it depends on their uh, armor proficiency. Okay, that sucks. Here you go, Astri, <laughs> that's yours. They used to get, like, light armored casting for free. Golly. As long as you're proficient in armor, it won't uh, hurt your casting. 
<laughs> like, I can wear medium armor, which will make my life a lot easier. If you can wear medium armor too... I can <laughs> wear medium, but I've already got scale. Oh, I'm... Your scale is better, then. Yeah. It just gives you disadvantage on snow. Yep. Okay. Um... Is, so we're uh, done. Do you guys want to power through to the end? Sure. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I'm good. All right. <laughs> I was not expecting uh, this house to be this big. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Got you. You still kicking? Yeah. What's up? All right. You down to keep going? Just uh, it's we're at the very last bit. Okay. All right. You guys going Ooh. downstairs after that short rest? Well, is yeah. the <clears throat> is the chain shirt gonna benefit you a whole bunch, or is your unarmored defense gonna help you more? Constantine. Uh, oh. Constantine. Mm. Chain shirt. A chain shirt is thirteen plus your dex modifier of maximum of two. What's your dex modifier? Uh, one. So, 14. What's your AC right now? Unarmored is 14. Ah. <laughs> so you'd gain no benefit. Okay, I'm gonna keep the chain shirt then. Mm -hmm. Uh. Since I. Warlocks don't have proficiency with medium armor, do they? I don't think they do. Yes, they are. What's up? Uh, you don't have proficiency with medium armor, do you? Don't think so. It wouldn't give her any okay. benefit over mage armor anyway. That's fair. Uh, okay, I'll keep that then. Um, the, I'm gonna give everybody a po So. Mark that down. The yeah, the three of you get a potion, a potion of healing each. I don't have baby bones anymore, I do have maid body. <laughs> Facts. Mm. <laughs> um. This book is kind of wild, I don't really know what to do right now. Just hold, hold on, on to it. it. Yeah. 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 On. Okay. So what were the spells it could cast again? Uh, I wrote it down. It was disguise, or... What were they? I don't know if my list is right. I'll post them right here. Okay. Yeah. So if we were to cast like second level spells from the book, we would have to sacrifice a second level slot. Yes. Which or do don't, and then the spell disappears. Yep. Okay. Magic missile. <clears throat> That's a lot of scroll equivalents. Yep. Having protection from evil and good. Well, I mean, hand. the risk to get that was pretty damn high. Yeah. <laughs> that is was like party like, material. Does it look special or anything, or is it just no? Kind of it's just normal? it's just kind of folded yellow leather. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh, let's, let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, you guys uh, go downstairs. I'm gonna put on the chain shirt, by the way. Okay. You go downstairs, and there's one last fork in the road. There's a one that goes down into a pool of water, and what looks like to be some sort of staging room. <clears throat> you have to get through this little metal bar gate that you think you could. Another one that goes down a hallway. <clears throat> Where do you want to go? There's so many rooms. <laughs> <laughs> my AC is so fucking high now. Oh my god. What have you got? 17. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, so can you describe where we are again? Mm -hmm. Um, It's like going down and there's like a two paths to choose from. One goes down into some water. And a metal gate that you could ha you're gonna have to lift in order to get into the room. That room looks like a staging room of some sort. Uh, on the to the left of that is another hallway that goes down, 
and it looks like it goes down to like prison cells. I vote prison that we go left. The water. Let's go left. left you go left. left. Is the prison cells? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Okay. You scramble down the prison cells, and you notice that one of the walls is a little, and right next to it uh, is a barrel uh, filled with this black substance. Do I know and what it is? Yes, you do. Oh, and baby. Dead next to it. <laughs> <laughs> that dead okay. person has ten gold pieces on. <laughs> ten gold pieces? Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Hang on. Well, so I want to go in this room and, like, look around first. Like, is there. You can, can I see you, anything that I might perceive as dangerous? Anything dangerous, but you do see that there's a hole in the wall. Uh, leading into the other staging room, and that is a perfectly like good enough space for you to say hit the barrel from the other room. I see. Is Victor gonna share his knowledge of the barrel goo? Uh, I'm assuming what's in the barrel is black powder. You can make that safe assumption. Okay. <laughs> uh, I tell them like this is what I need to use to fire my musket. And um, if it's hit with like, because there's a shitload of it in here, if we hit it, it'll basically explode. As he's saying that, mm. he's like pocketing some black powder. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be. I'll fill up like one of my empty sacks as much All as right. I can. Cool. Damn, I should have kept that belly button sack. <laughs> Don't throw a bonfire near Victor. Got it. Yeah. Hmm. So, do I'm we want to cut the dead guy's blow... head off? You do that. <laughs> oh, you can pocket Into the coins the as well. There's cool. ten, still ten gold down there. Okay, so I cut the dead guy's head off and I steal his... Steal his money. <laughs> you're broke now, bitch, and you're dead. Alright. So, do you guys want to blow this wall down? Or... <clears throat> I don't see why not. Go the Does other it way. Just lead to the other room? Yes. Then why don't we just take the door? Fine. How deep is that water? Uh, it's about waist deep. Oh, fuck, that's scary. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go through water while I'm carrying powder. Uh, I'll see if it's in your bag. It won't see it through. Won't... Okay. Yeah. All right, then. It'll stay safe. Something's gonna fucking grab us. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going into the water room? I don't know. It's the Need only room we have left. Okay. <laughs> and Rick. I don't know why I'm in room. <laughs> you notice mm. the gate is halfway. You're either gonna have to lift the gate up more, or swim under it. I'll lift the fucking gate. You lift the gate. <laughs> Give me a straight check. Okay. Boop. No, that's not right. Okay. Five plus four, six, eleven. That meant. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, I swim under it. Can I make a strength check? <laughs> sure. Alright. I think I'm feeling a little weak carrying all these dead bodies. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a lot of weight six. to carry. <laughs> uh, it's not, no, I'm yeah, not if, there. If Constantine didn't move it, I ain't moving it. <laughs> you guys can always just go for a little dip. I don't I like do the not... way you're saying that, though. <laughs> I do not yeah, want I mean, to swim. I'll, I'll swim under it. Alright, you swim under it. You're all fine. The water's a little. I like, just pop mossy. up on the other side. All like... my stuff is still okay. Like, <laughs> you notice that on the right side of you, there's like a chain hoist to lift the gate. Ah. Okay. Please lift the gate for me. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. It takes you a while, but you're finally able to catch it. Lift the gate. I up. am not strong. <laughs> <laughs> Useless fucking. You did very well, son. <clears throat> Thanks, Dad. This is what the final <laughs> room looks like. In the metal, <clears throat> there is an altar of sorts. As you all step deep in, the gate closes behind you. <laughs> we're at where? At 37? 
Uh, yes. On the picture? Okay. Man. Great. Time to meet our demise. Is there any, the smooth like, masonry oh, walls provide excellent acoustics. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling and a breach in the wall. In the west wall leads to a dark cave heaped with refuse. Murky water covers most of the floor. Stairs lead up to some dry stone ledges that hug the walls. In the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagon. Octagonal dais that rises from the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above a stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar is carved with hideous depiction of grasping ghouls and is stained with blood. You hear a chanting as it begins to rise. Dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. Each one resembles a black robed figure holding a torch. But the torch's fire is black, and it seems to draw light into it. Where you expect to see vases are void. One must die. They chant over and over. <laughs> One must die. One must die. Hmm. <clears throat> Fun <Yeah>, bunch. <laughs> Glad we're not late to the party. Uh huh. How many of them are there? Four, I think. Four? They're surrounding mm. the room. So like eight? A lot of them. Twenty-seven? One per square on the edge. Oh, oh Jesus eight. Christ. Mm. One yeah. must die. Oh, Jesus. That is far too many. Yeah, like, like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back the way we came in? <laughs> the gate Actually, party. like when we walk into the room, do I that statue of the ghoul thing that you mentioned? Does that like do I recognize that? It from seems like it connects to the altar. It's like you can kind of figure out something's gonna happen if somebody's not sacrificed. Okay. So here's the question: Do you guys appease the cult or deny them? Does the dead maid count? No. <laughs> Has to be one of you. <laughs> Fuck the cult. I, I don't think we should be sacrificing any of us. How far away from us are all of these figures? Well, they're one per square, so they're a couple that are pretty close. Oh, just a heads up. You know where, like, that letter's cut off on the left yeah. side of the map? That's where you can shoot the barrel. Just so you know. That's, That's a <clears throat> Do you all agree to deny the coal? Deny the fucking coal. Yeah, fuck them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the shadows okay. disappear. Then we will have you all. They say. Uh, one second. Here we go. <laughs> Just one second, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Some music for you, if you wanna. Oh, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> or Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Battle Bloodborne. music. We're actually just playing Bloodborne. Yeah. The honestly, the gross, disgusting, leave mix starts to move in the south wall, and it gets up. It's a giant, kind of weird form of different plants mixed together that have somehow all animated. Inside, oh you can see the skeletons of dead adventurers that have gotten locked into it, and it roared. <laughs> Everyone roll. As a player, I know what this is. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. I'd love yeah, a picture. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, I would love it. I fucking That's know what this cute. shit is. <laughs> oh, okay. My initiative is 12. Please. 13. Wow, my Ooh. rolls suck. 20, okay. Uh, 7. Okay. Alright. Katsu, Austrian cat. What did you get? Katsu, <clears throat> Austrian cat. 12. Then Ah, oh, sorry, I'll just put it down. Damn it. Ah, never gonna have fun. <laughs> Alright, Katsu, it's your turn. 
Really? They rolled more than a or it rolled more than seven. <laughs> So is it just this thing in the room now? Yep. And it's big. It's pretty fucking big. Yeah, I know, it's big. <laughs> mm. It looks very plant-like, yeah? Yep. See what are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Eldritch West. <laughs> <laughs> the long thought out process. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was this like, is... maybe Dissonant Whispers, but then I don't think that would be much. Ah, uh, Dissonant Whispers is sick! Oh, okay. Let's let's do Dissonant Whispers then. Alright. If you got slots, I think this is it, so. Yeah. Okay. Dissonant Whispers. Is that a wisdom saving throw? Oh, it rolled a three. You you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I roll. Uh, Is that like three d six or something? Three d six psychic damage. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. So ten psychic damage. All right. Yep. And it has to immediately use its reaction. <laughs> it, it starts shambling forth and then starts shambling backwards into its elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Go back anymore. <laughs> 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 Alright, Ash's turn. <clears throat> uh, okay, how far away is it? Uh, you guys would be at the center of the. the <laughs> Wait, so, so we are at the center? Yeah, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet away from you. Is the water difficult terrain, or is it just... No. You can move normally through it. Oh, this is great. Okay. Um... Shit. <laughs> I mean, it's so far. There was... <laughs> there was thing. Yeah, I don't okay. want to get like too him. close to this thing. Alright, so first off, I'm gonna fucking rage, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll throw. Oh, wait, you said it's 25? Yes. Fuck! You <laughs> move 5 feet forward. I can move I mean, <laughs> If it's 25 feet away, you could get up to it if you wanted. Your speed's 30. I'm, I'm throwing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll rage and then I'll move feet. And then I'm gonna throw this stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, so that's... Nine's not too bad. Plus your strength. Nine. Fifteen. Fifteen. You hit it right on the dot. <laughs> okay. D six. Oh. Four, eight. Do you eight also point. get, like... Bonus to damage while you're raging, or is that not? Oh yeah, plus two. Yeah, plus two. Ten. <laughs> All right, not bad. Cause you kind of like moans and groans. Uh, that I believe it's Mox's turn. Oh no, it's Cat's turn. Okay. Um, I guess I just have like line of sight to it. Yep. All right, I'll uh, take a shot with my trusty musket. And I'm going to miss. It's a 12. <laughs> it like hits it, but it looks like it did nothing. Just absorbed in the mass? Yeah. Alright, and uh, with the rest of my turn, I will just... Uh, I'll move out of the water and stand like... What's the map? I'll stand in the top left corner. Alright. You kind of like wade through it and get to the side. Yeah. It is now Mox's turn. Okay. Well. Wow. Um. 
<laughs> All right, so I got a fun turn. Uh, All right, bonfire. With... Nope. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> bonfire. Not while he's in the water. <clears throat> so, question: the scroll of spiritual weapon that I have. Yes. It. The bonus is plus weapon... six. Uh, I have no idea why, or and the casting time is a bonus action on the spell spiritual weapon. Does it take an action or a bonus action to use the scroll? Bonus action. Okay. Then as my bonus action, I'm going to use the scroll for. Uh, Just so you know, the spell, the spell casting and the ray modifier for the scroll is six. Okay. That's um. So I'm gonna make a, I don't know, a big axe. Uh, All right. Okay. Next to the shambling mound. Okay. Uh, it reads. Oh, when I cast the spell, I can make a melee spell attack against. Okay, cool. So. Um, it's plus six for that attack. Okay. Steal. You know, that is thirteen plus six, nineteen to hit. That hits. So it takes one d eight plus my spell casting ability, or is it? It to be four. Okay. Yeah, because it's a scroll. That's still my spell. So, six points of damage. Ow! Of, uh, force damage. Uh, and then, as my action, mm -hmm. I am going to use my wild shape to turn into a giant badger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How do you like just Which turn into a giraffe? No, I, there's no giraffe in the. <laughs> um, listen, my options are really limited. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna turn into a giant badger, uh, which is by giant it means medium, so like, yeah. foot. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a big badger, but it's not like a big yeah. creature. I am, I am a big boy. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a fat badger. badger. <laughs> it's how far away? Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> How far away from me is it? Uh, twenty-five feet. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stay here for now. I'll go hit it on my next turn because I've used my action and bonus. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of click at it. I'll make it's whatever the... noise badgers <laughs> make. Hold on, let me look this up. Bad. At night, maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gets right next to Astri. Oh, hello? Yep. It's okay, I'm gonna I'm fuck it up on my turn, so. Hold on, I'm trying to move bad. Can you cast <laughs> spells while shape changed? No. Damn. But. Oh. A, I can concentrate on a spell, and B, spiritual weapon stays up even without my concentration. Okay, so Badger's okay. gonna add, kinda make this noise, he's like. <laughs> Yeah, I do that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So that's a 26 to hit on the first one. Oh my god. And a 15 to hit on the second. Does both hit you? Yeah. Wait, what does the cloak do? Does it make your... Plus one AC. So oh, you're 15. at 15. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> First one does uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. I know, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Bang. Please don't die. I'm gonna. We got some potions. I don't wanna have... <laughs> The second one is 8 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm dead. And you get punted all the way across the room. Damn, I got punted. <laughs> <laughs> she falls into the water. I'm drowning. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> Just a question, did I get any reductions for my rage? Oh, yes, you did. Oh, you're raging, you take half. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't mention it, I would have. <laughs> you take five and four. Yeah. Nine. So nine total. I will lie. <laughs> okay, well, this actually might not be a good thing, though. <laughs> did she I get punted or not? No, she didn't get punted because it didn't knock her out. Okay. Now. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Mm. You're good at those. <laughs> no. Uh, 
not. You have a Where did you say that black off. powder barrel was? Like in relation oh. to the... Oh shit! Where the, like, okay. the cutoff letter is. E5. You're good. You notice that as soon as it hit you, it tried to open its giant stomach up and put you inside its horrible body. You're able to fight off the vine stuff. <laughs> you see where the cutoff letter is on the left wall? That's where yeah. the barrel is. Can I, like, see that from where I am at the top left? Yes. Okay, and where am I? We're still in the... You're like at the very edge of the dais. There's like some... south, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're by that hole in the wall, right? Are no, we... the dais is the middle thing. Yeah. Oh, we're in the middle now? Yeah. Or... okay. Uh, cat's on the top left corner. Everybody else is still on the dais. And the mound is... Is right at the edge of the dais where it can hit. Ah, got it. Yeah. So it's already right up to me. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I believe that is now Katsu's turn. <clears throat> All right, might as well expend the rest, of the last of my spell slot. Dismant whispers once again. <laughs> yeah. Make that bitch walk back. Uh, yeah, it failed. Do your damage. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Wow. That's hot. That's hot concept. It is good shit. Still not bloodied. As it walks backward. <laughs> <laughs> back to its alcove. Okay, so it's back now. It is Astri's turn. Unless Katsu wants to move somewhere. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll move a bit back. <laughs> All right. You have a potion if you want to... And your action chugging. Yeah, let's fucking chug. <laughs> You've drank a lot of potions today, huh? Am I gonna die from that? No. no. Or will you? <laughs> I'm just pointing out this is like your fourth potion today. Five plus two, so seven. <laughs> Hopefully, she doesn't like start to build a tolerance to potions. Well, that would be the worst. <laughs> so that takes up my action. Are potions action or bonus action? I don't know. Potions are actions normally. Cool. Okay. Um, and then some I'm people going... house rule it's bonus, but Move. not to the top, to the square one behind. Okay. All right. Cool. It is now uh, Cat's turn. Can I see the keg through the hole from where I am? I'll lay on the ground. Yes. <laughs> I'll just lay down. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot at the keg. Take a shot. That is a 24. <laughs> you, <laughs> the, you hear a thunderous roar come from the right side of the room as a hole in the wall appears now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my move action to try and get through that hole in the wall as far away from this big thing as I can. Yeah, you can totally make it inside. Okay. Alright. Moxa! I am a badger! Okay. <laughs> uh, with, uh... Well, with my bonus action, I'm going to move the weapon to next to the mound, which it really should have moved right back to pretty much where the weapon was. Um, yeah, the weapon's still there. And make an attack with that. So that's 12 chica, plus chica, chica, chica. 18. Nice, it hits. Uh, okay, where's my die for that? Uh, so that deals 5 plus, you said 4, right? Yep. So 9. Oof. And then uh, we're going in. In my badger form, I'm jumping. <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> no, it's fantastic. So I'm a badger. So I have multi attack. So I get to make a bite attack and a claw attack. <laughs> okay. Do you also it's have like rabies? Fucking badger, just like cat <laughs> swiping. Uh, and he's going like. <laughs> yeah. Furiously 
growling, meowing, whatever badgers do. I don't know. Meow. <laughs> um, <laughs> meow. <laughs> understand animals. <laughs> so for the first attack is a fifteen. Bad hits. Mm. Right on the money. Um. Okay, that's the bite attack. So, one d six plus one piercing. Okay. Uh. So three, four, <coughs> four points of uh, piercing damage on that one. Ow. And then the claw attack is a seventeen to hit. Which is holy shit! There's so much fucking dice everywhere. <laughs> Six plus one is seven points of slashing. You bloody it. <gasps> okay. He's about to punt your uh, <laughs> And then I'm gonna just make angry badger noises. Whatever it is. Alright. It's gonna be ready to get hit you fucking monster. eaten. Okay. Mm Mox hit crit. Oh. Okay. That was the first attack. Se second oh. attack is a 22 to hit. Yeah, oh my, my whole the 10 AC. Alright, this is the crit first. Alright. Plus 4 and swap. 24 damage. Is he already okay. dead? <laughs> no. So I drop Badger form. Uh. Immediately, and then take 11 damage. Okay. Second one. <laughs> I'm oh probably God, going down. I mean, 17 uh, damage. Yeah, I'm done. Boxing <laughs> <laughs> gets done. punched all the way, like through the hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, like, hey man. <laughs> body is just floating in the man, water. I should have been fine. I had 13 hit points, and then I went back to human form, and then I had 22. I thought I was fine. <laughs> I had the equivalent of 35 hit points. Just <laughs> gone, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> you don't fuck with these things. Fuck I floating. got crit, otherwise I would have been fine. Fuck this dead man floating. <laughs> the spiritual weapon. I can't believe gonna... Ejek is fucking dead. Right. It's gonna bastard. use its 20 feet of movement, to, of swimming movement, to try and get close to Moxa. And that's where it ends. It's 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 ten feet away from you right it's now. It's gonna try and fucking eat him. Yeah. Shit. So fun fact: the weapon stays. I can't. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> but it does stay if I get up. It's Katsu's turn. Please pour a potion down my throat. Hey, I exist. Let Katsu do a shit. Do you have your healing shit anymore? Do I have potions? Oh my God, is that you have we all one have potion. one. Yeah. Is that on long rest or short rest? I forgot. It's probably a long rest. <laughs> I, I will. I will look. Uh, right now. So I can use this healing potion on Edric right now. Yeah, but you'll have to get close to him, which puts mm -hmm. you in vicinity of the mound next. <clears> to <throat> Whereabouts is Mox's body? Uh, like right like, in the water's right in front of where the hole is. Wait, wait. So he's like oh, right yeah, next to me. Can the second throw... attack was 20 plus uh, to hit, right? Yes. Okay. I was just making... Because technically after the first hit, my AC would have gone back up to 17, but it didn't. Yeah, it was, it was a 9 plus 7. Yeah, it or, I mean, 19 plus 7. Yeah, so. I was just making sure. I'm guessing we can't, like, throw a healing version. <laughs> no, somebody's going to have to go up to him and... Yeah. Must have been the water. So... Yeah, dead man's floating. <laughs> <laughs> Also, healing hands is on a long rest, so... Trash. You should is there any risk for Please. me to... Put a healing 15, potion 15, in? 15, 20... You could get to Moxa, pour a healing potion, and you'd barely be at the, uh, the hole in the wall. If How you big is this hole in the that. wall? It's 10 feet. How big is the Shambling Mound? Large. It could probably fit through if it had enough force. Okay. Hmm. Try and get through the hole. After you've like picked Moxer up. 
Alright, I'll use the potion on Moxie, and I'll try to get to the hole. Alright, Moxie, go ahead and drink your potion. As he forces it down your throat. <laughs> and Katsu kind of diddle daddlies into the hole. Let's fucking take it, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What is this fucking sundary? It's a budding wake, romance. <laughs> you wake up and you just see the shambling mound starting to walk towards you as you get up from the wall. Your oh, last mother. couple seconds were a blur. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a badger and I jumped on it and then all of a sudden. Come on! I wasn't a badger anymore and then I was halfway across it's, uh, the room and there was. It's Astro's turn. <laughs> I'm gonna dip through the whole bar. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, nerds. <laughs> Are we really running? <laughs> Only temporarily. Not necessarily. We're getting to safety. Tactical withdrawal. Yeah. I'm still good to go, dude. <laughs> this is great. I hurt. Yeah. It's okay. Alright. It is, a uh, Cat's turn. Okay. Can I see the man from where I am in the hole? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna try and shoot him. That is... 25. You can hit. Okay. It's not undead, so... <laughs> I'm assuming, right? No, it's not undead. Okay. Um, it's 14, no wait, wait, is it, no it's 12 damage. Nice. Things looking hurt. Alright. Uh, and I'm just gonna like, dip back into the hole so I'm <laughs> out of his range sort of thing. Alright. With that, it's Mox's turn. Okay. So the thing is still in my face, right? It's 10 feet away from you. It's shambling oh. forward. Okay. So I won't take opportunity to take. No, you won't take opportunity. Okay. This makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna use half of my movement to get up. Okay. Uh, Jesus. You still have your own potion as well, you know? <laughs> yeah. Get through the hole. How far away am I from the hole? You're like 10 feet away from the hole. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. Oh. I'm gonna. Is my spiritual weapon still within 20 feet of the mountain? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna move my spiritual weapon up to wherever that is with my bonus action and take a swing with that. <laughs> 18 plus whatever. 6 or whatever. Yeah. Probably <laughs> enough. Uh. 1d8. Dude, I'm using such a variety of dice tonight. <laughs> uh. 7 plus 4, I think you said, so. Nice. 11. Damn, that's good. Pretty good. Um. Okay. I'm going to. Yeah, take. My 15 feet of remaining movement and move into the hole as much as I can. God. Uh, Alright. And then I'm going to use my action to use my last B shape and turn back into a giant bed. <laughs> <laughs> Take bed. <laughs> Give him a as you rub. go through the hole, the shambler tries to go through the hole as well, and it's having a little bit of trouble. But it looks like next turn it's definitely going to be move, be able to move as normal. It's reaching out to you guys, trying to grab each one. <laughs> cool. It is Katsu's turn. All right, Aldrich blessed. <laughs> Life of a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> fucking die. I mean, I expended all my spell slots, so you know. Yeah. One day I'll have enough spell slots to like. Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh fuck, Katsu! What the fuck, Katsu? <laughs> Dark God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maximum crit. Taken <laughs> away. Was it worth it? Yes. It's still like <laughs> ten damage, sick. right? Six. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. Hey. Oh no, no, you're right. It's ten. Woo! Ten damage. 
There you go. A knife. It hurts and squealed, and it's clearly eyeing you now. Please kill him, not me. Okay. Okay. How far away am I from the bitch? Uh, you're. You can get within melee range. Or you can chuck another javelin. <laughs> I don't know if I have any more. I never retrieved the rest of them. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt, but uh, question, Jack. When I wild shape, uh. Do you want me to just take the, because I've had DMs that do it either way, just take the default HP for the creature I'm turning into, yeah. or do you want me to roll the hit die? Take the default HP. Okay. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, let's move into melee range. Alright. <clears throat> Mama needs a new pair of shoes! Hey. Ooh. Oh, fuck my hole, I love it. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> six. High number, I don't care. <laughs> Is she still Ten. enraged? Yes. That's yeah. actually twelve. Twelve. Oof. It looks like it's no longer in the triple digits in terms of HP. Huh? <laughs> it's no longer in the triple digits. Uh. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna back the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Wait, did I mention that too? I was gonna move back after attacking. Yeah, uh, well, I assume so. Yeah. Okay. We're all just gonna run. <laughs> the uh, the hole that we got into—that's the room, the prison room, right? Yes. Mm. And there's like a hallway that we can sort of get <laughs> run down, so we're not just boxed in. Yeah. Okay. So we're inching towards the hallway. Got it. Oh my bad, I didn't mean- I, I might have scared you guys a little bit. I didn't mean it doesn't have triple digits, you've done triple digits. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. god. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> guys, we finally got him down into double digits. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh shit. Dude. He's at like 99. Or uh, it's oh, cat's yeah. turn. Alright. Uh, again, I'll just uh, take a shot. Shoot. Take the shot. I feel like you're shooting and like back pedaling while reloading your gun. Yeah, basically. Uh, that is only a 9. Ugh. It, it just consumes the bullet. Yep. God! <laughs> so <Sophia>. fair. <laughs> Alright! Max it! Oh. Fucking bad. I'm going it's in, it. dude. <laughs> 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 Square. I'm uh, she wants to kill. I'm uh, I'm gonna take my two giant badger attacks. Dude, what? <laughs> He's risking it all for the kill. Uh, Fifteen on the bite. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that's one piece. Three plus one. Four points of piercing. And then the claws are 16 to hit. It's. And the claws is. 4, 5, 6, 7 points of slashing damage. Alright. Okay. How rough is it looking? Like. Moxa. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you a square number. Unless you can do 19 points of damage, you're fucked. Okay. <laughs> I'm not fucked, I'm fine. Um... Okay. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Is it? Um... I'm gonna use my bonus action... ...to... ...use my last sol uh, Balm of the Summer Court on myself. Okay. So, I... Oh great! I rolled a one. <laughs> I get one hit point. All right. And a temporary hit point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fair? gonna die again. Are you, are you uh, gonna risk the opportunity. <laughs> what? You gonna risk the opportunity attack? Take the. That's opportunity. true. If I leave, I only take one attack. If I mm -hmm. stay, I take two. 
So in my 30 feet of movement, can I have somebody else in between me and the mound? Would it's the last... Uh, the last person that would be there, who moved before you? Uh, I was before Moxo. No, no, I mean, who moved first? Because then technically... Katsu. Katsu. Yeah, so Katsu would be the one that it would shamble <laughs> forward to. The one. <laughs> it's looking at Katsu have... as well, right? If I remember. Yeah. You have so much more HP than I do at this point. How much HP do you have? Oh Come my on. god! What? Carping, are you moving? What? Are you, are you provoking the opportunity attack? I might be, like... <laughs> <laughs> He's already rolled it. <laughs> it was a crit, right? <laughs> Is that why you're freaking out? I hadn't decided yet. <laughs> I don't know, Max, so what's your decision? Uh, now I'm kind of thinking I shouldn't, but... <laughs> You're gonna get fucked either way, just pick one. I really am. Uh... How... No, I guess... I mean, how beat up does Kasnaya look? Uh, Kasnaya, how much HP do you have? Or Katsu? <laughs> Is Katsu alive? Yeah, I think what's up? Oh, fuck. How much <laughs> HP do you have? <laughs> Uh, 17? Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Alright. Moxa, <laughs> the monster's turn, it makes two attacks against you. <laughs> oh my god, Moxa, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I can't oh leave, god, like, god, I have I'm more so HP. Did you crit again? <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> we'll pick you up at the end, it's fine. Did you crit again? <laughs> the first one was an 18. That hit. Crit. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die! Yeah. <laughs> no, I might actually just die outright. Off that crit. Only one way to find out. Uh, 17 points of damage on the first okay. one. Are so you I still kicking? Badger. I drop badger form. Mm -hmm. Uh, so three. Yes, I am still going. Okay, cool. Which is the second actually one. a bad thing. Well, you don't get, like, negative HP in 15. Second one. If, if you take damage that puts you in the negatives equal to your maximum, you die instantly. Oh. Is that Great actually next. a rule? Fuck. Yes. I shouldn't 20. die here. Points of damage? Yes. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, badger oh. friend. Actu actually just insta-give. <laughs> Vox's character flies back to the <sighs> wall in a bloody mess. <laughs> Should have uh, just taken the one crit. Patrick, no. The shambler seeps back into the water. I didn't want to because I didn't want it to hit Katsu's character because he had less HP than I did. <laughs> the cult has been appeased. But this thing's nearly dead. I want to fucking kill it. Yeah. The, the shambler disappears into the oh, No! <laughs> no. Mm. Fucking trash, dude. I was so excited to blast it. Dude. <laughs> Moxa ruins everything. I'm so uh, sorry, Moxa. I'm so sorry. I knew it. As soon as you said the second was a crit, I was like, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> the first one's gonna bring me low enough to the... That's the most dangerous point you can be at, is low HP, but alive. Yeah. Because I had 4 HP, my maximum's 22, you take 28, that puts me at negative... Uh... Yeah, negative 24. Which is higher. So I just died. You guys pick up Mox's body. Ah, <sighs> I'll we'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you probably want the shit on it. Nah, we hate you. Fuck me, dude. Are you guys leave actually leaving Max's body? Uh, no. I mean, my my character flaw is that I don't care about people who die. <laughs> so I mean, like, I'll loot them. And I'm give mad at yeah, I'm mad at him for fucking up. So I'll take. Yeah, it. my flaw is I got <laughs> no compassion for the up. dead. Yeah, They're the my lucky ones. Did fuck up. I went- I stayed in because I had more HP than Kestaya, and I didn't want Kestaya to ha happen to me, happen to her. So it made more sense than me taking an opportunity, and then her taking the two 
the crit just fucking murdered. Like, I just got ungodly unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take strategically. I'll take his bones out of convenience just because I already have to bury the fucking maid. <laughs> Will somebody take the magic shit on my body, please? Yeah, yeah I'll take the magic, bro. You. All yeah, of it? I, I've got it all. Just uh, give okay. me like a list of everything you're carrying. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh no, cat will know. Uh, cat will yeah. know the secret. No, cat. Cat, cat. There's gonna be a thing on there. Uh, wait, I'll talk wait. to you about it later. But does he know? Hold on, I have to look at some. Oh, here. Actually, here's a better question. Do you guys take his clothes too? Uh, no, I don't take his clothes. No. Yeah. No. Doesn't Never mind then. Cool. You guys take all of Mox's stuff. And you... Did you take my armor? Yeah, I'll really take the armor. My robe? There's I my won't. patched up robe and the armor, scimitar, no and my shield. Yeah, I don't want the robe. That's like what you're wearing, but I will take the armor because it's worth something. Facts. Alright. Okay. <laughs> you guys climb out of the house. I like that you guys are like trying to really sell it. Like, do you take the room? <laughs> <laughs> Good. I mean, like, I'm curious, but my character just wouldn't. Yeah, agreed. You guys walk outside of the house. The house lets you leave. Oh wait, I guess I took his body. Oh okay, you still have his body. So I have him. As you're leaving, you turn back around, and you see the house just eerily staring back at you. And the fog clears up, mm. and that's the end of today's session. <laughs> what a session! Wow, I'm gonna kill the thing. I want to drown you more than I do right now. Everyone advances to level three. Except Moxa. <laughs> Moxa, Moxa, I'm gonna talk to you. How fucking unlucky could you possibly <laughs> get? I got Dude, <laughs> when he more than 35 your... HP. Oh, I had 35. <laughs> You didn't have oh. to be a bad dude. I'm just gonna no. put that out there. But the but the whole point is like with wild shape, I should be able to effectively tank.
Create bonfire. <laughs>